है दलोज है दलोज कैसे हो दलोज वाड़ी जाप वाड़ी जाप हाउ इज एवरीबाडी डूइंग गाइस कैसे चल रहा है सबका लाइफ क्या कर रहे हो यार क्या करूं मैं तेरा क्या करूं आ, मैच के बाद ही आ जाता है इतना जल्दी क्यों है भाई हेलो ऑन टाइम भाई हमेशा ऑन टाइम वो बयान सेंसर बिल्कुल क्या था दो पंद्रह का शेड्यूल क्या था मैंने Left, okay, left for one and half Easy bands bind. And you have first Very good sleep. We'll pick Lotus. G2 picks Lotus. And what side would you like? I will pick attack, please. EG picks attack, and you have map pick. Look back, this is some badia. Ice box. EG picks ice box. Sir, I'm at the on time. Bolta on time. What side would you like? By sunset band, but I love this team. G2 picks defense. G2 ne band. One map band. But we will choose EG. Easy, Jita. Ban ascent. G two bans ascent. And what would you like to ban? Uh, we'll ban split. The one and only EG premier thrower. Gone by. The map will be breeze. And what side would you like? As a back bunk. The back is good. My leg is gone. यार मैं बहुत अच्छा सोया था बता आठ बजे को सो गया था मैं लेकिन साढ़े दो बजे टू टू करके डोरबेल बजा उसके बाद उठा उसके बाद सोया नहीं डिनर डिनर किया चिल किया बंटीस का नया एपिसोड देखा सोलो लेवलिंग के लिए रुका था बाद में पता चला लास्ट एपिसोड का Every single series was there. I mean, it's ridiculous. Then after the BGM, I came back. Another thing I noticed: we're taking a little pause there, a little energy pause. Ice box. Violent GC came back. Look, I think there's more cooked there. You think they might change things? Yeah. See, I was thinking G2 might change things because they were playing the Brimstone on Ice Box back in the kickoff. Which, I mean, it's like some ideas back that Mech were playing back in the day. It's got sweet retakes. But today, up to the morning, watch part won't be there. Why won't it be there, boy? I do, I do, but I did not like that ice box. Come you on, nahi that's hogi. Ice box. That's not you. Uh, well, what are you? How do you feel? Yeah, I, I think ice box is a real interesting one for me because I think that's the map we're seeing in the pool with like the most comp variety right now, and I think it's a good chance to see both these teams. That's global ka match, na? Is G2 gonna continue with the rimstone stuff? Are they gonna go to something more standard? And what? Global versus BRX. They, they always have a surprise when you give them prep time. Yeah. Really, what I want to see from G2 uh, is, is more strategic diversity. I think, especially on their defensive side, regardless of comp. They were so happy to play like heavy numbers. Look at me. What are you talking about? Did you watch the games? Person that's pressing the the thing. If you've been pressing a thing, I love it. I love it. Ender's just getting our analysts are getting harassed by sound effects. This is incredible. Sorry, game. All right, folks. Let's get out of here. 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 थोड़ा मैप चेंज कर देते हैं मैप्स आते रहेंगे यार मैप्स आते रहेंगे रिवर्क होता रहेगा नए एजेंट्स आते रहेंगे अभी बहुत कुछ आना बाकी है वालों में मफिन का स्कोर देखा देखा ना देखूं जो दो मैप हारे वो भी देखा अच्छा क्या लगा G2 is a interesting one. I haven't played against their new roster. I know they're bringing in. Jabir, you're too cool to have live with your motivation. I love you. I've seen drop a 40 bomb in a scrim, so that's pretty intimidating. But it's his first time playing on stage. So I think we're gonna win. So the first match against EG, I was on the reserve team. It was a little bit of a revenge match for me. Yeah, I think their main strength is the individual firepower. I think any given player. Yeah, I think their main strength is the individual firepower. I think any given player. Yeah, I think their main strength is the individual firepower. I think any given player. Yeah, I think their main strength is the individual firepower. Antivar sounds like uh, is it possible strong, or not? It's not possible, yeah. It's his stream is like his watch ideal. party. Like he's definitely like making sure other players are in check. Doesn't feel good. I'm not even his friend. Yeah. I can watch Tibon's stream because he's my friend. 
सोने जा रहा था आप लाइव हो तो इधर आ गया लव यू आदित्य because he can play any agent it seems like like you know he's on deadlock one day is the clonel is it the next low filal ke liye dele super star all of them so shout out jai is definitely like next is with the glay paenge mostly mera simmer mera simmer right games arena it is time to get this sunday started please welcome on stage our first team it is thoda lex ka exercise kar are mera ek jagah pe pura red ho gaya hai knee pe na नी का जो हड्डी रहता ना आपको पूरा रेड हो गया तो एक मैच होने के बाद थोड़ा तेल वेल लगाएंगे एक फ्री का वड़ा पाओ फ्री का वड़ा पाओ यू मेरी जान वी नीड प्लेयर्स लेकिन अभी के लिए मैं नहीं ढूंढ रहा हूँ यार हमेशा का वही स्टोरी है प्लेयर ढूंढो ये लो बाद में और सुन जाते हैं मतलब अच्छी बात भी है लेकिन ऐसा कोई भी प्लेयर संडस प्लेयर नहीं उठाना है अच्छे लोग उठाना है उसके लिए टाइम लगता है भाई अच्छा गाना है भाई आज Love you, Armanas. And let's give a warm welcome to G2's opponents. It is Evil Geniuses. क्या लगता है जी टू जीतेगा क्या? पहला मैप किसका है? पहला मैप किसका है? G2 बैंड के G2 का पिक है ना? भाई इजी अच्छी टीम है यार क्वार्टर के लिए रेस्पेक्ट तो है G2 and Evil Geniuses have met before at the America's kickoff and it was an EG20. Does G2 have what it takes to be able to topple their foe or can EG just have history repeat again? Then should directly go back to jump at the winner of master. Matlab wo log action mein hai qualify. Wo log abhi normal khela to bhi qualify to hai wo log. On Xbox but now we are headed into a series and a first map that neither of these rosters have played this year. It is two brand new looks for these two teams. बस एग्जाम तो अच्छा आया है लेट्स सी अगर आपके विश जिंक्स निकला तो अलग ही अरे नहीं है ऐसी जिंक्स तूने बोला रोज सौ डॉलर देगा समझ रहे हो अच्छा जाएगा टेंशन ना ले back what you said under these two yaad rakhna roz bola tha yaad rakhna and for g2 i'm wondering what's the big change what's the reason behind bringing ic into this roster yep. what can the guy bring he's dancing, been on the dancing. roster under eg where he was playing no officials he's played so few matches in the last year but he's been scrimming a hell of a lot and there's a reason that teams have been impressed by the guy he's this thing kurunga 30000 dollars it's so cool if you know the backs are them both being on the roster together but also two players with a bit of excitement behind them i don't know i i've been following a bandakal engineering ka meds hai best class the guy with six on 2022 naam le lo ek bar aditya rsv kaise meri jaan here on the stage next to ic or i guess across the stage from ic rago bhai bad jayenge match aane mein bahut tension na le forget i mean this is ic's first time playing on a vct stage so it's kind of a big deal but he's played against eg so many times 3000 are shit that's the reason the eg reserve roster <laughs> तो मैं क्या जॉब छोड़ दे को प्रॉमिस किया था तुमने तो हर दिन हंड्रेड तेरे लिए स्ट्रीम करूँगा मैं हर दिन आठ मिनट कैसे थर्टी परसेंट वाइटी ले क्या कोई सीन नहीं मेरे लिए फ्री है लव इट टू मेरी जान but i'm questioning how the rest of these g2 guys are going to fill in who's swapping over to that duo abhi to send ke 6 points hue hai 6 bahut zyada hai yaar this agent selected a moment here kam nahi hai 6 zyada hi hai so everything could be squared away for this match up eg g2 of course 
familiar with one another in more ways than one, but Ender, there's certainly going to be some, something fascinating here as we get ready to play. Yeah, easy yeah easy you're going to have reads, but also you know that there's flexibility with everyone. I think talking about Leaf switching things up is is maybe a little surprising, but also Leaf is a guy that back on C9, he was playing Viper, he was playing Sky, he was playing all that stuff on top of the Duelist. And Icy's playing the Duelist. Yeah. Put some pressure on the guy right away. I so mean, that's literally the reason there, huh? to make a roster change yep. right there. Like if Icy's yeah. just playing duelists on even just a handful of maps, like yeah, and then you, you can take that pressure off of Leaf and have yeah. Superman you know, maybe even make a backup for like, you know, the, the LMS situations and stuff like that. Like there's a lot that they can do. I see Nev and then he's like a guy who loves the Leaf he loves getting to switch yep. around roles. He, he doesn't like play a ton of rank, but he watches so oh, yeah. much Valorant. He's oh, like oh, like to the team. And, and I wonder as well how this actually unlocks Trent to play a lot more initiator constantly, right? Because this is a guy who a lot of times. Don't tell me that my name is weird. Not play the initiator. Or does it so matter? I'm very curious how, huh? how that's going to go as well. It feels sort of like in this meta, you have to make that name proud to your parents. A, a Nobody else. Smoke agent on yep. a lot of maps because that just is the is the go-to, and especially on a map uh, like uh, Lotus, but but it is going to be the fade for him. So I feel like Scout Initiator is the fade for the stock. That has always been Trent's friend. And it looks like both teams just going to lock in that like standard Fnatic comp. A lot of the NA teams switch over to the Sky here, but the fade has yep. always been solid. This is Up a map for me. Not ek sap na re gaya. How about some show match? How are the fundamentals locking it? I think that's for sure. Obviously, there's no. Is it chess player only one? Yeah, we're still not in the cipher here. Is something that we're seeing. I think EG go for only one. Yeah, saw it way back on the ascent as well. This is not a common pick, but it's one that is viable on this map for sure. And it's very common for Apoth. He's great on. Not healthy for life. Catch it. This is it. We're ready for our first match of Sunday. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Make a little bit of noise as we send it to your cat. In another life, there were once called the Legion of Doom, but today Bapre. they're just Vansillian Riv. <laughs> My birthday, yar. I still think that just Vansillian Riv is still pretty cool, though, don't you think? But I'm Look, really, really so close to you, Riv, because we have a debut of Icy now on the VCT stage, <laughs> and at the same time taking the duelist role, while well, you have some changes from Leaf going to the Sentinels. Some of my chess, some of my CC. Those changes will be the missing pieces for G2 to get the revenge against Evil Geniuses when he lost to them in uh, at Balad. My name, Kesha Vish. Yeah, absolutely. It's been, it's there been a while. There you go. It's been a while. Vidit Nakamura, dekha, dekha. Teams have... अभी ज़्यादा चेस की बातें नहीं चैट नॉर्मल चेस में करेंगे वो गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग बाय एक बार नाम ले लो प्लीज सी एग्जाम में एग्जाम आपके सिंदूर फेस पिंच आई लव यू फ्रैंक कुछ बाय बेस्ट ऑफ लक मेरे जान बेस्ट ऑफ लक जॉन के टाइम आगे आगे Let's go, baby. Let's go, Arizzi. Let's go. Continuously play pressure off that, but let's see how G2 is going to receive this. Four leaning towards that A side, ready for baby door explosion. If they get knowledge of rubble, but it's going to be a quick B entry. Party by party. Not too easily done though. A quick stop indeed. So now this pressures EG to work towards this A side. Door is going to get open to revolving on the A side. Big paranoia out on the defense. And really G2 is doing a lot of any push coming out. He's really looking at. Leaving out Superman alone, but he's not going to be able to go in the clutch against four players alive of GG. My Dora la be. It looked like all the focus was going to be ready for A, but still having two towards that breakable door. They turn around. They absolutely hey, decimate. Blind eyes trying to come into B once know. that wall goes up from the defensive side. See that getting placed again, and there's the wall. They actually oh, did get tagged by two. Was just a pop there, but that timing. The timing is what it was all yeah, about. Yeah, pretty bro. To be able to collapse on what EG wanted to do. So EG looked to kind of spread the map a bit. Distraction at B with a slight lurk that would have been towards A on that round. Wow, it's so completely yeah, snuffed bro. out by G2. Great start too, though. First pressure that Icy gets already gets a kill and an assist on that, shutting down the B side attempt. Why G2 read kar gaya lag raha hai? Pehla round wo log do bhi do ek kela. Two shares to work with and controlling the orders of the Sun One end. जिधर जिधर वो लोग जा रहे हैं वहाँ पे दो-दो बंदे and seeing a little bit more react to it yeah they just they just listen to the noise and trying to figure out if EG is going to try to pivot somewhere else letting him walk into the util no omen smoke here to stop them for now they got the the viper orb easy control there then the omen smoke will follow just to delay a little bit more on that timing as the smoke will go by run mein agar ye sab kya na ye nahi 
how that was being played B, here for uh, AG. AG. They were watching their backs, afraid of some sort of push in front of B. So once again, very similar storyline nice. to the pistol. Losing the players on the initial push, they're forced to work in the opposite direction where the numbers are left. Already damaged inside the site. At least a plant will be nice. 30 seconds in the checkbox for EG in this eco. Gotta be deep. <laughs> They're looking to hide in this one. Trent starts it off. Yeah, too much hey, util right now for know. EG to really yeah. get set up in a pulse plan and get anything done. At least they have a bulldog. An upgrade for Superman. He's currently playing towards the water. So first contact will be Derek. Both of them once again working together in the clutch and instantly denied by G2. A great start. Again, huh? A strong on a pistol. A great conversion on the second one for G2. And it looks like a pretty strong bonus round going into the third. And the Icy is ready to get going. Why just they, a share from the first round the for winning. Icy with the Fights. nade, the signature for a raise. Second round buys up on the Bulldog, gets a few frags at Rubble, charging Fights. up the Showstopper Fights. already. And G2 played this one calm. A good plant, however, by the side of EG. They're going to be able to use a bit of that money coming in next round to make sure everything is ready to go to see if they can pull back on the bonus. Get a quick tech pause as we. <laughs> <laughs> this is all dry. Yeah. yeah. See three zero one right there. That like that is true. Three zero. Really calling the A straps off the start for G two. Patiently being able to hold Top these other fights orbs regions. into Valen, delaying Those are with the smoke Same as well. Them. So they have the ideas to slow EG down. Yeah. Will Jogamo start being Jogamo and blast past all of this? It's it's one of the, the tried and true things you can always expect to see. If BG's getting forced to play slow, they'll start to play faster on their own terms. Top three teams. Yeah, right top now, three. Looks like it's a small in-ear issue with the rookie right now Sorry, on the stage. Top I see. So that'll get resolved very soon. We're about a minute. Wait. And and as I say that, that, already 50 that. seconds because that took me 10 seconds, right? So it's not going to be that long, but we'll be able to get in now and finally figure out what EG will try to do in the gun round. But at least when we start things off right now for G2, I find that the map pool is going to be quite decent with them to start things off on Lotus, a three map site, and, a great way to game to game the yeah, they and really allow players like Icy to dip his toes in the server and get comfortable here on the big stage. Well, same thing for Leaf, right? It's a whole big um, role change going into a Sentinel. Mm -hmm. Although it doesn't really feel as of yet that they're really being challenged yet. So that's a, a great way to kick things off. And I like that point about G2 getting this, the rounds, the map, the momentum here on Lotus, because you don't know what EG is going to do on Icebox. Hello. It's going to be maybe Jog Wait, that that's true. Maybe that's they plus? change it as they showed you that. They didn't look away coverage. from it because they have something yeah, else. It's, 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 yeah, Lotus will be a nice boon for G2 to be able to put under their belt and start this series bit? off. Yeah, with that Starting off, good game frags, game. like I said, for Icy Valen. Three away from the showstopper there. There's a focus towards C, but more of a default across the map. As this A push is constant orb farming just for Icy to get him online. Exactly. Farmed a lot of kills in the first two rounds, getting really close to the showstopper. You saw at the beginning of the round two, Apoth was looking for a lineup to at least place a cage or a camera, get a little bit of pressure towards the B sign. So EG once again trying to hold a default working different extremities around the map breaking utility on the seaside first turret down and it really doesn't force g2 to swing out yet they maybe want to use the alarm bot as their first wave to use util about that door. but it's eg that puts the first step yeah. not a position to commit just yet EG kind of source out some utility, find defense, what else man. they can take. They, they actually have not heard the alarm bot. The Mollies, which is now cooking Jogamo. And that allows Leaf to swing out right there as he was trying Stop to escape. Leaf was able to Stop line up Jaga. too quite quickly with Util on top of that. And once again, EG had to backpedal into the opposite direction. At least for now, though, there's only Valen that's playing it very passively to get information first so that G2 could play the numbers on the retake. Party Brave. Nature and Forge Journey down to 12 HP. As he was trying to scale up here towards this A side. And the plan continues to try to finish towards the B side with 10 yep. seconds left on the clock. Prowler scale out. Left. Spotting nobody in, in the site, and G2 Target is okay of giving this up. Spike planted. Where are we? So there will be noise and pressure here as the revolving door gets hit on this C site. And again. 
trying to keep them back at bay. So it'll give a chance for the defenders to swarm back up here, come out from the B heaven side. There is that paranoid initiated. It's going to hit one, but Nature nice. is playing the off angle. Almost got that one up to Jonah B. But the trades are great for G2 oh, once again. G2 sexy they the bonus route to get three on Lotus. Really, really neat. Look at the pings on the mini map right now. I was just going to talk about this. The really, ones, yeah. really neat positioning. Remember, just in the first few rounds, the alarm bot was far outside C, where they could attack it, then know they took alarm bot down, play with a little bit more space. Pushing in that time, they found turret, but not alarm bot, not the mollies. It eventually became their demise once they found out those mollies were ready to cook a little deeper in sight. And they have to either blast up towards Waterfall or go all the way around Ben to make that work if this is going to keep changing on that seaside. We'll see how they actually position Where the alarm bot this time. Game by it does look like they, they are, they are again. Maybe they're going to put it outside. Hasn't even set it down yet. It's actually over towards B. So another change up of where that alarm bot's going to be. By we'll put it right here the B side now. And it's going to be another look towards C here for Evil Geniuses with a little less map control. And this A info is giving G2 so much to start with every time. Well, G EG's already lost Superman. Man, her round a look look too, so as her Lee was round. jiggling for information towards the mound, oh, she instantly popped one. And yeah, these nano swarms, it's really just to not allow EG to get across here towards water or get heavily damaged until they get to the wooden ramp. Yet nature still gets the opener. The push. Jonah P answers right back. Three players spamming through the wall from waterfall just to try to damage. Prevent the spike from getting planted, but it will, it will go down. And with the last two pushed up towards the spawn is Apoth denied here by Trent. And now you're alone. Not going to work out with the Sheriff. G2 are not really giving EG right, any chances to not no. only get in the site or set up or even move in as a whole team in there because they're losing a lot of players. In the of these the for EG side. Yeah, incredible teamwork right now for G2. They, they got flooded in site, backed up to play more of a retake after they lose Leaf, excuse me, and just continue to take the site back together. EG trying to push forward <laughs> and maybe grab a gun, but it was a flood on that defensive spawn side for G2, which did not allow EG's encroachment into that area to work. All right, guns across the board again, four in a row. G2's plants so good right now on all these defuses. Yo. It's going to be that show Sakura for Ice and now energy. they're going to attack C this time. It's been quiet from G2's defensive side on this area until now. It's a nice call though, because we're so close to the ultimates. Opportunities for EG to swing things in their sign by leveraging ultimates on the side of Jogimo and they want to contest it. A. a as they push it up towards the rubble. Nature gets popped. And once again, you lose that control on one extremity, you have no choice. You have to try to make a move now on the other end. And they know they've been pressured a lot for EG towards Mount at the beginning. And they're ready for B. They have eyes everywhere on the map right now. G2 is so ready. But Jogimo picked up the orb on the C site. So definitely, especially that, Nano Swarms came out preempti preemptively. Might give a chance for Jaw to satchel in. But they've lost Apoc on the lurk. They go towards the sky, lands it onto Leaf, down to 20 HP. Jonah B lines up the two. Entry quite easily. And there's a showstopper in retaliation from IC. And G2 now has five in a row on their map pick. And they're keeping three alive. They're keeping quite a few alive on the these rounds. Is so the bank is good. Is good. One, one, that means they can take the chances. They can go to farm these orbs. They can keep pushing extremities with the, the C play they have. Where Icy was one of the big factors. They've been able to push A and use that grenade or use the raise nade to get positioning on Rubble. They're still able to do it with just Trent, just Valen. Full homework, lag gera hai be. Every homework kya hai tune? They're just vibing right now. Five round, five alag alag setup se kya hai? Pulling a timeout and this is giving me flashbacks of kickoff actually when they were playing on Sunset and G2 had a very one-sided start and it came down to two early timeout burns from Potter and then you started seeing EG coming back here in the second half to really battle it back on Sunset. Will it be the same story like on Lotus? Really, it seems like Christine has figured something out, or at least trying to figure out how they could iron out those fundies of their default play, because they're realizing the heavy pressure that G2 is bringing out on either extremities. Yet last round was both at the same time when EG had the gun round. We're really close to these ones. 
Luigi is coming out with a new surprise. Uh, uh, should I say G2 coming out with a new surprise this time around too on how aggressively they want to play on defense. We seem to always have two together, whether, whether it's the rotation now actually back yeah. towards Icy and, and Valen over towards down. A. We it's just saw that again, big trend in Valen as Icy went C. But it seems like they're just using that buddy system so well. And if Leaf can't control, they back up and make sure everyone's together. See if EG can break that defense. Quick haunt over out of B. They're able to destroy it. And they have to be very wary about this control. They've seen G2 here every single time, and this low buy means they're going to creep up even slower. Uh -oh. So much util being thrown here towards the gate side. It's countered back by a nightfall that gets information on three. So that's the call for EG to move inside B for a plant. And you know what? This EG is not afraid of using these ultimates when they have a low buy. Look at the short pushes towards the spawn because of that information. We're moving behind enemy lines here for EG. But a rotate comes back from G2 out at the Hobbit. Door. Four players streamlining in, traded out to start things off, but EG takes the lead at least. Yeah, in the head to head, out towards the heavens. Derek oh. then answers back onto Valen. It's doable now for Jogimo and Derek of EG against Trent and Jonah P, who does have the pit. Forced to fight out against Jogimo, back towards the waterfall. The tap on the spike, the wall comes up. Isolated. One of the two players from being of EG. Hot now being thrown out. Derek marks them both. Only has the sheriff, lands the first shot, and now it's ticking down on that spike. Derek here's the tap. Oh, 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 bye. Oh, bye. Oh, bye. Master is once again back here for Evil Geniuses. Like. Derek with an amazing win. The patience there. Playing all the money necessary to pull the round into EG's favor. It took everything. By G2 against strong it has just about each one of these rounds to put down G2 just this once so far. Five to one after that shot. And we start round seven. Yeah, round operator the in the hands of Giacomo. The timeout for EG paying off big here. Can they get the momentum? Same fence. Oh, I see. Cold shuts it down. A big start. It's quick on that A side. A <laughs> Even once again, Lurk denied <laughs> on B. And as that momentum, you thought was going to come back from EG. Round, yeah. Yeah. He gets instantly B stopped by G2 again in fourth position. position. Every round is something different from G2 and it's a lot of counter. And now with no map control, losing Apoth towards mid as well, they have to regain a little bit of an idea of where EG could be pushed up. You have a great idea. Or I mean, G2, that smoke rather. was thrown towards the seaside. Yeah. And then you have an alarm bot. Down. You'll know for sure if somebody's moving in from mound. Then the Prowler came out towards front B. So nobody is moving from EG, even continuing their focus of three players playing semi-passively towards the A site. To try to deny yeah. EG moving up here towards A. And G2's aggression has been constant, <laughs> right? Even for <laughs> the, the, the save round there, the pressure they got on Rubble. <laughs> <Derek> <laughs> <Knight falls laughs> to return the favor and try to get <laughs> back. <laughs> sure, they'd love to have Nightfall here on this buy round. To be met with <laughs> Trent's. <laughs> Jonah P's <laughs> already <laughs> alted C. G2 are not <laughs> holding <laughs> back, <laughs> and this tree hit's gonna have to work for EG. At least there is a snake bite being dropped here. At the drop area, the pressure nice. coming Step in. Number one done. Clean. Gets flooded from the left side Step by nature. Two. Here comes the attempt of a plant. You heard. Valen coming out from the team from the Odin. shadows to support quickly for G2. Coming out towards the drop. Oh, spreading with the Odin. Superman falls and once again. EG will have to try to go for a clutch. A two versus four. Snake bite on that spike. Denying the first point. Leaf not opting to use his <laughs> lockdown yet. Everybody's just spraying across. Still being quite annoying with these doors. Nature finally gets the pick. A second one. Nature. Third. And he gets the ace. What a clutch by Pula. Ka bhai. Jo kar sakte ho nature aur usko alti kar sakte hai. You can't. You can't ask for any more from these players. That is going to snuff Crazy, the momentum of bro. G2 completely. Sure, they have money to buy here. They're going to be calling a timeout. You but clutch. the mentality oh. that G2's had over these first few rounds to lose to clutches like that. The ace on this one as well. I mean, but that gas is the site with the first kill. So already a little frag in the round to make sure that A was something that they could work with. But then to ace the round. Like this. Disgusting. <laughs> 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 Disgusting. Disgusting.
और <laughs> The, the rounds G2 had a hold part. on. The rubble push was coming in from Icy. They Bravo were already getting frags. C was on lockdown. Nobody would even... I think by the real piece. Apoth was blocked by the wall. But things have changed after that timeout. And now we're into round eight. That today's rate is 4,000. Okay. Push pressure on the extremities here from G2. And that will give me the room they're looking for. Fast play. Little spray. And Jogmo's in. At least there's no alarm bot this time around too. Do the double damage on these nano swarms so we get through it quite easily but instantly leave pops down the lockdown pushing them back jogmo <laughs> gets detained but he's going to be safe for now yeah gives a chance now for eg to re-hit if they want to. so the paranoia will slowly we set in for g2 yeah yeah new business first noise for eg though by grabbing this orb on the c site रेडिटल They've been doing so well here for G2. So all five players of EG grouped up. 30 seconds left. Using a smoke towards the staircase. Now making themselves Well, agar ye kill ja last round commit kar do to jeet jaate hain. Executing towards the A site. It's going to be open for a plan. Although there's Util coming in. The oh. satchel's out from IC. Clears out a Lise pop but gets instantly traded out by Nature then The frags are coming in favor of EG. Dekha na, dekha na. Right now in, out for the tree side. Ah, Two players left alive for G2. Last round. That's Leaf and Jonah P with oh, barely to any utility left. The only thing Leaf has here is Timmy the turret. He wants to use it with the door, making sure though that he clears out the backup rubble. Let's see this one. Mortney, they don't bother me at all. No question. Too many. Too many on Just both too sides. Many. Surprise on every single door. Jonah is now alone. And with the money that you see in the bank currently for the rest of G2, he's definitely going to try to see the weapon. Seven one of that. So far being hunted down by nature. Yeah. This way lead Rega na. Er, tumare alt ke wajah se sure shot win hota round. Big smoke on top from Superman, kind of forcing EG to to fly into the site. Two going drop too. You would think maybe a few more dropping with Icy there. If he's gonna go close and just look for a, a kill right there on the backside of sight, but yeah, I also think that G2 didn't expect EG to have that many inside. They were all looking towards drop spot, ready to defend as G2 did a flood retake, and it just did not count. So EG three in a row now, and it will finally be able to get a little bit under the skin of G2. We see the low armor coming in here. 24% left, yeah. No, no, no. Fine for rounds to come too. Yeah. Okay. Stinger. So they're going to look to have a little bit more in the future. Yep. Because they're going to try to really get the focus of this board now for IC. They care. You're like love me, Arabia. Damage down to two. A little bit of damage down to twenty-four with a spray too. And the other player is pushing forward. Yes, they'll have a showstopper now, but with low HP, this is still a tough condition for G2. Buying around that rifle that was saved by Jonah P to try to win the round. The wall banks are coming across. There's that paranoia. Nature and Superman working in tandem, trying to kill the players of G2 and forcing those players back. Good control. I, this is one of the rounds EG finally gets to kind of absorb this G2 aggression. They've actually been losing quite a few members at that first ah, rubble fight. Ah, one time out, the situation has changed all the time. And they go ah, back to see. This is the end. Jogmo is just feeling comfortable on this hit. Not into it. Leaf is there with the buggy. Forced to play a different angle by the waterfall. And EG understands that. So they're going all the way around loud. towards mm. ramp. We'll take the free site, the free plant. 
And the biggest damage they could do here is at least there. Icy with his Vandal. Sees Nate combo, but the Seize misses. So will not do any damage here to EG on the Pulse Plant. Here comes a swing, finally. They Excuse do get the me? contact onto Derek. A chance now, Sorry potentially, if they're able to drop one Fight more and utilize the Showstopper. But Leaf just fell. I see in Trent now. High and low oh. on the right side of the C site. And it's not looking good at all here. There EG able to Take score now four sleep. rounds in a row in their favor. Beauty. We're finally starting to see a game quite early in this first half, but but it's Incredible that they're instantly yeah. able to pull around four in a row because it Love was you, coming from a lot of the frags in the round. It was the post plants, right? It was EG wasn't able to get into those first few fights. The first blood goes towards G2, and then it seems like the round fell apart. Guys, much. Guys, doing a guys, really guys, nice guys, job guys. of playing a bit more of the map before yeah. they start Love to play the so much hard work. And that's Love one you, yeah. call to be making, especially when you're just 5-0. Figure out what the right one would be to grab four back in a row. Icy still with that showstopper now. Out. A lot four out here to start this round off, but he's going to meet Jogmos as well. And there could be face to face right here. Showstopper out, counter showstopper on both ends. Who hits who? Wait! At least it's guns instead. Instant trades on both sides. Hat coming out to get information, and now it's thrown here it's by good. APOC. Knowing now that the A side is open, but Superman's trailing far behind still. Door closes, time wasted. Valent in the drop spot. Just around the corner. It's nature. There's a first phrase now hit oh, by the snake ouch. bite. He's fine. Managed to safe. find a spot where he's okay. Superman finally trying to go for a plant, but taps first. Trying to see if G2 is going to swing out, and they do. Managed to get a snake bite kill onto Derek. 45 seconds left. Door reopened now by Superman. 8 HP left. Dang. As they're going to try to pivot towards the B side. TP across, and now bye, Nature bye, cuts the rotation. There's that first and second, but instantly Trent trades it out. They're gonna a walk fast, I guess. He attempts now towards the B site, now down. Throws out a smoke as Superman. Now plays inside of it and around. First contact will be Trent. Nice. There's that first. Oh. And he's gonna be there. Balance first. Nice the smoke nice straight right back. Anti daddy. Quick flick there to end it. Nice but yeah, EG again on the verge of taking another one. And, and that call to switch it up, but have the, the clothesline. The ults are starting off, not coming up with too much, but gave him the space to want to be able to get into the site, play over towards A to start things off. If these A fights have just been wildly chaotic too. Everybody's dropping into site right away for G2. I don't know if EG can use that to their advantage, but it seems uh, with that and the util they were able to get out that time from G2 it makes it seem very tough and they get that post plant back in order. C push and A push again, it seems. No, just the deep alarm bot going out again over towards that C side. Give me a chance now for EG just to once again farm a free orb and that's going to be in the hands of Jogimo. Nightfall available and ready if EG wants to use it. Apoth once again trying to find late information. Cage to come up. Here's a shot coming out from front B. But it's a bait shot from Trent. Here's an icy kid. Battle it down head to head. But Apoth knows, uh, knows better than to beat. Happy birthday to Papa. Thank you. EG Thank still you. trying to break some util towards the C site. There. They're trying to work off a few of the precedents they've seen G2 make. You know, somebody pushed A a few rounds ago. Mid had a little bit of pressure that Apoth just kind of... It, it but G2 is playing pretty safe right now, all things considered, with the way they've shown the past few rounds. EG is going to get that time down to about 30 seconds. Looks like we're going to get a crash on A. Slow movement in towards Rubble. Jog's pretty far away, so the team's gonna have to do this on their own. It didn't stop Nature before. Now a couple of them are gonna get hit here by the Nightfall. Paranoia also comes out here to counter out and hold the push. 20 seconds left on the clock. EG has to now move inside the side. Counter Nightfall out on the defensive side. Numbers are down even. Make that an advantage for EG. Plot now successful. You mentioned Jonah P being too far. And now he's going to have to try to retake it inside an attacking Viper's pit. 
Jing Bob can make things to... difficult. But they think on his them. toes. Bob no Bob Nelly again. And he just made some noise. They know that he dropped down towards the rope as he walks in. Gun first. Nature fires first. And EG win the round. Well, round just the sourcing the map all because for of information and guys. playing off it. Really nicely done. They have a few rounds EG has six, starting six, at C, getting One themselves back in. And these fights six, over at now. A just have been their bread and butter to end some of these rounds. Real happy with the way the rest of this one's been going, especially to stave off ah, G2 after they quickly like pull ah, back no. around. That's gonna do a little ditty on Seven G2's money for this one, one, and they're on a low buy for the last round of the first half. Four on C. We'll see if they play the fake. Do they let somebody go out, play a little aggressive, and then trap EG with the rest of G2's members in the site? Oh, no, they're just waiting family photo style. High low here. Yeah, Quite crazy, uh, Superman's one running up to tap on the orb, seeing there are a trap play coming out from G2, ne. but he's doing that with the spike on his back, finally, leaves it behind for Derek. Lo, rashi kar rahe baat alag hai. Goes for a second attempt. Fir to log fun ke G2 ke staying Lekin patient. Serious killer to fit. Jogimo now at the point. Paranoid behind to support. Yeah. Prowler 2 towards the front. Here. Repeat of last round. A little bit less aggression on what the utility of, of Z offered, but that's Hard good enough. Bite. And the haunt as well, getting so much information. Now Valen alone has a band at least spraying back into smoke are both teams. It looks like EG decides to pull back. Oh. Towards the seaside of 1v1, nice little snake bite. Ah. Flushing out Leaf. Well, so unfortunately six, six he falls. Bolte. And he gives the whole site open now for EG. It's a DR from Valen, but it's a one versus four. Stopped right away. No plan needed as we top the game 6-6 six, six on a half. And that last I'm round. I'm not bad, Yaro. Just mollying sides. out one player, right? Finding Good out where they G. can kill Leaf. Other kills on the other. Just dissecting where G2 is hiding. That's what EG was doing that map to bring back Ek six. Absolutely momentum left right G2 right G2 is defending. Left. And we got, a, we got a game on our hands. Oh, yeah. And definitely we're seeing... Well, Derek EG Clutch? playing a lot more slowly. Just want to make sure the aggression's not there. But at least they get it. But before we start the second half, let's hear from G2's IGL Valen and get his thoughts on bringing Icy into the roster. Yeah, so the biggest reason why we ended up picking up Icy is because he's very fundamentally sound within the game and he kind of understands already like how tier one teams play or how we kind of envision the game. So bringing him in was really easy. And in terms of his mechanical power, like he's insane. So I'm, I'm, even I'm excited for you guys to realize, like, yo, this new kid on the block. Is be if he's disciplined within his practice and it really just kind of tries to mimic his play, like, in other words, don't be a scrimmer, right? Like I've been telling him, like, hey, like, make sure when you're practicing with us, like, really try to understand why we're playing this way, what your goal is, or your job in the situation. So he's gonna make it really easy for himself doing that and in turn when he goes out and performs on stage like it'll be like a cakewalk for him so i think you guys will be surprised and so far like so that. good right yeah talking about ic at this point and his performances on lotus with you know being Big the new fan kid on from the block Berlin. and Love you. doing his role he's done that exactly pain shells coming out creating space allowing his teammates to move forward not being Selfish to try to run down first and try to get the pick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The play yeah, style yeah that G2 is currently looking, looking at trying to deny hey. EG in his four yeah. positions in the beginning. It's a good balance of what if I and the team would want me to. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> what if I did? And, no, they probably yeah, don't want me to yeah. do this. And it seems like if he can keep those fundamentals going, going, it's, it's been love from heart, love from any case. Being able to entry pretty fearlessly on the other side to get the sights back and the post plants, which worked out heavily the first half for G2 but then it was just that late round attack EG hey, they was the in the map pulling all the strings that they could on G2 before they finally get it in you're popping off too with a few rounds my name Derek is diversity huge or I'm sorry not Derek uh oh no it was Derek to pull off that huge uh, no, yeah, 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 yeah. started off start everything off after the timeout so for sure it definitely took a bit but EG found that power the now we got the even game. I was wondering if the wall play? dropped for a second. Nobody, <laughs> even, nobody even moved. They're just looking Lime for the haunt to come over before bandu. they move out here. Even jump spotting yeah. was Trent to see if EG is going to play the walk contact on their end. And an early defender wall comes up. 
And that's gonna keep behind hello. there as, as Trent pulls his up too. What EG did was so bad though, don't you think? For EG, it's potentially okay. Maybe he's still just a lurker. They don't have too much going on on the C site yet. EG still wants to gamble. The instant rotate out from the C site. Jogimo looking to move in here with the rest of the players towards A. And Apoth could not have his utility stretched out further on this one. Trying to cover just about every site with a little bit. Is it going to be enough? Scoring first is Apoth though. EG in the lead in a situation. Close to the traps. Also a little high. To go against the satchels, but the satchels will be denied by Apoth once again. Bhai, the G2 able bhai. to come back for trades. And also yeah? taking the lead in the situations. Jogno wrapping around. As the hot misses him, he has a timing across. Leaf is low on HP, so is Trent. Now the jump spot. Do we see him here? Here's the reload! And it's enough here to bait Jogno out and Trent to get the kill. It took a bit. They got close to that wire, and I think instantly, collectively <laughs> said everybody left side A. Because that was a very fast switch from G2 to only hit rope side. One kill, Mara. You saw a few people kill go. Mara. And then Omen they all said, no, we're crashing. Yeah, coming out of stairs, too, was a big reason they wanted that left side. Nicely done dogs out here for G2, making sure they can put Bro, down EG no matter what the bike could be. Yeah. Similar to that second round, BB door also Proper broken in simply for Ned blind They're looking sees? for fast quite oh. interesting. A lot of util being thrown from EG side, I like that. Sacrifice your life, deny it's the order. The whiff ke heavy wala. And also By making sure that it's not going to be potentially like IC impossible. trying to pick it up. Did he get it? Two for nature? <laughs> Yeah, at least that helps Eklund him on the right side too for Viper to get two orbs right away for an early pit. A little rubble control here for EG. And EG should be able to suss this out pretty easily. Superman, I think, heard a quick footstep there. He starts to back up and get the position near door. So re-clear here on A. G2 is just trying to not make any mistakes. Keep every weapon in. Get all the orbs on their side if they can. It looks like it's going to end up being A hit here if they don't actually decide to get this baby door done. We're already there, but young. When you look here towards the A side, the orb was also denied out. Of that end here by Superman. New player scout karna itna easy nahi. As I see looking up for a bit, but gets denied. By once again, New players ka scene by Sa. Agar mere paas PC reta to. Together from baby door to get the kill with the class. Mere paas FPS reta to. Pain shell doesn't do too much damage, and we have a safe plant for G2 and even safer positioning on the pulse plant until this work from Leaf. Also gets stopped by Epoth, who gets the stinger upgrade. Usse achha jo log already khel rahe. This could be problems if they get those stingers together. Unka gameplay study karke unka ward dekke. Kya galat kar rahe, wo zada hi. Yes, Jogimo is there alone on the top of heaven, but he's only got a classic so it gives a chance now to create the space for these two Ooh. to come back towards three nice adsing by valid to get those remaining. picks even a third in the round and okay, good to go. the last one another piss round converted good into not a, a problem g2 but all armor damage three parts yeah. good in go. the process and against a full classic that eg had the way the g2 started that five alive they were really really slow, trying to protect each other and 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 really yeah, got scrappy at the end there i would have loved to avoid those frags but it is going to still be a good win and the bonus now for eg I think it was nice too that They're Trent threw that haunt to get that ping yeah, off. Yeah, to nature to get that, get that kill. And yeah, the first opener. When it's you're right. trying to deny that orb uh, opportunity to get an ult out earlier out from Icy, it's actually Trent that got closer now to his nightfall. And he'll go for it for again. Continuous pressure here every round friend so far for the evil geniuses. Superman takes control of the position, a little bit out there check from Jogamo, that and then Jog and the rest of the team can make I better informed decisions leave, on leave. the map. We saw already Superman able to get out of this once, yeah. So not a problem for him to be pushed up and get the info. And the good thing is that support system on the A side, no grand is being used by John grand or Derek. Re, lekin, so Superman is actually able to make it safely on top of the You can try to delay, get info, and we'll still have utility util for EG to retake the A side should they lose it here. On this attempt of a push from G2, with another one-way smoke <laughs> being thrown by Superman, they decide to stop. Heck of a delay. Map ball. They have no idea who else is out there, and, and at the rate Superman's man. defending it, it's like he's the king to keep so defending with somebody G2. else, and they have to Safe. respect that. Just really putting up Kya a good front there, facade on rubble. 
And they may have to force towards B. 30 seconds left. This could be a door play, but they're going to be running into that Cypher Uto. And you might have a C's need set up here. C's gets thrown first. There's an A. So a little bit of a mistiming there, but it does a little bit of damage. Jogginos, the one that technically damaged the sprays under retaliation. And G2 rotating out towards the C site now. Apon. Avoiding his own season eight, stays alive for a bit, spamming through his own cage. Jogging around the corner, beautiful hot coming out from Derek. That lines up. He's held by Mega Bola. the last two, and there's no time left. The last two players of G2 are forced to fall back and save their weapons as EG is able to get their gun round. What a round from Evil Geniuses. That yeah, the, yeah. Just to summarize that round was basically G2, we want you to do this. They were directed away from A, they were directed away from B from the Seas Nade, right into the waiting arms of Cypher Util at B, the Haunts, the Util, the Dump, and EG just slaughter G2 on the entry. I that was that's so made. organized from Evil Geniuses. Nice shots by Nature to follow the those kills after the ping, and he's dropping 20 now. In this server for EG. Uh, a slower start that he had the first time he played against G2. Uh, uh, on breach rolls, on kill rolls, but on this Viper today nah, on the Lotus. He's definitely come out to play. And EG get the same defensive nah, setup almost every time for free. Free. Instantly, Instantly Superman's up, grabbing info. It's the C hit though. G2's focus is only coming forward coming on, on this one it seems with Nightfall hitting. And I see in. They put a snake by towards the waterfall, somehow gets a second one. As Lee finally is able to answer back, but that support was already there from nature. Advantage still out for EG. As Vala has made it through the spawn, and he's gonna try to get behind. The winning factor. While Leaf goes for the plant here at the default spot, sees Nate, nice little bait out. Also trying to win some time for Valen to execute this back. Nice. And that works against by. Superman. They try to answer right back, but Derek is able to avenge his teammate. Back to a 1v1. Jogging more against Leaf. 54 62 are the HPs. Has a turret to work with. So makes it a two versus one in terms of information and angles that could be watched here against Jogimo. Jogimo breaks it right away. Oh. And around for Leaf. They come. 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 But it's a strong hold for G2 and the Sentinels side. usually doing their work hey, out of the radar, especially to kill Joy, but in Leaf put in the situation, still that stepping that up that when he's needed. Yeah. Doesn't Next time they're not getting KJ or not. Valen so close to making that one work, but EG was still ready. They took so much time in Waterfall to say, wait, we've only identified one. They're okay, it has to be a lurk. It's been too long. They're not planting or protecting each other. So good mind games there. GB mentioned have been forced sometimes to play the LMS, right? The last man standing. Exactly. What are the question the marks there? It's been answered. Final ball. EG Bay. I mean, G2 Bay. Still clutch now. Could still give a chance for G2 yeah. Yeah. to maintain their lead now. G2 but win it. That five round lead that they had at the beginning of the game. EG is not possible. Down by two. Impossible. As in the later nine seven scores. Halves of the, the halves. Look at the starts. EG snowball of a couple of rounds here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How G2 plays. And it starts off with an outlaw by Superman. Contacts onto Icy. Heavily pressured. Another paranoia being thrown out. Forcing Valen to TP away. And the G2 Leaf able to get that lurk. God, they're so ready for every push. For EG indeed. <laughs> Except not for the rotate potentially towards the seaside. So Jogmo wants to try to get the contact but bumps the ceiling. And now Valen's on the lurk but gets stopped. Trying to pinch across, trying to get trades. They lost a spike in the process. Mega and they lost all of their fights for G2. Again, they uh, G2 cannot uproot EG from their defensive positions. They get this play at A. But Superman was mostly there by himself with an yeah. outlaw. But again, G2 assumed there's way more behind it, right? They also this shot and then peeking again. It's just like the audacity of it is kind of blowing G2 away. They're like, okay, we gotta back up. There's way more here. It has to be it. Otherwise, you'd think you'd just smother this guy on rubble every round. They go towards mid. There's gonna be a crash on to be here. That Cypher Util wow, spread out pretty thin towards there. sites, and it's gonna stop him for the, the hit. But the low buy uh, entry. I, it it looks like the train down. is on the tracks. Not much is gonna stop this one. Except these mollies and walls. And smokes up from EG. Okay, they ran out of coal. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were still getting the blast packs. Ran out of steam. 
Now you have stingers with no armor as well for Leaf Invalid. Doesn't pick a smoke at there. Full shield for Icy. So your call is still right, though. They still want to potentially leverage these two satchels for G2 to create some space and close the gap and potentially get a big opener. Might be choosing towards the seaside, especially now that the Nanosaur has broken the trips away yep. from Apoth. Nice hit there. I think popped cam as well, so they can't use. Bye. Caught looking. That's exactly run. what they need. Exactly. And off that kill, a lockdown becomes available. And even better for G2, that's going to create the space for a clean plant. And with the guns that they have, they can close the gap and play up towards the spawn with these lower buys. Oh, nice. Giving the spike to Icy. A plant coming down has a showstopper in the ready as well. Post plant and Marsak, they did it. With their showstopper. They should be able to defend this. OEG is doing the same thing as G2 right now, being annoying with these revolving doors, so Nature is the one that's opening it up. Three outside sight, they gotta get in, Spike's planted in sight. But I see pops out the showstopper, adding fear to EG, forcing out the rocket, oh, avoiding shit. it, then trying to push down the punish, but Icy stays alive. Now at the top of the boxes as EG, Derek is moving forward with the rest of the team, out for the kill! Oh, no. <laughs> I'm saying that I'm going to buy G2 you just saw him for a moment on the screen. That's how wild these fights are getting. Oh push. my gosh. For the low buy round, be the one that G2 is able to snap back with here again. The classic yeah, kill be. there. The flood into sight. G2 scurred in from mound just in time. They didn't plant to be able to shoot on stairs and mound. They planted deep in sight, so it was required for everybody to crash back in. Did it at just the right time, and Valen able to swing a haymaker at the end there, as you said. Oh, my word. Timeout now for Evil Geniuses. Can I get a moment? Get these alts in order. How can they best be used? How can we best defend or retake if that's going to be the case? Man. This back and forth has been wild for the economy in the game too. You see how anybody has, or everybody has hardly any credits in the pocket. It just makes it so tough when you're trying to stretch out these last few rounds and make it to 13. Another important timeout coming out from Coach Potter. Discussing here again, you talked about how going back and forth, but that thrifty that was just won by G2 hurts the economy a bit of EG going into round number 19 here. Which then again, You'll see it once we get into game. There was a couple of rifles being bought, but they're all buying down now to something more affordable yeah. to play a later round, a later game. In terms of rifles, but once again, the map, I think utilizing I rather, these ultimates around these stingers. I'm pass card in the back of the back of Hopefully. Hit the horse. A. Hey. Ooh, finally getting a little first aggro out. Yeah, G2 wants the space right away. Superman will not be able to reside here. They're going to be at sea, though. So it's that full retake. They do have the, the nightfall for this, which is why we're seeing such a change on the side of EG. Site's going to be G2s. They should be able to get a little bit of forward push here, too, if they go towards stairs or A-Link. But being smoked off, that might be too sketchy. Contain the spawn for EG. The trip still towards the B-side to give them a chance to have information on the alert, alert, which is not currently available here for G2. So they're going to try to work as a group, winning the first wave of util, potentially trying to flood back now and activate any trades. There is that nightfall for info, a swing ah, out from the order. Hey. But it's G2 answering oh, first. Two on the board for them the against car. one of EG. Vandal upgrade out for Jogimo, though, as they're trying to fight towards the tree, and he swings in alone. All of the plays are G2 winning at the revolving door. And that thrifty this time around will not come in favor of EG after Potter's timeout. Such an awesome shot from the POV of the players in the nightfall there. You can't hear anything. It's chaos. You're shooting based on anything you can identify that breaks that wall, so that 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 line like of sight. And they all just stay and trade with each other. Very nicely done. One enemy remaining. And a faster strat here from G2. Seeing the call from the timeout, they say, all right, we're going to play something fast. Uh, they go towards A, and they did not stop on that. Love they're going to have too. Jonah P's all after that. He'll need to run all the way at the end of the round. Rinse and repeat. We'll get the same strat. A little bit more of a lurk from Leaf on this one, though. Oh. 
Going out for a TP right after the paranoia. Avoids a little bit of these bullets. And now with the beautiful haunt being thrown right, by Derek. Haunt. Allowing Dragomo and Superman okay. to just shut down the initial push of EG outside of A. But Jonah P is still up and alive. Remaining. So is Leaf to answer I right back. Yeah. Given all the fights, they thought there's maybe enough damage done. A little antsy there. And G2 come out on top. Hey, Poff. No, no, Healthy. No, no. Still, though, low armor on this bot. Go round, is in a clear cut. Galat. And it's gonna be the slow work from G2 as they clear everything. They know Apoth could be one with a wild yeah, lurk fight. at spot you're yeah, not exactly expecting. Fight. So they ha they're using everything just to get a bit of ground here. Over or make sure they can displace Apoth and find out where he is immediately. Over it again. Yeah, yeah. Ah, no. yeah. Nana Swarm being thrown. He knows there's at least a KJ, and there's that first one at five Spike HP left though. A. Again. Still has an idea, especially with the revolving door being hit on the A side. That Leaf was there with his teammate. By red, dia, bro. Now off the plant, Apot does have a cage to work with Spike if he wants planted. to block vision and try to move down. Oh, but his signs to move down silently. That turret could be his demise. Unfortunately, he's, he's not going to. He's on the him. good side. He's looking away he's here. He's good. He's trying to get behind. As he's lurking up right now, the turret. It's not even looking towards tree. Oh my gosh. And that. The gun is not even sticking out here. That was so close as Leaf walks behind, but he looks for oh, the boy. Oh, oh, oh. Leaf will still oh. get the round and put G2 on that Love point. Love from New Zealand. Love you. LMS Next still point. got it. Leaf comes up again oh. with a very big round. This goes up to the Maybe easy. Like I said, but practically nobody had money in the bank that round. Valen had maybe 3k, everybody else on 700, so... Prediction, I saw the prediction is... not gonna give you much. They keep the cash, they keep the cash G2. flow, but the momentum. And Leaf G2 G2. keeps clutching. Yeah. What a runaround. A little game of cat and mouse at the end there. Timing tha. And now game point for G2. And this battle to start off on Lotus here. Round hai, lekin, easy, easy, so. lekin, that the goes to both teams. Na? If they can get on the Lekin, side, Jonah can quickly put the pipers pit down. So both team doing and it's some just, again, G2 a little slower. Mistakes. But we get the same strat. You have your lurk it's by okay. Leaf. And A control as they move up ever so slowly. And EG wants to play the distance. They only have Guardians really to work with. Four of them. One Bulldog for Apoch. Trying to close there. down. Tight line of sights. Uh, Shot a little bit too early on that haunt, so it does get a bit of info. It's, it's, it's gotten thrown out by Derek. Which also pivots, dropping him out towards the A site to try to support Superman. He gets hit by a paranoia, forced to fall back. Counter flashes. Repositions. Why is the best of that? Omen blind into. Good find. Uh, Clearing a lot of info. Oh, oh, Superman though. Now we commit. Nightfall on the attack. Jogimo at half health as he's hit by that. Even the Han. And that's going to make it a little bit easier until I see that. Jogimo gets the pick. But there you go. G2 stops the it's opportunity. G to turn around over in their favor. Two more kills needed to close out the first map. Nature and Apoth pit even out on the attack. Running things a lot more difficult now for evil geniuses. They hear the drop, the wall comes down. Nature hey, connects onto the upgrades now into Fade a vandal. players on both teams. Yeah, position Virtually at the same Varna health. Sakta tha. Apoth trying to walk in. Decay now by the pit. Avoids the first sneak bite. Sprays across to try to get a timing. As he swings in, there's that first kill. A God. second one easily done. Clean, clean. Four zero, we shall buy. Four zero. under their belt. Your vision paid to get this into the crowd. Acha, paid acha. Rounds across these teams as well to make sure they were able to get the dust. Ye map mein fade or get ko. Ye doi. Derek going down Bapi to one v one. Then we had the ace from uh, ace from Leaf or not Sky Major. Sky be pink hai, Then we have Leaf None. clutching. Like, I think fade and get ko. Teams are bringing best it all out here system. on Lotus to start, but G two able to get a little bit more momentum as they make their way into that second half. Abe ganta four zero. Arey mere aur Vishal bhai ke bichon four zero. Once they finally got that A control, G2's from their attacking side, and they push Rubble back. It seemed like they were a lot more comfortable to continue the round. Superman was just able to give up way, way too much info otherwise. If they didn't don't have know that area. A great start for G2. Don't map on the other. They can map here right? in the first map. We'll we'll see if G2. G can fight back on the second one. Their map pick on Icebox happening after the break. G2 song the career. G2 ka fundamental such
यूट्यूब का फंडामेंटल बहुत अच्छा सिर्फ एक वो लोग ने गलती किया था कि एल्ट वाला उसके अलावा नो प्रॉब्लम इतना देखा नहीं यस प्रॉब्लम यू नीड वराइजन Train in that old thing and get a new iPhone 15 Pro with tons of storage. So you can take all the pics. Ajji ji de ka kya lagta nahi re. Tough hai re. But DRX se be. DRX is too strong. And as many portraits of me as your heart desires. How about none? None. None. Yeah, none feels right. Trade in any iPhone in any condition and get iPhone 15 Pro on us. Only on Verizon. Red Bull gives you wings. Red Bull gives the ओह मैंने क्लियर कार्ड मिस किया बस बिबड़ा व्यू पार्टी आओगे नहीं रे पॉसिबल नहीं है आई वॉट टू मच स्ट्रीम्स मेरे को बीच में रूटर्स भी करना है मेरे को पता नहीं कब करूंगा न्यू पीसी बिल्ड करवा ले एक लाख का अच्छा है एक लाख में अच्छा पीसी बन रुक जाओ मैं दो मिनट चल के ट्विटर पे क्या करोगे वैल्यू करूंगा यार इतना वैल्यू देख रहा हूँ दूसरा गेम खेलने का मन नहीं होता जी का मैच कब है आज शाम को के बाद सेकेंड मैच Smix standing here with Coach Josh after G2 takes down EG on map number one on Lotus. And after watching that map, I noticed there were a couple of changes that were made, mainly in IC playing Duelist, and we see Leaf on Sentinel. So I'm curious, especially with the recent roster changes with IC joining the team, was this change made by design? Uh, what was the thought process there? It was actually by design. We thought Nathan could play Sentinel real, really well, and IC is clear, 
clearly a really good duelist. He's taking all the space for us, getting the entries, um, just leading the forefront. It's working out. Amazing. Looking forward to Icebox then. Best of luck. G2 managed to pick up their win, their map pick, excuse me, on Lotus, but we'll see what the future holds for them. EG, though, certainly did not make that feel easy whatsoever, but it was still impressive to see G2. Despite the fact that we were seeing some great clutches from EG, G2 still managing to fight back. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think for me, the two pistol wins that they had made it really difficult for EG to fight back. And you saw some moments, right, where you have three Hero moments, those types of things, trying to keep EG back in the game, but it was kind of the snowball at the beginning of everything. Yeah, it was a 5-0 lead for G2, right? And then timeouts called, all of a sudden, you've got these clutches. I mean, nature plays this so incredibly well. And I mean, the spamps, the smoke on the diffuser, <laughs> it's gorgeous, but that was necessary in order to give EG a chance yeah. because of the fact that G2 won the first pistol. They won that uh, that bonus right after getting two picks early in the round. That was really what set the tone for the game. Yeah, and the recovery from that from G2 was really impressive as well. Valon, yeah. I think, called a great game, especially on the attack side, doing a really good job at playing when EG was sending that aggression, going for these late round hits. He He's an IGL who, like former players of his text, described him as like a mastermind. You feel like a chess piece when you play under him. But he really does take a lot of that control. And he himself was absolutely owning this map. But the focus has to be on this new rookie, Icy, who showed up and I feel like did fine. Yeah. And that's that's fine for a debut, right? They played a good game. He did his role well. That I have no complaints. I, I think he played great, actually. I, I think, especially when you compare it against the other side, where Jogmo kind of had a slow game in It's general. like the worst game we've seen from Jaw in a long time. Absolutely. It yeah. is. And for me, Icy, like, uh, yeah, Dude, okay. Duelists are at the bottom. Funny but enough. but for me, like the beat, that first half was him playing very well. Yes. And maybe the second half kind of slows down, whatever. But this, they don't really need that at that point. Yeah, we'll continue to see him how he plays in the series. I think the story for me was our IGLs, right? Nature frying in those late round moments, always showing up. But Valen on the other side too with 21 kills. And that's coming again, right? The, the nail in the coffin against EG was with Valen up on top of box, not Seasight in the yeah. thrifty round, getting two kills with a stinger, right? We were, we were dead even right there. And then all of a sudden G2 win that round and continue to win out from there. And to no surprise, Leaf switches over to a new role. He still plays that. <laughs> Excellently. The guy, the guy will hop onto a, any agent, and he's great there. Whenever he was having a hit come to his site, when he was playing on the kill joint on defense, I thought his movement was really good. He has a great understanding yeah. of how to play around his utility. Bhai. Honestly, no matter what agent I see the guy lock in, Break I, I no worries. He was great. Yeah, it was, uh, again, just another example of why we've continued to praise Leaf on this desk so many times now. But if you take a look at the other side Haley of the field, see what ka ka has to say as we get ready for Matt 2. Smick standing here with Coach Potter after map number one. And I'm curious, Potter, it's been about a month since we last saw you during kickoffs. That's a lot of time to prepare, to practice. I know you didn't have too many chances. It was just two matches back then. But what did you really focus on ahead of stage one? Um, keeping our gas. You know, I think uh, after that loud series, it was obvious that through maps Water two and three, we were just losing kind of confidence. And I think map one oh. showed that for us as well. It was a really slow start for us. And as a newer, younger squad, kind of finding ourselves, we really need rounds on the board to really kind of give us that momentum. But uh, it, I'm proud of the guys for at least making that comeback happen in, the, in early on in the first half. But second half, um, yeah, it just things kind of fell apart for us. Well, we've seen you certainly build teams back up in the past before, but for now, best of luck on map number two. Thank you, thank you. Hey, it's babe. always good to have the cool hand of Potter in those situations to be able to guide the young players, you know, in the right way. Maybe this is going to be an opportunity for them to do just that. As we get ready for map number two, it's going to be EG's pick of Icebox. This next map is going to be a one-for-one -one rematch of what we saw in the match between these two squads at kickoff. Oh, the, the only team are we going to get it again? Try something like that. I honestly doubt it. I think there were some cool ideas there, the way that Judge Mo was moving around his utility to set up these trap plays on the defense. I don't necessarily I think, think it's an idea nice. they're going to stick to. I think EG, they read EG me as a type of team there. who will have yeah, some pocket cards like that, that they want to play in a more one-off tournament like kickoff. See, I'm not so sure because I think the read for part of that was a, that was a no duelist comp that okay. they were running. And that is a very different meta read. You saw a team like Lev, they were playing Lena, and they switched to a jet. And that's just because they want to have like some flexibility. That's a pretty easy pivot. 
coming in and your first read on the year being we want to play no duelist on icebox which is perfectly viable i don't think you make that pivot uh immediately away from that you're only showing that your 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 team deadlock your team anti i'm team deadlock i could also see them trying you know something else in that slot but yeah i like the comp i don't think it works consistently Mm. I think I. Why really don't you think it works something. consistently? I, I think it's it's more so that once you start to to see some of these ideas. For for me, the biggest takeaways, particularly on the defense with how they were doing it, was setting up these kind of traps with the sonic sensor. I think it's a comp you can really contact on a lot that can get punished. And I think EG likes to have those kind of gimmicky one-off ideas and then change huh? away from history. I will say the things that make it hard hey, is the initiator slots. Hey, abhi bhi format hoye do match hare over there. In order to do some early the scouting, yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah, no? they do switch over to Jet and Harbor. I, 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 I'm a big personal fan of this Harbor comp. Like I've said a million times in the past, though. Yeah, it's good. I mean, we've seen so yeah, much. Yeah, really curious here. on the other so, side. So though, right? the on, uh, for Icy, right, as the debut as well. This one's super. Yeah, interesting. we talk of no duels. This is going to be a no duels. And they're still and playing double controllers. Yeah, a lot of time you see Gecko KO. This is a Gecko Sova. It's double info. Here for Jero not asking well, let's find you out. at that if this one is going to go the distance. It's going to be exciting. I just know that I'm going next month to Korea. To your casters, let's find another tag team to reference. I'll say, uh, I don't know. Uh, I have just a heads up. <laughs> All right, we'll take it. Thanks, GB. <laughs> but yes, this second map is going to be quite good here now on Icebox as the desk nailed it. We had now two different compositions for both of these teams. Changes things out from the last time they played on Icebox. No more Brimstone on the side of G2. Yeah. Now also for EG, there's no deadlock. So you're maybe removing and stepping away from that one-off thing that, you know, kind of got discovered uh, against Lau when EG played in on Icebox after. Yeah, feels good. It. Yeah. Feels good when you can get it in there. People don't really know how to react to it. And it, it lasts just about a few weeks. Maybe Maybe a few games, if you will. Since that was the time <laughs> yeah. So looking at what we have before us, I feel like it is going to be a bit of a slower play unless it's info util and crash, yeah. right? Yeah. So this game has a this lot of ways to be played, but we don't have Dinsk the same wall. Matlab, See, some other reasons playing the same wall makes that game play a lot safer, so we last. might just have a, a heyday here. The both teams also. coming in pretty hard on this A side over and over. Not too many crazy buys going around. Some ghosts, as they slowly work up Alt Orb, Trent's gonna be first contact here for G2. All right, Cascade was used for pipes so that they could just play contact from the lower grounds. And now to make full noise, High Tide coming out on the A side as EG on the attack are the ones trying to set the pace for the attempt of a plant. Both Nine Swarms Ooh. preemptively popped the one of defense. Paranoid Ay, as well. And it right away. Like G2 wanted to fight instantly. But it gets planted, trend gets kya, to pick off through the door. What blind did he bro? Man. As a pawn, four of them did he Gecko dizzy now being thrown towards the air to get information, and leap is quite good for those two As kills said, guys. swarming inside from that screens. Jogging Malone and P with Superman Player up against a full here. roster, quite healthy of G2. Oh trend with Baap three bre. in a round. In G2, this Power is the first pistol now of the series. Yeah. By really the best pistol round. Like we said, he was just pushed up towards pipes. First bit of sound he heard, they started to throw up the Viper wall from Jonah. Just to keep the charge and blind him. Yeah. They start taking the fights. That push, that was towards the end of the round. By but yeah, Baap instant kill control of the sights, able to waterfall in. And two will be to start off. Same two that are starting Baap off right now over on that side as we see Icy and Jonah P setting up on the outside. So the Killjoy utility is going to be mid. See how long it takes EG to kind of get up and mess Jake with that or figure out how much it's being Eric, moved because it's always one of the games you can play when you want to start working kitchen. EG going fast again here for the second round to get a little bit of orb control. Yep. And they just pause. Sectioning the scaling here towards this B site. Top green. They don't have the Allen drone to try to clear out towards yellow though. And at least the audio cue of the Dizzy is going to allow for EG to start swarming in towards the top. Nice. Jungle gets the contact, but it was a little labored. So now G2 is already there to help ride out on the first player at the gloss on yellow. Very, very clean clean second round. A little bit of room for Leaf to peek out there and get quite a few the stinger from Nest. 4-0. We have a lockdown pretty fast too. So even if EG start to kick back as this bonus round comes around, we have that lockdown to stave off their pressure. All right. Vandals, Leaf everyone. Oh no, there's a few phantoms in there for EG. 
Looks like they will be going towards ye bonus bonus round jaisa nahi dikh raha mere ko but a little bit more midler ye log ko jeetne ka hi hai bhai going up this cascade pushing behind it sometimes you see the drone here for full clear going up behind just added free space and they're still keeping you till to make their way into the site and you talk about aggression potential i've been well all this about it's actually leaf walking all the way down the prediction is send jeetega bro yeah too Big dizzy that gets uh, a big blind out the jogging mode. Oh, so aggressive! Try to dash away, and there's Whoa. that push down, punishing Superman. And at the same time, look at those bullet holes. They added a lot of pressure for G2 on the A side, so it almost looked like a pincer maneuver on all the Poison angles of the map. Spike down. Feels like Lotus early rounds all over again. Spike already down. Yeah, bolo da mana. Out towards yellow. Derek alone now. Yeah, bolo da bhai. Towards the B side, Nature on the other side at A. Please Derek's able to fight back. Icy falls early. Recon guard to work with. Chance now for Nature to move back with him. Crazy. Dwindle down the numbers of the defensive G2 towards the C. Yeah, dekh raha hu. You are watching the best. Turn those spots Derek right down to an AP. Spike down B. Is answered back by Nature. 30 seconds left. He's clutched this before here this IGL for EG. Jump spot though from Trent. Just saw him. What are G2 kaise kele na? Information for nature to know there was two players there towards orange. So this time G2 is a top contender. No Confident round now for G2. Yeah, he said G2 is a direct player. Yeah. And it really the way they played the economy for the first few rounds, we saw G2 with vandals and full armor on a few of their members coming into that round. That's not what EG is expecting. You know, they're expecting G2 to have gone through a pretty easy, almost flawless round to start off, but I'm probably not expecting to find so many gun lesson. gun sames expecting those guns well, yeah, right there the in game what's the rank again immortal 3 the utility set up eg is going to be running into a trap but it hasn't stopped them before going out it is something they can clear and the way that g2's placed on those mollies too just on the boxes so very hard for well, well, okay, 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 the oh there's a molly at my feet no it's head level halal. ready to just kind of slice you up as it goes off Back to mid, Trent, same spot. Rinse and repeat a pistol round here from both teams. Yeah. EG really using this. Can I take a gal again? Why in a sight not only from pipes but What from yaar? Jenny as they try to come out here from the bottom of the team main, team main area. Now you tell being done. Anyway, that team is just kar dega come back. Matlab zyada stress wala team nahi. But none of it got broken, so Leaf could still do a lot of damage oh, here yet nature. It's still able to get that kill. before he falls from that you too perfect blind go when they blind out contact here coming from the bottom of the site double swing out from eg as trent is able to get one onto apoff on the top of the rafters bro bubble now gun is ke bas so ulti apne se ji slows things down Please. in terms of not letting g2 know plant pe use kar de moves going to be that is such a neat thing looking back at the mollies there that we had in a nahi agar salt in nahi use kiya to chal gaya ki ye ko ke sari utils plus time they used those mollies it did allow for a little bit karega to acha le lega jenny if you if the molly went off you could tuck yourself in sara get ko ka saman the mollies move that time jenny wasn't safe and that's where they tried to hide neat little changes here comes the sight take nice it's too much utility yeah always here on salt to use nahi chalega Yeah, the Gecko gets sorry it is. EG has It's like almost two v4. Two weapons in a process. The little change is throwing EG off on their take reckoning. Then so I'm sure they're still by coming through as we watch the replay once when you see how those molly switch up. Him ne kill raha hai. Just affecting the entry in. Aur kya kar raha hai pata. with that spike down it because so much tougher to organize yourself again. G2's been moving so quick. Direct is support there G2. Kya bolte ho? And we see uh, yeah, RC now going from a raise to a gap yeah, right still just the bap lag raha hai na fundamental yeah, it's true, it's the, the, the team being able to organize the strats cascade forward and it doesn't even give Jogamo enough space move me mara na usne there's a change of a cascade here to allow Jogamo to run out reckoning instantly pushed out as well on the attack changing gears hitting a few recon guard with information but it's a TP out from Valen advantage still out for G2 slightly giving space here for EG but trying to force him and funnel him towards the back of the site. Possibly a little lurk up towards the kitchen. I don't I don't actually think uh Superman wants that right now. He hears the turret that's going to see him right past the window almost a spam. I don't that it's him but uh oh my god. Superman falls, nature 1v1 at least contacts on to Valen. Derek as well as Icy falls. 
अभी यूज होएगा सो शॉट आ टाइम <laughs> Is it okay if Joy can? G2 the end. Another five rounds in a row to start. Are it bando gaya tha? Ready to as they come into this next round that should be 2900 over to the side of EG but still. Oh, turret bando gaya tha. We think to come in here. Turret bando gaya tha. And just time. Oh, is it a reset out kya? Usne last smoke dala na wall dala. Is the hit we expected this to be what they would go for because of that difficulty of taking Smoke up the side especially day. you could still do it with Harbor. Smoke but they're really not to. It's just a little too tough Trent to come in. Well, it's in a 5-0 time attack in guys. Foil every wall you put up if your members are seen. Alam ne send ke liye kya? Wo sab team ke andar wali baat mujhe kaise pata hai? The time to call time. Right? Yeah. Deja vu. Five zero. Time out. Come back. Derek's about to clutch the next round, <laughs> and, and then we then we got out. a game. All right. Script is working. Script is working. Yeah. See you five. Uh, tomorrow, then there will only one match of it. It is a lockdown. It is the Sova ultimate for Derek. Ko. That lockdown and for then nature. And then now, but Leafs is up too. Hai. So. Do they lock down bait and destroy one? Is the Hunter's Fury for post plant? Few ways to play this one. Bara tarik ko specific nahi hai to main bara tarik ko ja raha hai. Second shoot karna. Not too many on deck as well for G2, so you may be able to get out of this round without even having. Yeah, main mera pura pack. Yeah. A is the focus though. To start off, is there hovering you, on this time out to discuss the past five rounds? इसी का लास्ट क्या है टीम का इस बार लास्ट इसमें वो लोग दो गेम खेले थे ना इसी वो भी आते थे क्यों लास्ट मैप पे भी इसी का पोटेंशियल दिखा था लेकिन जी तू अलग लेवल पे दिख रहा The post plan. I mean, just the round we saw at A, it seemed like EG was in sight for so long, and that's because they can keep putting up walls. Yeah, my thought is that EG is good. Good time. Nature can be seen. The space they want. It's just looks like G2 always wants to be a step inside that space. Derek can be. Nature has to modify the way they want to scale towards the A site. So instead of using these cascades to push out, they're using an early outdrone from Derek to make sure you can put away the first one. Instead of using these cascades to push out, they're using an early outdrone from Derek to make sure you can put away the first one. Instead of using these cascades to push out, they're using an early outdrone from Derek to make sure you can put away the first one. Instead of using these cascades to push out, they're using an early outdrone from Derek to make sure you can put away the first one. Get the pick. I'm lucky, guys. Now get yeah. Al drone out. You can recon in the site with the rest of the high tides coming through. Yeah, they, just, they dumped it all. Yeah. Val is trying to slow things down by placing a one way up towards pipes. And as we mentioned before, get in the high tide out first. Forces okay. out the lockdown, and yes, it's a chess match to bait out the lockdowns. Break it on the other side with the Hunter's Fury, trying to create space. John Mill couldn't get the float on top of screens, so no punishment on Trent. Silver lining, EG gets a plant. The lurk doesn't die. As Icy gets the headshot on Swan inside kitchen. Bro. Some players Ew. playing inside the site. Some playing wo. pulse plants as Thrash is available for Icy for the retake. Nature holding towards the dice. A Are second it? one in the face of Trent. Valid answers back. And the Thrash is trying to find info. Oh, <laughs> Jogma almost had that kill. Did you get that right? Yeah, get caught in the room. No pulse plant, you tell. And a two versus three at a disadvantage for EG. Tap on the spike, the smoke, the deniability of the sprays. Wingman with the defuse. A six round. Bob Keller, did you leave? Got a little running, a little casual. Retakes and the ability to slow it down too. Three. But the way, finally, Mars is going to be over. Like, you know what? Superman, where? In two, gets the kill. They are much more sure that they can just fight what's in front of them, and they do not second guess any angles that their teammates are watching. Because Alan is pushing out the center of the zone. Oh, he's just in that flow state right now. The post plans. Alan is in that casting. They were coming back really hard. Round robin, eh? Something, something, something. Or Lotus, rather. Here. Did you like it? It going. Sheriff by Guardian there for Jaws. Michelle by. We are at five zero now. And with the spike down to start this one, they expect EG to do something a little tricky. So it's going to be an info. Game from 10th inning and Pacific 19th ke baad to thoda gaming scenes kar sakta hai. EG or sorry G2 to do. Slow kaise engine laga baap hai. EG alert this tube again. They know the turret's going to be most Not like I so in deadlock. They just Was wait out somebody getting antsy and peeking. Oh, take flight. <laughs> They don't want to be antsy. G2 wants to push forward paranoia now. Keeping EG at bay. 
by Valen ke blind on point Superman yeah. slipped through towards kitchen Jongno was trying to see if anybody was going to push under pipe so he could try to get a punish but as that happens and nobody was pushing through EG now groups Shut up together up. towards this A site Superman holding towards kitchen is able to get that rotate catch the first one upgrade into a weapon a second one won by Valen instead a four versus two advantage. Ah, denying the push from EG. The dead kya ball attack. Yeah, hold the attack. Ne. As that hero guardian that they had at the beginning now becomes yeah. an upgrade. Clean kill. Wow. He doesn't give a chance clean for Jongno to set up. So that's up there next one. Just, it just seems like G2 has all the answers. By that, I mean you lose a guy. Ending was the ninth. The bad day. That didn't go. Balance there to instantly trade, yeah. not let that phantom do any more damage. Right, that was supposed to be the crux of the play that would really put G2 on a tough rotate, not allow him to get anywhere, but it's instantly stopped Go back to retaking the site a, uh, again. And I think they're starting to feel it is that a is going to be on point. Yeah, last might be on EG point. doesn't seem to have what feels comfortable be with the, the harbor wall and the viper wall encroachment to go deeper and deeper. Maybe if they come up through mid, on a possible play here, they have been kind here. of setting a precedent that a few will be mid. They get a fight that they they want here, and it could be coming from Icy. The rate's been so good for G2 at the beginning. Blade Storm pop, pressure towards middle instantly. We have a smoke out from Valen. He's also pushing out towards Ayo, the belt. Deko. It's gonna be a 1v1 against Superman playing all the way towards spawn. Wow. As he gets spawned, he falls back, but they have full control of the A site. So EG has to start working towards middle, using the next cycle of the Poison Orb to try to cross over. They'll be able to do so. Cascade on the other end, updraft by Jokimo. Attack in the chest here. On to Trent. Now behind the wall. Leaf is waiting towards the B site. Swings out for the first. Apoth with the Must tree. Oh my god. god. Jonah P holding towards yellow and Jonah P getting the kill towards yellow. Stop do do maro, bhai. He's able to get Stop maro, do do. Superman in a clutch situation and Superman cannot strong. be the hero this time oh. around. Oh. Thank you, Amir. Again, exactly where they want to be. You failing getting up to, to belt on that round? He's like, hey being guys, cool by, by the way, probably B or mid. It's easy right now for G2. They have so much information related. to work with. They just have to have the crossfire placement and it all falls into place right now. Nature uh, looking to get these calls and they will route G2. But G2 is always there in the end. Second time out now for G2, yeah. uh, for EG rather. And more needs to be discussed and more needs to be discussed as to how can EG really set up so much, so much point because as they're trying yeah. different ways of using this cascade, this controller so he can get behind it. Trend zero switch or possible. G2 both clean kill him. More both utility clean thrown by G2 to deny all the visibility for EG's once you make it up the pipes jets already in the verticality zone a flawless valent the valent wall goes Was up it creates a small sliver of space that you would get if you look on your mini map right over towards screens there and then shooting down it's jogamo has all the time in the world nobody can really hit that as you jump back to 410 and you just start playing on top of the site but they can't get into that spot. G2 is not allowing this space free. Trent already looks like he wants to push up into all door position again. And just a little bit of util behind him is going to be able to cover that exit if it gets dangerous as it's been happening. There is a guest comment. A more of a spread here from EG. Let's focus on their side. They're, They're going to cascade a little bit of a ruse towards A here. It could become a play if they get a, a kill. But this focus, the drone initiator for Jogamo over towards A. To see if they can get some space. It's quite interesting too, though, for G2. After EG's timeout, they're trying to use an operator this time around and trying to rotate Leaf around this comp. Yeah. Right there. Controlling kitchen, going back towards boiler. That will make things a little bit harder to There's retake here if EG hits towards this A side. And that wall, yes. Let's try to bait out those players, but the Allen drone was uh, like it really came out by Trent. Yeah. And spotted nothing really. So they know this is a fake from EG to start. Orbs up, a little bit of a God, one way now for Jonah to play with. Yeah, they're going to take a more angered position in the site. 
a little bit less than a minute left. You want to play safer, and they're going to get the second hit. We're getting towards B here, maybe third. You count the mid plays that didn't make it. A little bit of a delay here. A second snake bite being thrown down by Jonah P. Or two information off the oh, record. Oh my no. gosh. Deniability. Hunter's here out on the defense. Dizzy blinding Jogimo, who's still trying to move out towards danger. I have this top of the pipes. In the hallway of kitchen. Now more, Hello, all of blind, dying, okay. more attempts of a plant. Forces EG to have to try to plant safely. But now it's to take down nature and but it's a blind deka. Niche wala nahi hua, lekin yellow wala hua. Three Ks, Jonah P. Three Ks this game. A lot of people are fragging out. Oh, well, that's having some of those clutches. Clean well. Valorant, guys. Towards A to lock in. Just look at it. Cove is up, but it's not gonna matter. You're getting dropped on by utility. You're not getting shot at. So it makes it so hard. We actually see a reason why EG haven't been going B because they just get util done. Yes, sir, sir, with the old man. Really it's cost a lot of. There. They still had the arrow to deliver in if the walls were up. EG looking for more answers now. What's the next step? It's going to be a low buy here. EG's looking for any answer any, right now, actually. Yeah. Anything. Spikes down here because they expect to be pushed. They expect for it to possibly be dropped. They don't want to give that info. And that could have been it right there, right? They lose the harbor wall. And now, forced to just not expect more rabbi. pushes from G2. What a... <laughs> Absolute masterclass here by G2 of just not, not letting EG oh, get a not. foothold anywhere. And right now, they kind of anticipated that push that you just mentioned, Riv. Towards let's L. go, yeah, and 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 say let's the duel can, can do any anything. damage. Valen even manages to fall back at full health. Slowly now, this A side, one wing towards Pipe, slowing down EG's attempt of a push. At least we have a lockdown. So, giving up all that space allows for them to move forward, but it's going to be another one of those lockdown to lockdown. You should run. John <laughs> pushing forward, though, is able to get that pick onto Valen. And that's what we meant here. Maybe some of them will get the team, but it doesn't matter. At least you get the pit down. Now you can get also or the plant and then the pit yep. to play Pulse Plant from jail. This. Now Jones spotting Leaf on the top. Dizzy being thrown out on the defense. G2 trying to move forward and together inside the pit behind the wingman. It's nice to get the first. Jogimo answers right back. Shard on, bay. on the third of the round off the trend. And there is that lurk running out of bullets, but at least Jogimo is able to keep Jonah P in a tight Bye, spot. Sexy where he can't get anything sexy done. Sexy nice as that finally they were looking for that first answer and they finally got it. It takes Thank you, man. to get one, but it is a one. The EG fans rejoice on that. And G2 say, all right, let's go right back at it. A little bit of low money there from the way they've been going down. And <laughs> these, <but laughs> EG had to scrap for this. G2 is not making anything easy here. And they all it as well, making it a little interesting because you're not getting players that are low health. You're getting players that just presented themselves in the Viper's pit. So they're actually pretty healthy. Jogamo didn't care. He was snapping heads off left and right. Amen. Amen. It's quick at the beginning, though. Recondored out for a tenth of a control towards this B side. Mm -hmm. Cascade coming out, too, and both players holding this B site. Valinon, I see. Forced to fall back and start using early utility. Try to hold that push, but again, it's. Yeah, look, fight seems to be a play for EG. At least not again. For the first time, trying to add pressure on middle and B. So that maybe nature could get some sort of value on Elite Lurk. Lurk starts off with Super Bendo inside too. Poison's off. No utils really gonna be watching it because they broke that turret at the beginning of the round for EG. Can't tell if they're uh, fully info gathering or they're just uh, letting the, the round play out as soon uh -oh. as possible. It seems like now they're moving up too. Crash was coming from, so Derek gets the contact with the Hunter's Fury. It's quite interesting at the same time, though. But we'll talk about that in a bit. Valen's still alive. Guard. Second in the round. TP's away now towards green. Second smoke being pinched from behind, but nature. Must kill that kill before. Yep. A plus was able to turn around. They'll get the plant. And now Jonah P is in a one versus three. Economy's not too great for G2, yet Jonah P still wants to make it expensive now against EG. Scaling up towards orange. High-low contact here on the 
Right side of the B side. I was gonna say it was quite interesting. Is it a 9 3? G2 instantly went for double ults, went to try to find information. Bye, the yeah. the second one was also for the 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 all the way out towards the A site. Oh. Made it kind of difficult okay. for Jonathan to rotate back. For sure. Finding these hits towards mid. You were a mistake. Nana sleeping in mid. Interesting mid play. Uh, Demon on our jump more. Demon one. Push A that time, and EG not being kind of scared of it was interesting as well. EG still want to just play their own game, pushing up towards mid. Seems like they will go for full map control on this one, but they're getting the push this time. They're just trading tube control each round. Force buying because the majority at least could have rifles now for G2. Triple walk in mid. Two towards the tube. Trent at the bottom. Yeah. Off. Hit by a decay of an orb coming up on the attack for Superman. As they have five players on their end, now leaning towards this A site. They should be able to focus on A. Slight push here, at least by Jonah, can deliver the info. Jump peak as well. And leaving those two in mid, Balin and Icy will hold. Looks like Trent just starts to rotate back and forth until they hear this drone. And the thing is, we won't have Jogmo trying to create space because he has an operator now yeah, trying to walk back. in long range. So he's spraying through the A tower Whoa! to give a chance. There oh, the site. Okay, there you go. That's okay. Nothing Get happened. We're still going to try to move inside the site for a plant now for EG. Major, once again, a great spot towards the dice. My gosh, all the dark Value into that. Speed. Blade Storm now available for Jogmo as he activates it again. and helps out the rest of the team on the pulse plant. Guard back up, has bitch. something else to say. Tying things up on a 3-3 situation with all three players of G2 now working towards the back of the A site. Jogimo back with the A to, uh, with the operator looking back towards A as a TP comes across at Jenny. Nature catchy one. Guard. Sleeping and even two. Whoa. Valen's forced to be alone now. Easy. Guard, End me kill that jet, baby. Cool. What was a good uh, mental and I don't think I didn't throw it to be a fan. Thank half. you, even met. Thank the pistol round G2 started to run with it, but it is the last three rounds and it took some uh, power to make these rounds happen too. Nature coming up big. Iske baad Sentinels ka match hai, yep. And the rest of the team able to put up some numbers here to make sure they come away with at least three. It's gonna be a tough second half. Definitely a beautiful timing done by Nature there. If you are to put a price tag on your Vala ID, what would it be? To turn things around here on the second half, if they can. But before we get into that, let's toss it down to the desk and see what they have to say. I just wanted to see how long I could balance this on my head. Turns out, quite Are a you while. that bored? Got a very flat head. The game got good in the last three rounds. EG oh, won no. three rounds in a row, GB. Oh, no, it's fantastic. Oh, no, it's falling apart. <laughs> listen, guys, listen. So, I just want to for most of that. <laughs> <laughs> I spent the value of the value of the right ID. I spent the value of the value of the value G2 obviously continuing. To that would be my It's all tag. about the pistols, right? They've won three out of three pistols, but really it's the bonus round. And here in, in this in this third round, A, because in round two, they go for an FPS fight. They've got bulldogs, they've got rifles, they can fight forward here. But they made the choice against an EG that in both of those round threes across both maps have been going into these spread out plays, 3-1-1 on the map. EG, sorry, G2, crept up you. in B main, in A main, down mid as well. And they find two great opening picks that instantly turns the round. They're really Takes were looking flawless milet. throughout. We saw I a great fall. performance out of this now it, on this Sentinel roll. Report but report EG report. have got themselves a chance. They win three rounds in a row yep. towards the nine end. Three cards, nine three cards. Second half. Some of these big pieces are coming online. We're seeing more moments from nature. We're seeing Judge for the first time in the series zero, starting to look a little bit like himself. Yeah, yeah uh, Mimi, that's great. But they still got to win a pistol. Yes. Like, yeah. And that's the big challenge. <laughs> like win a pistol if you don't please do something early because they've started both games on. I mean, statistically speaking, if to pick up the pistol here maybe you can get the yourself back into it the... but history doesn't look good for eg but if you lose this pistol series is pretty much over oh, this 100%. is going to be the most important round coming up for eg yeah i mean this is basically going to be a wrap here if you can not by... secure this pistol this next round is going to be very very pivotal hello, we'll hello. hello. plays this out the for the world champs Let's send it back over to your casters Thank you, GB, and definitely you saw these last two shots. Both Singapore teams seem to be quite comfortable with the plan wrong. that they have cooked up here for this pistol round. It was still 10 seconds left before that. this round started, and nothing else needed to be said. Going with G2 with the dizzy. High tide being thrown on the defense to retaliate. But EG, uh, or G2 rather, are still moving up. 
भाई बहुत बेटी है गेको फॉर जी2 या मेरा गेको सोवा अभी मेटा है प्लांट टू मॉलीज दैट्स डेफिनेटली अ फोकस फॉर जोना लेट्स सी व्हाट दे कैन मेक हियर दे गेट द साइड a little bit of a mid or for EG they're going to play more retake they'll push down mid maybe one flanker but this is the hit G2 has free space it's what post plant they can set up that's going to matter this is good at least EG killed that turret right away on the attack so that gives a little bit of paranoia to G2 forcing one player to instantly rotate back towards the spawn pura you to be with that responsibility giving a chance for EG to have to fight evenly or able to fight evenly Ooh. on a retake towards the A site Jogno scoring first Valera is by with help from Trent as we're all around really not looking towards the verticality everything is really clean and good clean pistol up is ha yeah it is 5v5 video was amazing thank you it might be gg right there but Which team would you like to be in Valorant franchise in the whole I world? Don't know. I don't know if we believe. I, G2 has so many things prepped here. Sentinels. We saw the classic armor, right? Coming in for a lot of them. The two mollies are actually game. used for denial of room here at screens. So with the armor, they can push up the screens. They all face the fight coming into the site. It's not bad. It is beer. It's denial of getting back into the site mollies for EG's defense. So really good forward play from G2. By S12 Mar. Now they'll switch the side. Right a now to uh -huh. be for second round and they have the setup with a leaf watching that flank so they could stay here for quite a bit <laughs> the wingman and the drone just in yeah, space here and then take it any be... chances they have to clear you go buddy bhi mila rega yep jitne ka quite easily too yeah didn't even need a recon dart to have superman trying to peek out and find a timing Not coming back we saw four players waiting right there towards yellow and that or towards green rather and that allows here for G2 to get an instant plant towards the B site there is one of the pulse plant at yellow send send really no big util to delay except for that one nano swarm still in the back pocket and he throws it now yeah it's third planet this half by lore by stingers that we had for me G Wallace exactly they're greeted by a flawless from G2 who only need two Clean more rounds to dominate the series yeah I'll put it that way for sure definitely dominate the series all right see khatam kar diya 4:30 the match chalo jayega back and forth there but the g2 showing ek ghante pehle se match chalo jayega control once they did figure out what was happening and now running away with that control here shot by clean up 11 to 3 now as we get into the bonus round this is so necessary for EG but it's already been the force they're already trying to get control early so it makes it tougher with the low buy iske baad kya match hai sen ka match hai iske baad pop match superman just trying to get that early info giving Achha, a little bit of hoga. control to dare and they're they're getting by. each huh? advantage they can falling out of this game yeah it really is the only saving grace now for EG <laughs> if they're able that to salvage a couple of these rounds to get that hunter fury up asap and maybe have that most Prince important like swing round in the series but we're thinking way too far ahead since the game so far it's been one side of the game no one is zyada nahi rahega here on the second map of ice box so that's okay loss is a loss a map here where eg so came next out with their one off deadlock that really surprised g2 But now this time both of them coming out with new compositions. Dinner was carry is from India, Indian original. Two more left alive now Derek and Nature. Singer close range drop in the spike towards yellow. Wall up on the attack trying to spray behind it are the players of G2 and Derek and Nature just trying to find this timing a nice little double swing out from that smoke. G2's at 12. It's honestly it's an achievement for both teams trying to plan this game. They are giving each other so much hell yeah. just trying to get down that plan as it goes into the site. That next and that map third, just tells the story. Exactly. So much of why next we've seen Mala. so much A site from both of these teams. Doubt this it. one again, G2 you just cleaned it, doubt it up. We beat team G2 and now. So slowly, and now they are on game point track. Open up. Possibly with the Hunter's Fury here if you see the end of that replay. Possibly with the Hunter's Fury here if you see the end of that replay. clean enough kills. So ho sakta hai ki thoda chilling scenes dikhne mile. Looks like they're going to go straight ahead and try to use this right away to pipes with protection. Still on the road too. Oh, Valen already no. drops that this he did way too much. DC, Two players are falling down and that operator is also blind. once again hit by so much utility. Kya drone? Kya hai? Operator. Had zero value. 
Nor are the players. Last oh, one in. Clean with the kill. kill up, by clean. To give the series to yeah, G2. In a dominating fashion. G2 coming away with the win pretty handily there in the end. Showing that power, obviously, at the end of uh, kickoff where they beat Sentinels with, right? Yeah. right? Um, <laughs> which I kid. But what a game. I said they could have up. Wonder what happened with on the Sentinel roll. Didn't matter. Icy stepping up and in deep. Icy is a fitting name. Thing. A lot of plays where it was just full on forward. You had to be cold to get the results. And he was. So looking good for G2. They got to be happy with well, that result. EG well, 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 made the changes and, and did not see the results. It's night and day from By both teams. Yeah. joining us, Ross, for yeah. G2. Usually coming in into a duelist role, but he also has a lot of experience playing some Sentinels role, some really flexible roles, really. And it adds more value to G2's change of competitions in our game, too. With what you're currently hearing, see here in front of the screen. Population, a lot of the players are in as well as a support player on that gecko. Really so G2 G2 to add domination right now against EG in that series. And not like IGL, we talked about IGL Fraggers. Right. Right. Absolutely Fraggers. Well, that's something that's valid yet. Definitely only in that. Yeah, yeah. लोग खुद को चेंज करो बेटर हां अगर कोई ऐसा गेम है जहां पे हैकर्स का कोई इलाज नहीं है वहां पे करना चाहिए लेकिन ट्रोलर टॉक्सिसिटी ये उसका कोई ऑप्शन नहीं है यू रिमेंबर दैट वाज अ ह्यूज टॉपिक बैक इन रियल ऑफ द सीजन एंड नाउ इट सीम्स दैट इट जस्ट बोलो वैलेंट ट्रस्ट के बारे में चल रहा है and that's going to be good. We talked about the pistol around. rounds. We talked about the success from G2. That's one way they made a mark on this game. Make sure it was nailed to the coffin much, to be able to much, take much down EG. Also, I, I think the progression on Lotus for what we saw, EG was starting to manhandle the map, figure out what was going on, and be able to just pinpoint exactly what G2 was doing. Yeah. They were able to figure that out and break it apart. And realize that's the way that EG wanted to play everything. Push him off those early pushes. Get Superman back into his own sight. <laughs> <laughs> and they won't have as much easy time. Yes, that's the thing. Even if you even look at the series, G2 never really gave a chance here for EG to really set up in those situations where you really had to count down all of these clutches, especially on that Lotus on that first map. Something that also happened for EG in that first series during kickoff where you had the two versus four clutches on Sunset. And then finally here, G2 didn't let, give a chance for EG to really come back and get the momentum for the series. But at least for G2, they got the series and did it for an end. Team RCB Next bike to the desk where Spix will do a Verizon Pulse match interview. Thank you very cricket. much Ben Silly and congratulations Valen. What cricket, a intense showing from the side of G2 and taking down EG. Sachin, it has to be said this is the beginning or, uh, of stage one. This was your first pages. match with Icy and of course with this win you're now also getting revenge against EG for that very close 0-2 to two loss back at kickoff so a lot of firsts a lot of wins tell us what's going through your head right now um, I mean, I'm just really proud of the team. Like, we went through a lot of adversity like the last couple nope. weeks, you know, picking up Icy, who's a rookie, and he's been integrated in the system really well. Um, as you can see, he's very aggressive, and he takes those timings on Lewis, so he, he's the unsung hero of this new roster because I, he's making a lot of space for the team. Like, he's so selfless, he goes in with the utility, he usually gets his one, and from there, he just lets the rest of us shine. Um, I'm really, I'm, again, I'm just proud of the guys because it's been a tough couple weeks, but we did it, we got revenge, but job's not done. We're going to continue working hard, and hopefully this new Bye. G2 continues Bye. winning. Bye. 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 That's amazing to hear, and honestly, you make it sound easy to be a new player like that, but the truth is, it's far from it. It's actually very hard, and especially with the short amount of time that you had, what was it that you really focused on? Was it knowing that, okay, let's uh, go, Sen. Go make Icy shine as Did you especially really wake up for a Sen match, Anna? New strategies around that? Aru yeah, I mean, has we were trialing Duelist and Sentinel Duel players. So much. But as soon as I saw Leaf on Sentinel, I literally the messaged Josh Annie. right. I'm like, Leaf is playing Sentinel on this team. A lot of people were confused with the roster change. Like, why would you put such and a star player on Sentinel? And I do want to come Sentinel? like Discord, maybe yo. But it, it maxes his well. And he's just such a scary player to deal with on anchoring sites, lurking. His shot is so clean. So you really don't want to peek that Woke guy, right? And then match. have Heavy a more selfless, just go Heavy. in, dive in player like Icy on Duelist. It, it makes a lot of sense for us. And I'm glad we were able to showcase that today. I love to hear the confidence. It's also see your confidence on the server. You are fragging out of your mind. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I'm curious, now that you are 
Obviously, you have this win here. You've been practicing with the team. It's clear that you believe in Icy as well as the new potential with this roster that you have. Now that you see the other competition, we're starting to see some results come out, and obviously you're scrimming these guys. Right. How do you think you guys? Another the the uh, uh, I think it's hard to say because we're still pretty new. Um, I mean, my self confidence tell me we stack towards the top. When will you know, uh, be playing well together? Really, not I feel like soon. if we're on our A game that day, we'll be able to compete against any of the teams here and probably qualify. For the international event too. What Absolutely will be the dream roster? Everyone with once again today. Big we numbers. We are going to a short commercial break. But when we come back, back it will be a North American showdown with Hunter Thieves team. taking on Sentinels. Namaz pad kar raha hai dance. Anna aaja abhi se aa raha hai 10 minute mein. Koi aisa koi hai nahi jinke bahut sare numbers hai valo mein aur acha nahi khelta. So give me five. Five of those. Names bolo na. Koi bhi de do yaar. Tens de do. Booster de do. Koi bhi de do. Jita to jita. Aara to shout out. Out. Say hi to me. Atrox. Hello. Out. 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 Five zero. Five zero. Abhi me dono map sen. सेवन जीरो हो जाएगा गलती से भी मत बोलना विशाल भाई ये सत्यम भाई एक फैन बट करके कुछ नहीं मिलने वाला रे क्या करोगे मेरे ड्रीम टीम का बेटा आ गया क्या मेरे को नहीं आया मैं सिक्स पैक्स बोलते पता हो रहा हूँ लेकिन ज़्यादा नहीं तो मेरे गाइस It's over, Sen City. Here to play, here to stay, and history has been made. 
coming back from the master's win there's definitely a target on our back they're looking super strong i'm sure they're very confident going against us i think the biggest threat is definitely if you just look at his um the kid is incredible he's just dropping unreal numbers every match Disadvantage position. Don't know what's that one though. 80 yes, second. And that's eight seconds left. They have a lot of uh, individual talent that can really pop off in moments that matter. Here's the footsteps. Doesn't know where they are. Exactly, but strikes correctly. Round ended. Our aim is better than theirs in terms of five players or five players. So if we can just slow down the rounds, just play our game plan, we absolutely can beat them. If we can just come in, beat the Masters champions, so that give us a huge confidence booster. I think if we give at least like 70, 80 uh, percent, we should win the match. For now, I won't say anything crazy, but if I beat them, I will talk shit. <laughs> I respect that there, hey. Boosty. <laughs> Welcome back to day two of VCT Americas and our second match of the day. It's an NA classic. As you know, it's the clout battle between Sentinels and 100 Thieves. I'm Golden Boy, once again joined at the desk by my esteemed colleagues. We and one have of these days, Paula, Mimi, and Ender. One of these days, we're going to come to this match and not say clout match. No. Ooh, one day. <laughs> no. <laughs> it ain't ever yeah. happening. Never good happened. use, not good use happened. of the sound effect. I'll take that. All right, well, well let's talk about both of these teams it, having been I would say like a quite a bit of a level up from the inaugural season to now. Oh, I would I say mean, quite a bit. One a little bit more than the other. You know, you don't you don't feel that same. I mean, I think well, we. I, I, I feel so. that about Sentinels, they're the best team in the world. Yes. I feel like we saw two games from Hundred Thieves, and they not were close, to give you, solid. Not games. That's not fair. They played six whole maps. <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> not enough to right. give you that confidence. Well, Ding. well, I think Sentinels fans should have a lot of confidence because it was concerned about whether or not Junkie 2 would be able to make it back to the States for today's match. But all is well, folks, because the hero has returned as John QT is landed in LA and will be playing in the opening game. Sad day for team. Curry. Not going to yeah. make his debut. <laughs> That's tough. Oh, it would have been nice. It would have been fun. But well, it's a good day for Sentinels. I mean, it is a good day for Sentinels. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they, of course, are going to be playing with the full strength of their roster, the Masters Madrid winners. And, uh, you know, Ender, we're only oh, on the week up. one oh. here, stage one. Uh, but I tell you, it feels pretty nutty mm. that we're getting a... Uh, well, I mean, a uh, really prep. You will make thank you for the 29 months. Love you, bunch by your treatment. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they, they went through the absolute ringer. Love you, will make. Masters, right? Going down to the lower bracket, playing so many games. To end it up seems you really lost weight after that and, and sugar cut. I mean, they, they were really good. Are you talking about a kickoff? To Madrid playing so many games and looking I mean, so good while doing it. Remember, they were in the, the wild card like finish in yeah. the group stage, right? They had to go all the way through. That's crazy. Jeez. Remember, they played that. a show in match show against you, too. Kari nahi, Kari kaha se rega? In the first place, like lower bracket in Madrid and then uh, that as well. I mean, you're, yeah. you're, you're absolutely right. A yeah. complete gauntlet. Yeah. And, and, and here's the thing, I, you know, we talked about the maps. Uh, they played a ridiculous yes. amount in comparison to the, the, rest of the, the maximum amount of maps that any team in VCT could have played was 45. And Sentinels somehow managed to play 41 because of the silly show match day <laughs> and because of going to the lower bracket in Madrid. And when you compare them to the rest of the league that we have here, Pop it is a major re. cloud. Also, top four, right, at Madrid. Only Pop 25 re. maps. You look all the way down the list, 100 Thieves have only played six maps. Sentinels have played 10 times as many maps as Furia. <laughs> and the thing is, they Bap did their re. own team before then. They play more than anyone else in America's. I don't know if they're so talking about it. They play everything, but it's ridiculous the amount of Valorant this team is. I don't know how much it is. Two days ago, three hours ago, one night ago, one and a half hours ago, one and a half hours ago, that's four and a half hours. अब इसके बाद ये शायद से करीबन सात बजे के आसपास खत्म होएगा तब मेरे को तीन चार घंटा और मिलेगा नींद तो आई गेस फोर्टी एट आवर्स में आई एल बी स्लीपिंग लाइक कितना हुआ नाइन आवर्स I mean, optimal play throughout the entire thing. It's stuff that you can't really counter against. And don't forget, we're talking only VCT there. Off season, they played the most yeah. out of anybody. Yeah. Yeah. They've set themselves up here to go on a tear this year. <laughs> 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 was like, they started <laughs> getting <laughs> found <laughs> out, right? Remember, like, their split was the best in the world. Then they started losing yeah. the teams on it, and they still were able to come back and continue making those adjustments. That is the most impressive and thing it's even to more continue impressive. that. They were just doing that thing on the fly, day yeah. in, day out. I mean, they said, Kappa! Kaplan freaking out. 
भाई कप लेके घूम रहे वे भाई कप लेके घूम रहे यार That was great. Uh they clearly are they they're feeling themselves here. Kitna time lagta hai sunne mein? Matlab bahut hi zyada tired rahega to main so jata. Jaisa aaj specific ho gaya tha na. To main aadhe ghante ke andar main so gaya tha. Lekin bell bajne ke baad fir ek bar main sone ke baad jag gaya fir sona mushkil hai. But see the reason why I'm not worried about this is because I got a question for the desk is about uh that guy right there zekin is oh, he guy. considered to be in your for your money at this point the best in the world sen right the hundred this bata kon jitega sen before masters i was like he up there but i don't know like, bada de, bada after masters yeah he's yeah. got my vote he it was just on another level and again it's not just a flash in the pan thing the amount of like effort sen nahi nahi chalo jayega continually putting up press forms it's not just the numbers the way he in jayega. the sites is just they look about fast fast He is so locked in. I, I think for me, what I would say is form base right now. Yes, he's the best in the world. Okay. I think we still have a lot of players out there who we just haven't seen that much yeah. of. I mean, check about Durka. all the fanatic players. Yeah, where's Durka? Where's Alpha Year? Like, where are these guys at? These guys who were up there last year. Again, even Demon One, you could put up in there as well. Like, we just haven't seen enough of them yet. Enough of them at a top level. Enough of them playing up until the semifinals, grand finals sort of level. That mm. I mean, right now, Zekin's almost the only guy in the conference. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if you, but if you're just taking like a, a biopsy of the moment, without a doubt, he's the best player in the world. A biopsy of the moment. I love that phrase. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're cutting a little sliver off. Yeah, yeah. No, I don't know if I'm it. qualified to do that. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> have... <laughs> <laughs> that means you are. This you're ready. A... Yeah. Okay. Also, by the way, best thing to ever happen to the state of New Jersey. It was all that until this guy day. came along. <laughs> it was <really> fun. <laughs> I you know, thought you were I, saying until I got a biopsy. What? As a New Yorker, I agree with you. Sorry, Liz. <laughs> Still, guys, let's go ahead and move on though to Hundred Thieves. They go out early in kickoff, but of course their losses. They came to Sentinels, the team yeah. they're about yeah, to face here today, and up. Leviathan. So, you know, I think that think. guys, there's certainly going to be an uphill battle here for Hundred Thieves. See. They're coming into this matchup, the underdogs, uh, 100%. Yeah, yeah, sure. Team but I'm saying this is a team that came in with a cool new idea. You know, to take a map off of Sentinels, a map off of uh, Leviathan. Uh, there as well. He was playing a bunch of the Fade, um, and they're they're trying. all the stuff right there the gecko for boostio the boost up maybe a little uh, overcooked on that front but i thought as far as teams went with a unique and forward facing lead on the meta 100 teams are one of my favorites ye din acha chalte the bhai 100 teams ka hai no thinks he's kung kung but uh for me 100 teams is a team that i i wanted to give a lot of time to and i think actually throughout the off season was like yeah big like they need a lot of time um but i rope it was impressive enough that you could even probably going to get there. I think they could have a peak that is making an international tournament is very much possible for this team. I get my wish for that I would go. Sure. But them coming out with the the gecko fade stuff throughout that. That gave me a lot of faith in the system of Bustio and Zix and what they were bringing. It was the first time to be that 100 Thieves has felt fresh in like literally almost 3 years that they're coming back and we're seeing these new innovative ideas. On top of that, the new additions were looking great. Bustio Sairo ne Sairo re baba, bhai bol rahe hain. You had some great moments. It, we had all the good early songs, yeah. but they were in the group of death. They got death. It happened. <laughs> 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 they, 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 they get that now they're they're Yeah, how am I? That's the kind of part that you know, it, it, you know, you know you just have to face down against, you know, three of the, the better teams in the league. Uh, but I, I will say what I especially appreciated them, especially on their bind map that they they took off uh, against Sentinels. Yeah. their set exec anything that was like very clearly pre-planned in terms of their hits or yeah. their retakes when they're playing this gecko fade of the effective utility for clearing out spaces that was always pre
precise. When the rounds got more chaotic, I think that's when they tended to struggle a little bit more, and Sentinels found their groove. But this is a team that when they're in their element and they're doing the stuff they've practiced before, look really, really good. Yeah, well, it's going to be a little challenging, I would say, for them to get too comfortable here, especially going up against Sentinels. One of the matchups that we're looking forward to here. Thank you for the $2. Because you got two players that very much did similar things. They moved over to other supportive roles, but they still continue to carry that fragging uh, potential that they've always had with them. They have the same start of their trajectory. Top of the world, considered one of the best players in the world, then falling from grace and having a really tough season. But Tensus had a, a revival, right? Coming out here, looking incredible at Masters, switching over to controller almost full time and playing incredible. Bye, and I think we roll. saw some similar signs from Cryo, right? He was playing a the controller zero. in kickoff. And it's the best we've seen him look, I think, since the chamber meta. He looked really good at sort of holding his own on sites, you know, in a solo anchor position. You know he's got the talent to be able to do that but yeah. dodging around some of the smokes in those big highlight rounds was fantastic i also think it's interesting that the similarities continue even with the roll swap you've still got tens dipping over into the oru sometimes cryo's dipping over into the well, chamber too Yep, right, they have yeah. to new that. That's that's I think the, thing, so the biggest thing is getting these guys as long as we have tens, yeah. letting them play in they have the flexibility to make their own plays, but also can sit back, can anchor a site, and just rely on those insane mechanics. I, I think the most interesting part about it for me is tens is such an aggressive player, and Cairo Cairo is such a player. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the swap still kind of makes sense on both ends, Lisa, right? They still I have see, the ability babe. to make plays, and it's working out pretty well so far. I'm, I'm a little bit more passive I'm or, or, uh, bullish on. On tens. Yeah. Uh, I mean, of course, of he just won the trophy. <laughs> yeah, of course. But uh, for me, Cryo is the guy who's getting criticized constantly in terms of like who they could change on this roster coming in from last year. Everybody was so hyped about him. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's this guy. Well, this year, they found a way cry. to kind of silence that right away here in kickoff. And right now, it's all about how they can actually use Busio, his energy, and actually make something here with this team that they can have some, um, I don't Super know, check. some incentive Where by themselves to make plays. Yeah, I'm actually really glad. You mentioned Busio because we actually have Snake like standing by order with order Busio order. to find out what his thoughts are going into this match. Morning, Busio. I think uh, every player likes to have their own pregame ritual, and you have made it very clear you love holding that boombox. Yep. What do you typically like to listen to? Um, any anime music, uh, um, some sense, like sense. 90s emo, some rap. We listen to it all. What did you play today? Um, Black Rover, Quaver, just a couple anime songs. Amazing. Good taste. Good luck today. All right, well, you know, I think uh, something that we are certainly going to be looking out for, as you saw in the interview there, it's just going to be how the vibes are for this matchup. And then on the other side of the stage, you got Zelsis. Now, this guy, we call him the vibe merchant, but now he's a vibe champion, okay? He's easy <laughs> he he to hold it down and pick up a dump. So, <laughs> Is that what you call someone when they win it? He's a vibe champion. Title? Okay. Yeah, I'm just giving, the world. giving him the title, but this is going to play a role in this match, Andrew. Yeah, he's like the vibes auctioneer because he's so actually loud, you know, getting out there. He's a vibe always, banker. Always out of the seat, yeah. And even though, look, Insert look. profession here. Bustio, he lost the gecko hair, and I think we're all a little disappointed in that, but he's still out here bringing it right and up I mean, around. the heavy sales guy, like bundle car. Heavy. As a vibe merchant, I'm worried that he's going to sell services to some other team at the end of the year. I hope I'm a good number of people. Oh, dear. So, guys, how are we feeling across the board? Is it... Is hundred, those 100 Thieves have a chance to be able to pick this win here, or are you guys going with the Masters Madrid winners? I mean, to pick up a win... 2-1? Uh, look, I think they can pick up a map, but like Sentinels just won Masters. I, how can you ever vote against them no matter how much time they have? <laughs> All right, Dang. folks. Well, I think we got our answer there. We got a sold out crowd. People are hyped up and excited. So let's send it down to the stage and get this show started. Hello. Riot Games Arena, get ready for a classic North American showdown. Please welcome on stage your first team. It's 100 Thieves. Real the game is आगे बे भाई वो लोग कप लेके आएंगे क्या सेल इज द क्वेश्चन वॉक इन के टाइम पे भी डन सिंस एपी यहाँ भी सेंट बंडल का प्रमोशन लगा ऑब्वियसली मेरा फर्स्ट मैं हंड्रेड इज गेट रेडी फॉर अपसेट 
अपसेट अभी फिलहाल आप हो फाइज वीरू से ठीक है Facing 100 thieves are your Masters Madrid champions. Make some noise for the Sentinel. कब लेके आएंगे क्या? कब लेके आए रिटेंस? भाई कब लेके घूम रहे थे? तू पकड़ अपनी बारी है <laughs> मेरे को दे इसी दिन के लिए मैं बॉडी बनाया है <laughs> <laughs> लोग दो दो हाथ से पकड़ रहे थे कब बीन बेल जुटते हैं having that bundle like a be but they said in that intro that it's something that is going to motivate them to be the Bye. best they can be here in america crazy how the bundle, uh, bundle, uh, bundle like like this is this back says bundle but uh, i don't know it's actually <laughs> a new name that's <laughs> yeah. a new name has they actually legally changed it out yeah, like, yeah, yeah that's went, just what happens to the city hall did it it was i was bundle very impressed like with it to the gimmick uh, <laughs> said though my head we mark it They haven't had much practice, right? John just yeah. got here like what? Uh, yesterday, that sort of thing. And, and you have to think if if 100 Thieves that's something to keep in mind too, right? If Sentinels manage to pick up this win here and 100 Thieves have had like a month plus to do this. Oof. That, that's a yeah. that's a kick in the gut. Absolutely. The confidence will get shot a little bit more than it already is, I think for a lot of the players in 100 Thieves. Yeah, the the practice thing is huge. Uh and from 100 Thieves perspective again, it's like you don't have much to think about in terms of what they're going to change here. You're going to think they're going to play very basic, a lot of defaults, that sort of thing, stuff that you don't need to practice as much. We are getting a look at the maps here so I spot split sunset. Uh it will be fun. I I I do think that it's important to say for uh 100 thieves that like we we've seen a few teams now already come in with that practice time and look very good. Hit the ground yeah. running C9, right? Uh we we just saw a G2 come out. And got a rolling for Genji and they saying I'm not necessarily looking for uh, this is quite a lot Thieves. of bundle. Really we were playing on Sentinels at this yep. point. What I want to see is a them lot. come in with those strong plans we yep. saw from kickoff. Hello bugs my house is sub badiya nikle yaar. In the more chaotic rounds. I think one thing there to look at on the maps is Sentinels wins that second half. Right? They have Icebox or they have Split and Sunset. Yeah. And that is just two of their best maps overall. I mean, those are the maps that put them on their run that eventually won them that championship. Yeah. Right? Thought it was interesting the 100 teams did pick that Split though. I guess it's based off of the fact that well they saw they got the playbook. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be really interesting. Could be Sin Bundle kya naam hai. This is one I heavy sales kya hai. Heavy heavy sales. Really struggle to figure out exactly what they run or run. But it's kind of been the same for Sentinels, right? This was never a consistently strong map for them. They only won it in like Bhai, imagine the rover उसके उसके वजह से अगर एक लाख बंडल भी बिका रहे हैं तो दो हजार चार सौ वीप पॉइंट का उसका आधा और को जाता है इंटू थर्टीन हंड्रेड um but i mean honestly like i feel like oh, okay, okay, really the point uh, in, in the map right now where really the main flexibility in what you're picking comes down to what actually plants a spike is it a wingman is it a sage wall is it a harbor cove and that's usually where that are been bahut kam bola hai ek lakh ek lakh bahut kam bola a few different reads harbor gives you more flexibility sage gives you the ability to sort of entrench yourself very very nicely profil lagkar agar aaj aa rahe to bahut beat hoga a guy like saucy a team like sentinels really enjoy एक ट्रॉफी तो है मतलब हार गए तो भी वैसे नहीं कि उनको ट्रॉफी मिलेगा तो फातिमा जी हाउ डू वेक अप सर यू डेंट स्लीप लाइक मी if they want to chance in the best of 3 they absolutely do what i'm looking at in this map is really the head to head between two world champs fatima ji just saying split one ka cup one bhi sare watch parties cup two bhi sare watch parties premier bhi khel raha hu it's time that 
you give me a 10 BHK house. मैं बाहर ऐसा वैलेंट करके मैं भी लिख दूंगा जेलसीज जैसे शॉर्ट आउट ऐसा राइट वैलेंट how it gets worse every time Dre I'm very what what's up brother oh gosh what's up <laughs> uh, unbelievable Special teams here. How, how did you get me to agree to forget it the point is we have sandals we have 100 thieves we've got a banger of a matchup I What's think we do plan? need to talk about icebox right at the beginning Paul was talking about how it felt like this this map is a must win if you're 100 thieves because if you don't gain traction here you should in theory run away huh? with the rest of it do you agree with that I, I, I'd actually do agree with that and looking forward guys. in the end of the map pool as well like Bole you have these raids heavy maps where, like, we're gonna see a sooner on that role and I think yeah you're right if they can actually snag this map away from sentinels you have a higher chance of beating any team out really when you have a soon on that map so, great haven see so, yeah, it plays out hundred thieves on the attack sentinels looking to Ooh. keep up sort of and really continue where they left off from madrid walking out with the hardware and everything and quite frankly i don't blame them as well learned that the defensive side here is about to be tested well and it's a retake utility to hopefully keep them back wingman dies the spike hits the ground and this will force a quiet moment there's so much going on around the map here you've got a three-man flank coming in through yeah. spawn you've got a little bit happening mid from Zelsis as well cryo they're so worried about cryo they're trying to re-clear him but he hasn't shown since he updrafted earlier but tens is still not missing a beat the human aimbot back in action time in madrid because those speed those shock so that recon sub madrid, he looked phenomenal i think it will be he very hard blast. yeah for sen and get it another that's yeah. first nade yep. i mean that's tough that speed which pushing oh. forward spotting the igl 100 thieves Feeling the pressure and handling it beautifully. Yes, Elsus was there on the other side. Saucy's oh, just shit. gonna hold the defuse. Sentinels are gonna get it. <laughs> and that honestly, that felt very effortless. By wingman, so ke na, wingman they, got na, DK. they don't skip a beat. They understood that Cryo made a lot of Wait, in that mid area early shit, on. Shad. And I thought Cryo played his spot pretty well. I mean he he delayed long enough, made the entire by team re him, but by. It just wasn't enough. And the chemistry right here between Zelsus and Tens. It was amazing, right? Tens knows yeah, that when he's taking pop shots on the guy in the left side, that someone probably will swing it from the right. Celsius already is already trained on that angle, yep. huh? and it ends up just being a two v one. Lawless. Beautiful start. By wingman, ne re ta to fir ne hota tha. Second. Wingman damage ne kada. <laughs> he's so confident. Pops that dash. At the ready with guardian in hand. No one dare Pitne challenge. Se, ha, na. At least not yet. And now as he spots oh, oh, oh. three different heads. A little scary. Oh, Tyson. Uh-oh, oh, bait ball like thing. He was gonna get a timing. When you're boosting on the spot, you hear the KO running away. You're like, oh, I'm good. It. Yeah. I got the timing. Exactly. But no, Saucy's right there for some reason, you know? Oh, what is he cooking with this pop flash? It's a little something over the wall to try to fight through. Again, still haven't managed to get the spike down. It's sitting on the floor as they try to get the fight. He's the only one left, and he falls shortly By thereafter. Clean kill, Rebe. Four guns are all about. And a lot of guns purchased from the side of Sen. So this is like clean kill. This is a pretty healthy bonus round for them. Like this could be very devastating for 100 thieves. Friend, if they don't get early kills. Thousand make extra zero. Dal diya. Oh my gosh. 605 days. This is kill. <laughs> Dang. Quite a bit of time. Bro. Yeah. Woo. Friend of a thousand no, make extra zero dollars. Those are bad so. Yeah, you were just mentioning the bonus and, and how much of a healthy cool. buy Sentinels have here. It's a, yeah. it's a share for tens, but rifle surrounding it. Zekin again, alone up here, has to dash to get away to jump out. A little damage dealt on the cryo, but that's all it is for now. Hey, look at the support. Really he alone, has John QT just sitting top site. Watching his cross, and probably a Molly will come out, I'm assuming, after John makes the contact. Jipe. So Zekin just can just hold down this area. And when you have control of this, you have so much information. So as soon as this A utility comes through from the side of 100 Thieves, six five, you're gonna see uh, six zero five days clear the last this B area, and maybe rotations sense. come in. 300k, do it It seems like Bang is ready for it, he's waiting. This should be the queue for Zekin to start. Prodding for a little bit of information. Again, shortly. I think Bang has a lot to do here. 
If he can cut. Oh, but the uh -oh. knife's gonna give him away. Yep. Now Zach with another shaving, but there is someone waiting. Jets go on. And he was smooth, steady with it. That now is there is an A lurk. But you see this, the rotation's still coming into A. This is actually really good IGL and Combustio. And I guess maybe you make it a little bit more sellable with Cryo left. being the only one A, but the rest of 100 Thieves is gone B and they're doing so quietly. This is a really, really good call yeah. I'm, I'm very impressed with this. And they have complete control of the site. What do they do with it though? Do they try to oi, get oi, oi. pushed up? And here we go, we have Bustio. The IGL oi, oi. himself. In such an unexpected position. Uh, it, is yeah, it is a one and done, but he is just going to have a one here. Oh, it's he Zelsis on the other side. The elbow has been spotted. The bullet is out and Zelsis falls. Busio tries right to drop into another kill, but right there. ends up dropping to his death. And that's the alarm bot. Start to see some of that utility come through. Cryo on the late flank. The dash is proc. The first is found. And in an attempt at a re aggress is John. Looks like he's going to be able to get it to half. He still has so much to deal with. Check it out, man. It gives. Wow. Who steals IGLing in this round? Was it was just, it was just an absolute wonder to watch. I mean, yeah, I'm not a dealer for a lot of things. I take it to win a round when he got it. I don't He understood that they showed so much presence toward the A side of the map. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but but they showed so much presence towards the A side of the map. They understood that they baited the rotations out, and then when Zekin gets that kill on Bang, it solidifies that even more. Okay, everybody's probably towards A because after he killed Bang, he didn't see anybody else on the screen. There's no reason to stay. The knife didn't tag anyone else yeah. either. It was just a one. Exactly. Yeah, you're right. And then to have the heads up awareness to you know try to even it out, you understand that it's a four v five. Abhi guns, abhi dekhne ke kaise kaise even and make plays like that. Three flank for Pryo was all really well done. No gecko util yet. A momentary pause and a delay as they have to wait out the suppression. That dagger hit a lot of people, and you know, the big key difference in this map is the Sova. Yeah? By a moment, Zico. The gecko ult. Bro. All of Bro, gecko ult ka moment, Zico, so much space, But can they hold it? We've talked so much about the prowess that is the set of three. My god. Why are you That's the round. What are you doing? That was insane. Is Cryo back? That certainly looked huh? like it. Oh my god. I was telling you two years ago, the coding was just like... They lined up for him. They were right my friends, not you guys. They said, I'm going to do it. I like how 100 Deeves in these post plants are playing a little bit aggressive, having people pushed up. In these spots, not allowing set, close to do game. Like set that. retakes that they have, and I think uh -huh. that's an important thing to do against a team like Sen, who are so rehearsed and dialed in on these retakes. Very nice, you want to disrupt them, nice. not let them have their perfect image of that. Because honestly, <laughs> with how Sen have been playing, and we saw it in Madrid, nine times out of ten, you're gonna lose. Nice round. Nice 4K from Cryo there. I, I imagine we're gonna get a look at that one again. Yeah, that was clean. And just that little peek, he hits the nice collab there, but that little peek, Bapre. killing Zekin before that flash actually connects onto him is everything. <laughs> I Why, Josh, hello? <laughs> so, yeah, because I did that. Yeah, that was me. Uh-huh. All me. <laughs> Five and two from the duelist, one away from Blades. Still rocking the Phantom. I think they look sideways so soft on A here. You see how far back they're playing? I guess expecting some aggression from the defensive side. But in fact, Very wise. Well, in fact, it's actually B where they're currently postured and pressuring. Zekin has to dash away. They've left a little trap. It's all a bait. It's all a bait. Tucked in there. It is. Oh, Jard. The flash Saucy's there to Spike get the third. And this Jard is a bit insane. I feel like he needs to play so many times. Office. Like, yeah, he could have sat there, like, and just tried to challenge the office. kill and maybe secure the round had he gotten it. But if he dies, he understands that the entire round opens up for 100 Thieves. I mean, I, mean, I, loved, he, I mean, and yes, yeah, Sassy was a part of it, but I love the layers to what they just tried doing. Yeah. Zagan had to have been seen, yep. right? Or else the threat isn't there. And then he dashes away and they think, oh, it might be free. And then 10 sets oh, up that. Why did he see it? That was perfect. Yeah, that was a little pop flash for himself. Even Sassy showing there as well. Mm-hmm. 
Just a nice little bait and switch. Oh, उनको लग रहा है mid से अच्छा वो kitchen देख रहा है. Kyle knows he has to do something here. He has to get an early pick onto this retake. Try to get numbers back in their favor. And Saucy so smart to use it from there. To use the gecko alt from there. It didn't get a ton of value though. Gets caught early. Cryo dashing backwards. EU not far off. Oh That's my god. And now we're at twos. Now this becomes far more possible, far more doable. But Sassi drops first. Cryo, the hero of the previous uh -oh. round. He has updraft though. He tries to get away. Uh -oh. Yeah, you're not updrafting away from Justice there. My mood may look inside of. Would you please give for the bunks by? Like he used it from so far back, Sassi did, but I actually think it was so good because Made up with the way that 100 Thieves has been playing so far. You can tell, especially when they're, the players, they're trying to find something, anything. So just denying that early pick, yeah, and sure. getting that dash out early, sure. I mean, it, it makes a difference. Got back again. Ne matlab? Aisa nahi ki honeymoon period ka. Acha khel raha. Consistently, acha khelna. I mean, man, this guy is very nice. Cannot be stopped this year. What? What time the gate mila hai usko ban? A couple of bolts on the side of hundred thieves, cryos, blades, but more importantly. Cryo ne cryo hai. Bhai bol raha hu. Cryo. Starting to feel some of the pressure. That Zek and Taves and there's the ult that we were just referring to. This tandem has been very effective. Bhai mood mein maar raha hai. Zek is not even finding continue to push towards A. Sassi is left alone. The only thing keeping them apart. No way. No way. Is the wall. Oh. Oh my gosh. Such a tough situation to convert into. Zeus is getting one. Don't know if he can get the kill. By hundred, he can win. Mazak 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 can win. Being pushed. <laughs> huh? <laughs> you have the telestrator. You need to break that down or something? I don't know. That's your job. Well, as you can see, that's, no. that's your job. <laughs> hey, is Turning there a fine for seven. this? Lighter buy for Sentinels. Also, it's with a stinger. Attention B. Behind the Viper wall. People having fun at that level. Invested in a fast pace, too. This is like the, right the rip of the round. We haven't seen this so far from Hunter Thieves. Taking control of all that B space, putting the KJ ult down. Yeah, honestly, I like the pace too because you don't really give an opportunity for Tens to use his ult reactively. Oh. They're gonna take so Bio much space though. The, 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 the timing on this is huge! They all fall! By Another one in favor of 100 Thieves. By sexy Kendra. Zelsis ke pas bai kyun nahi hai abhi? Right there. The, the fast, decisive B hit after they've been kind of playing semi-slow. Baki sab ke bas paisa hai. Showing a lot of utility uh, at A in the previous round. Now just going for the Asuna ka mara be. Asuna ka dikhao na. Pehla wala. Sentinel's calling a timeout. Giving us a moment to discuss yeah. what we're seeing here. I think for 100 Thieves, they look confident. They yeah. look comfortable. They don't look phased by the game. They're playing their game at their pace, under their, pace under their own terms, and it's working. I think they have a great game plan so far. They've, they've been doing a lot of pressure in this mid and A area of the map, and that kind of opens up that entire B. And when you have B site down, I feel like it's so much harder to retake on B than it is on A. Yep. So I really like the way they've used the approach so far. Even Cryo, he just looks so much more confident than what we've seen, and honestly, Previous guy is in joke me, he will be champion. Yeah, I'll have to rip a pistol around, you know. And it's just no one line up at Chad. They were here and just being a menace. One of the basket sub players, both bob players have to clear him out. Sorry, Bob plants the bomb. A little bit of a slow start from Sentinels as well. Still in the gun rounds. Yeah, there's still plenty of Valor to play as well, but you're right. I mean, four of the last Language five are in favor of 100 Thieves. Exam Kadam Bangs by up to bus, me, Valor, or up. Not too shabby of a streak. We'll see how things change on the other side of this timeout. Next Saucy, map, the only one from the defense split, split. with the rifle. Meanwhile, if you look at the side of 100 Thieves, they've got map. resources for yeah, days. Yeah, this guy. And their alt cycles are starting to come online. Many of them just won two points away. 
There's real danger of a, of a snowball becoming an avalanche, and Sentinel's wow. just getting crushed under it. Oh right. my God! Talk about comfort. Why you come on, Rebai? He's yeah, he he but, came ready to play today. Yeah, my rebel. He's trying to make a statement right now. Yeah, you, you may have won Madrid, but I've been sitting here watching you play, and I want it. And yeah, these are eco frags, but I think again we talk so much about confidence, and we talk about what that does to play throughout the rest of the map. I think it has pretty Cairo, tremendous my, implications. Opa? Yeah, it, and especially on the duelist role, I think it's very important. Yes, to be warmed up and, and heated up and have that confidence when you're swinging players to. You know, not just swing to swing, but to swing to kill is a big difference. Mm -hmm. When you have the intent of someone being there, you're just more dialed in on your crosshair. You hit every shot like he just did. Look at this. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't be Zelsus if he didn't get a kill with yeah. the send bundle. Player standing. Shanky T tried getting into it. Zelsus not nice. able to convert on another, so nothing really saved. 100 Thieves with the two round lead. He's going to be a little bit. He's going to be a little bit. He's carried into the ninth. Mm -hmm. And I think that timeout was mainly for this first gun round. So let's yeah. see what Kaplan cooked up. And here's the replay. Babre. It really looks pretty easy for Kyle right now. It's not it like does. he's hitting some insane shots. It's just very, very good crosshair placement. Yeah. This is gonna be I think one, no one notable difference here. Zekin has the op first time of the map. If I'm Even not mistaken. Best day. And it's gonna Mid be hard to hear him out without having that KO knife. So, you know, must, tag must, must. Because there's a lot of unbreakable knives that you can throw. That'll give you that info. Oh, it's gonna be on Boostio to go exploring and hunting, fishing, perhaps. Yeah. I love this Viper wall. It allows you to lurk in the spot that Bustio's at, play the mind games, listen for the rotates. I think and if anybody pushes up, you can punish. Yeah, but I think the or interesting the thing is this is, a, this is the same thing we saw a couple of rounds ago, but it was or Bang, mm -hmm. right? Who was in this exact position yeah. with Zekin on the other side. Now, mind you, previously it was a, net from t a knife from Tens that gave that away. Bhai, if it could get big, it doesn't seem like it's the case this time, but. And that's a great shout, and I wonder if Bang is going to show somewhere on purpose so the enemy team mm. understands, oh, mm -hmm. you know, we saw the default default before and he was actually lurking at B. So maybe if he shows somewhere, maybe if he shows on A or something, even just a molly, that might make the rotate from Sen go to A site, but not budging. Second has been patient oh, yeah. in his positioning. Monster on the loose. Reasonably so, given that John's over his shoulder. The Thrash invested A. And that's the hit. Another free site. And again, it comes down to retakes, but this time there are two considerable tools to work with. They have Zelsis's ult, they have Sassy's ult as well. Wow, look at this Viper ult. That is so cool, it gets a little cubby. Ah, now we sub A Viper ult is correct, bro. Sub. And Bang playing tucked away as safe as humanly possible. There's gonna be a late flank out from Bustio. If the timing is right, Cryo and Asuna have fallen. And Bang is gonna join. ไอ้ยาริเทกเกอร์ไอ้ยาริเทกเกอร์ไอ้ยาริเทกเกอร์ไอ้ยาริเทกเกอร์ไอ้ยาริเทกเกอร์ไอ้ยาริเทกเกอ
They've shown a lot of depth and a lot of intent in playing the entire map to its full potential. And there's the pick that you were looking for from Boosty. What do they do with it now? Oh, oh my. Oi, 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 bro. Oi, 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 oi. Oi. Be me deko. Abhi bhi time hai. Jao bhi. So far up. Bang has gone behind them. 30 seconds left. If there's an attempt to save, it might be spoiled. Oh my gosh. Bye, bye. Par ka pose deko, bhai. And they're running circles around Sentinels right now. Cryo's playing well. Bang is getting space. Boosty's making people with the eye. Call out to Boosty ka. And you see the game right now, when, it, when they do their A default, they're getting somebody inserted, whether it's Boostio, whether it's Bang, towards that B area of the map, just listening for the rotations. And, I mean, they could have gone back there this time, they decide to commit. Yeah. And this was, wow. that was the, yeah. yeah, that knife was insane. That was pretty. I think the tough thing is, too, we saw Zelsis set up the alarm bot mid, which yeah. is generally, if you're going to get aye, late, aye. like, if you're going to get late flank, that's where it's coming from. It's yeah. so much harder to worry about the exact opposite side of the map in situations like that. So, again, I think indicative of how 100 Thieves are really looking to play the entire map. Yeah. And they invest a lot of utility early on to take control of whether it's early A, this time it's early B. Uh. Heavy Even angle hold, na? Yeah. And again, 100 Thieves find themselves Beat in a big, second. I mean, in the numbers advantage. And it's just one, but you just can play things so much more whoa, freely whoa, 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 whoa. Pit invested by John. But they're already yellow. He's... I mean, there's a player just on the other what side. What a flash. Let's see, Blank. He still gets Let's a kill see. on the boosty. And that was the immediate threat. That could have been very dangerous for Sentinels, but that pop flash from Tyson was... It was perfect. Amazing. Again, showing proficiency on the roll. Yeah. They're leaning back A. They still have a lot of Zelsus's utility to play around. They've got all Ayyoh. the utility until Zelsus falls, though. No longer around. 30 seconds John's left. gonna be late on the rotation, too. So you imagine Sentinels are gonna wait for everyone to get together and then attempt this retake. This is so hard. Everyone pushed up here. But this, yeah, this flank has to everything right now. But he, even then, I mean, you have to be able to alleviate some of the pressure on front and they just can't. Bang it gets a couple of big kills. And John has no choice but to save. I like that they're up 4v3, 100 Thieves, and they huh? decide to all play in and take the fight. Is it like a Sentinels yeah. once again. They didn't even match? Care about the flank. They're like, all right, let's just flip it. Why not? And I think 100 Thieves should have an idea that John went to go save that off. And they've been doing a good job not getting. You know, I not. Blood. I yeah, like, it's sunny. My back is in snake. Using a lot of utility, like I said, on their defense. Come have another one. Look, man. The drone coming in the gap. I'm going to get And then just hold it. Or depositing something. It's like this. I didn't think that I'm going to get a hard day. Because again, I, I think we've seen a lot of situations where 100 Thieves have a numbers advantage, and it's because of little plays like that. Where they're just so much more comfortable. And, you know, it, it might look troll. Bhai, but wale like bande to hai into that, but with the way that 100 Thieves have, have been playing, he has wale to, like, bande to, hai. to understand if they're there or not. Because they've been leaving a lurk a lot of the times. So yeah. If he catches that one lurk out, I mean, Send ka attack dekhne ka attack. that can give you the, the edge. Main the problem kya wale? Main problem is ki 7 for A beautiful half from 100 Thieves main so problem far. Main problem is that 7 for hai with Sentinels winning the yeah. this shot rattle. Thrash invested so Zelsus has see, been here a couple of times. Gets a I thought he was getting punished by right now. Wow. But they continue to double down. 9-3. Like for the first time in a little while, Sentinels have a big numbers advantage. EU and Asuna the only one around. So, so Asuna falls, EU joins them. So, the last round of the half is so Not bad. Not bad at all. 100 Thieves looking pretty good. But can they keep it up on the diff on the defense? Switching sides. Sentinels is not a team that just that just rolls over for teams. They make it hard every single time. By blind mind, similar. Way bigger deficit and come back on their attacking side. 
Not bad. Unimpossible match. Is they've been in positions like this before. They've yeah. played more rounds than anyone else, and you know they're comfortable with it. Smix is standing by with by. Okay, Masters Madrid nice. champion Curry. Let's take a listen. Thank you very much, Doug. The crowd loves you. The crowd loves you, Curry. It is such a pleasure to have you here uh, with an introduction like that as well. Is it? Is this your first time here in the Riot Games Arena? Yeah. Um, this is my first time being here at the arena. It's amazing. I mean, the crowd is amazing, and uh, I mean, Sentinels. Sentinels are gonna win this game too. We were chatting a little bit before this interview started, and I could tell that you were Revolting. super, super confident. And even when Cryo was popping off, you were saying, "Oh, you know, I believe in these guys. They're the best team in the world." Yeah, I mean, honestly, Icebox is probably one of the worst maps for Sentinels. So even if even if Under Thieves do get this map, I, Sentinels are gonna win this series two to one. I know that you have Confidence had a, a have. experience that not many players get to have, which is you actually got three days to practice with these guys, scrim with them. What was that experience like for you? Um, I believe we played like twelve scrims and lost one scrim, even though I was subbing in with Celsius IGLing. So, I mean, I just experienced how good this team is and. Yeah, I mean, it, there's insane. I don't know it's not what else to say. Okay, last question for you. In, a, in an alternate universe, it could have been you up on that stage. <laughs> You're making a face, but what do you think that would have been like for you? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very confident. Like, I, I legit felt like we were un, unstoppable from scrims. So, if I was playing, whether John or me are playing, like, we're gonna be, we were gonna be 100 thieves anyways. All right, love to hear that confidence. We'll see if that confidence comes to fruition as we head back to the map with Doug and Baby Bay. Bye. Thank you so much, Smix. Yeah, Dre, I think the big takeaway that. is that Curry's up next. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he might I mean, be him. <laughs> Nate Shot might have some things to say about that. But, <laughs> but uh, I mean, he I really saw you, in the offseason actually sub in for C9, yeah. and yeah. he looked phenomenal, yep. honestly. Excuse me? Played some of the best Valorant I've seen him um, play in a professional setting. We'll see if that confidence translates, as Sue said, because Sentinels are still down two rounds against Hunter Thieves. And yeah, you can have the conversation in the first round whose map pick it was and whatnot, but the truth is, it really just felt like Hunter Thieves have had control of the majority of this map. Asuna already farming an early orb. Yeah. His pistol's big, though, on a close map like this. Cryo getting his first and getting away is big. That's awesome. Four people here for that setup. And EU is just tucked on top of this area. I don't know if he's gonna be hard cleared or not. He might just get free kills right here. Yeah, I mean he's so f he's tucked. Oh, the dizzy might be a problem. The flash is too. Drops down. Plays his life for now. Cryo swinging backside to Sasuke. Wow, yes, the plan. Oh. Wingen does anyway. Tens Tens doing idea. his best. To will this thing back his way. Matumi two falls into Bustio left alone. No, they're both weak. Kaise? Big from Sassy, big from Sentinels. Kaise? Kaise? The kill that he got on the bang, I believe it was. Kaise? Like an and they were in a Viper's pit, all three players. So the fact that he he just two tapped him like that, that quickly. Kaise? Crazy. And again, that was off of an opener from Cryo. They had the numbers advantage, and yeah, and pistols that. Why not? I'm driving the Brazilian songs. They had a lot of things leaning their way. <laughs> Smiles. I'd be smiling too if I would have pistol that way. You were down. Yes, yep. big. Three, five, will be my first pick. Really, other than the fact that four fifths of their team are sitting B, and that's where a lot of saddles are as well. Whoa. One kill found by Bang, but you imagine the rest. Last player Shot, baby. Shot. John with three. Shot yeah, me. He may have just gotten off the plane, but he seems to be clicking just fine. This is it about a sen, sen. And yeah, how did these lost these last two rounds? But both times they had the majority of the players in the right spot. They yeah. had four people B when Sentinels did the B default. They had four people on A when Sentinels went for the pistol round. Ah, right. nah. So the reads are in there. Like so, clearly the prep is good. Don't say that. You say it. What? Don't say that. Don't say that. Or win. Get better. Love you much. Respect. Love you too, Raul. Bye. Early off. Light armor too. And he's going for a mid pick. Yeah, I'm saying, but I don't understand. Well, that's not the target. Big man, I'm saying, but I don't understand. He decides to not shoot the turret there, and I wonder if Celsius understands that that could be the off. We're gonna have to keep a close eye on how many crashes we get. Tassi's already gotten his first. 
spotted two, if I'm not mistaken. But Bang Bold is staying. The dizzy in one. Yeah, the flash blind on the other. Bro. Okay, bro. Sasa is swinging and dropping both. Yeah, blind it. Let's we'll see if we can get another look at it. But Sasa is getting it on it as well. This was really where things feel like they were supposed to start. This Second is where by, we're bar supposed out to be able to fight back in weaponry. God. Oh, man. And it's all on the EU now. A 1v4, a bonus converted. Sentinels look good on the attack side. And like I said, like we, we've seen Sentinels be down. Yeah, thank you, bye. Most notably on Sunset. Of all when they got on the attacking side. Oh, wow. And they can control the pace. Blind they can do things like this. And winning the bonus is, is so huge. It just completely ruins the economy of 100 Thieves and basically just gives you infinite money for the rest of the day. It's just such a cozy lead. They give Stinger doesn't go. I don't go to my own. But again, for as many times as we've seen that, we've seen teams pull out a thrifty win with circumstances that you think they wouldn't or shouldn't be able to. Yeah. We'll see if 100 Thieves can do a bit of the same. Blind dagger, right, we will just rotating B. All five players. This is just like the what we saw two rounds ago. But this time they have a thrash. Oh, great Molly from John there. And you farm this yeah. line. So you farm this one so many times, you can get another. <laughs> and you set that up perfectly, Doug. मैं मेरे को एक बात बताओ दो सप्रेस हो गए थे ना तो लोग क्यों वो नहीं किए? John has to go huge here in this mid area of the map. A shuffling of the weapons, bang and cryo, the two with rifles. John has much to do about it. And he often delivers for his team. Gets the first mollies and gets away by some time. Look at Celsus. He's just a nuisance right now. Oh shit. A slight miss. Oh shit. Bang cleans him up, the thrifty comes nah, through. Celsus is gonna kill like there was gonna be some stabilizing. Celsus gullet kill. And I spoke about economy, but it doesn't even matter when you drift, you can't go right back after losing the bonus. So they're still in it. Bro, two, two, one, 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 दोनों हुए थे। दोनों सप्रेस हुए थे। वो लोगों को कितने लगा स्टैक हो सकता है? कि आप वो लोगों को लगा कि मार देंगे। On the Zekin at the top because when he dropped, you know we saw it. Like he had Zekin had like all the white on his on his face. So maybe a little bit of a misflash there from Tyson. Misflash नहीं था, Gecko blind था वो। Ended up being in the benefit of Hunter Thieves there. They still have weapons. They still have enough money for Sentinels. To buy a light armor on four of five. And this is going to be the one two punch combo with Cryo and Bang. And Cryo as an op. Yeah. <laughs> a little up down. I will be up. Wow. Dude, Cryo is. He did his homework. Yeah. He understands where Saucy likes to throw that Gecko Flash and what the gap is. By the heavy read care, by. I mean, heavy, else, so well played. Heavy they were read care, yeah. hundred thieves. That was so well played because even if uh, Sen decided to walk into the site there, they had an up down setup. Ah, yo. Unlucky knife. Oh. See if they can navigate around that. Tanks pushing forward. By these when they blind. Everybody. Oh my gosh. How much work? These when they blind. And he's gonna continue to push. Right past the wall. By right past the defenses. He's got it. Right to another for 100 Thieves. 100 Thieves jeet gya. Yo, Cryo is looking. Bye, jeet gya, bye. Sexy, bye. 2-0, 100 Thieves. Yeah, he just ran straight into sight from heaven. Straight up. Agar aisa read kya hai, I'm pretty sure next plan bhi ho loge pura shadi kya ho ga. Yeah, this guy's feeling it. Yeah. Later. One round lead for 100 Thieves just when it seemed like Sentinels was going to be able to roar this Life thing back. Kuch miswa. And kind of run Life away with important it. Tha, the like it's... From the defense. Uske baad bhi the off currently sitting That's not where the attack is headed. So far for Sen, we haven't really seen a lot of like lurking or any type of pressure. Didn't mid too much. 
It's been just stacks everywhere. EU with the flash in his face has to give the space up. Jeez. Oh my god. Now Austin getting a bit of the same treatment. Unfortunately, walks run. into a molly, takes some damage, and then dies. That gives the KO. EU has no real way out of this. Is he gonna stay and try to kill as many as he can? I think he look is. Look at Bing, look at Bing. Fine. Do they clear him? Oh Whoa! no! Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, that's like a jump scare, it's a horror man. game. But Cryo and Bang still get a couple. <laughs> and now Tens is left in a 1v2. Quiet though. Can he do it again? Another potential tens moment on the cards. If he can pull off this 1v2, blades used. Cryo has been confident. He's been consistent. Oh, he's been and he wins it out. Wow. Bapre. Like yeah, the perfect flank takes his Buffer? time. Gets his one or two. And then groups up, groups up like Cryo there just to secure the 2v1. No. They don't want to give these 1v1s to anybody from Sentinels because they know. You know Turn the button again, they say. If you give them the shots. I have no idea. And this A hold so far from Hunter Thieves, it's been very aggressive. They've been going for the fights. Even as soon as they're like, he could have tucked behind the box. The time, down but down 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 go for a swing. Yeah, gets punished that time, but that is the game plan. They're all fighting, and they're fighting together. And it's worked. I mean, yeah. it's it's working in in wonders, really. We've talked so much about Cryo, and I think that's something that we need to continue to highlight because it's not just that he's having a good game. He's he's having an outrageous game yeah. so far 23 and 11 he's been confident every time it seems like you know i think about john qt getting the kill while he was planning there on eu cryo instantly punched back yeah with the kill with the op and that was like a that was a, such a Thanks small are on point like everything are doing so on point. cryo has delivered in big well, moments he's delivered in moments. Hare, crowd has just been insane so for Hunter at Thieves this, up this point, point. And I think are like a lot of the feedback much 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 was better maybe he was a little bit too They're passive on the much entries better. on the jet but yeah, like, sure. that's not what we just saw on this ice box yeah we're in the second half this is in red card though he was dashing in he was going for these aggro plays he has the aim and the capability to do that but I think you know, coming in from chamber meta where he was more stationary most of the time, just holding lines down with an op. Lurker, I think bar bit the rest and go. this year. I think you can Lenses. tell that that's been a focus for sure. And on the defense, Saris he can still use the op like he does chamber with the jet. That's Gara kill, Bara kill. But just way more aggressive play from the jet. And it's just a lot of them. 6 kill, 23 kill. And then aggression is working out. Three rounds in a row for them. As we turn our attention towards the 19th. There's a bit of that aggression. And yes, it's, it's, this time it's intended for you to get the orb. Oh, it's got some help around him. Cryo gets flash, has to give the space up. They just give, yeah. They should give. But <laughs> they're maniacs, wow. but they're maniacs, Doug. Tense falls. <laughs> should be uh -oh. a rest. Yeah, there it goes. Elsa springs him back from the depths. Cryo with the up still. A miss for perhaps the first, the first time this map. And now Zekin's up top. He Is this ulti be, nah, too much? It, but he does. Lands the shots on him. AU and Cryo, Cryo left in a 2v4. With a pit in their face, they're going to have to get around that. I can't use and that. their economy's pretty good, so maybe just going for damage here. here Is the name of the game. game. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, the damage is a one And I'm not going to shot. I don't want me you here. No, I'm, I'm going for a kill. At least you're going to get ult online. I think that's what he's trying to do here. He's going to do it. Maybe catch an exit on the way yeah, out. Yeah, from the way out. That's big here, too. He hears him. He Even knows if he coming. dies, it's okay. It's yep. fine. Get the, get the ult orb, though. It's so worth it. They might not give him. Yeah. Yeah, they're not going to give him the fight. They're not going to give him an inch. Uh, oh. And I wonder now if I'm Sentinels. Maybe I do some kind of trap that, <laughs> onto that A orb because yeah. Hunter Thieves have been honestly abusing the fact that they just grab it for yeah. free, even I mean, on pistol round, right? We saw. They did it in the previous round, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They've been farming it. That's a crazy shot. I want to see the, the shot through the yeah, smoke. Yeah, they go by. I said it without him killing him. Huh? Empty. Again, there was a ton of conversation around EU, one point away from his ult, what they're going to do with it. 
it doesn't <laughs> seem like they're trying anything early. And you see it, the whole play was to punish if yeah. EU yeah. went for that orb. Yeah. So it's very wise from Hunter Thieves to not do that and just play the KJ ult. Basically retake here, but does Busio get hard cleared? That's the question. You saw EU here a little bit go spotted. Oh. The blades don't land. Now he only has a deagle. That's normally enough for second. We'll see if it plays out that way. Saucy committing to the plant. Spike the spike planted. dropped, and they're going to have to get through a pit, too. Is that going to break? No. Wow. Nice. Channeled all the way through. I think it's hard to keep so much space off this. They want to continue to fight, and Bank delivers again. They can they must the shot to my just the right moment. Austin now not able to get the shot to the one v three will not convert. They can they do bop shot mare. By a B two hundred feet with the bop kill rata. I mean to get pushed up there and get two, but I'm just wondering if huh? his viper pit was actually covering the bomb or not. Because if it was, it probably would have been wise to just keep that up. Make sentinels Send them back, them. Yeah? Make them expose themselves and just kill them all the all the space gathered off of that KJ ult. And that's a tough round to lose Bye when you invest a big ult like that. Oh, yeah. fuck, this yeah. last round, this round, if you have to go to the match point, it's in the next round. Next round, it's equal. There's a lot of pressure. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, is like I feel like we've been, you know, hyping up 100 Thieves a lot because they have been showing a lot of great things. Yeah, and when the score is 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Like, even when like a team is playing at their best, Sentinels is still just like, yeah, we're still in it. Give us your, give us your all. We're resilient. Chupro, you jinx kar dete ho. Yaad na, aaj nahi ho raha. Aaj jo bola wohi ho raha. Big win for them yesterday. Yeah, that was huge. But again, tied to 10. Last time out called. Out. We'll get to see how this thing closes Life out. Plus e with the zone. Ah, nice flash is for, it, it hasn't been farmed the way I think we normally see when it comes to Gekos. He's had a couple, but really can't say we've seen in the past. Yeah. I think one of these are doing a good job of delaying bomb plants in general. So 16 assists is... मतलब बहुत कर रहे हैं इस ऑल्ट अप ऑनलाइन लाइक ही डस ऑन मैप्स लाइक सनसेट या और व्हाट इज़ ही डिसाइड टू डू विथ द सॉल्ट आई थिंक ए इज़ अ ग्रेट अप्रोच विथ द गैको सबसे ज़्यादा ऐसे ब्रिम्स्टन का मिलता है मोस्ट द साइट विथ द बाइमेन रस में स्टीम भी कर डाल देने का कोई किसको भी मारा है ऐसे मोक से Cryo down low, oh, a hand spotted, the shot doesn't connect. Get out, buddy. Cryo has to dash away, Aye. except he went hunting. God, Hot on his tail, world. but ultimately dies for it. Oh my gosh. Cryo continuing to dash around, oh taking gosh. so much damage. And the aggression pays Bandha off for the swarm, but even in the face of all of that, Aye, he pays the one who left alone. Fuck. Chunky T is not what I got. Looking to get the lead over to Sentinels. Can Bang do anything about it? He's been really good. Short resistances. Short, bro. One tapped him. Boy, it's not a kill, right? The thing is, is Cryo played that nearly perfect. Ah, but it's still not enough. He found so much value. Just when you think like, oh, he's gonna die now. He lived for so long. Yeah. Is that tense? Can he shot the guy? Oh my gosh. Yeah. I thought Bang was gonna have the one up on him there. Me too. Bro. If I'm not mistaken, bro. Other than the the pistol, this is the first time the Sentinels have had a lead. Yeah. There. And very aggressive here again is Zekin denying that orb. Oh, he's giving his position away. Austin takes a little bit of damage. Oh, cryo again. Why Marty? He's doing everything right now for his team. I think the question comes down to though is is that enough, right? Is that enough? This would be completely necessary. If Bane gets this kill onto Jordan, it'll really be tough for Sentinels yeah. to get the bomb down. You're gonna see EU probably invest the Sova ult on the tap, 
And then Asuna has the Gecko ult for the retake. And that's God. the kill that I'm talking about. It's traded right now. It's the only person anywhere close by except for you. You mentioned with the ult, but... Because when they are dying, they have to see the flank. You have the Gecko ult. And this is why you see Zekin pushing up. He knows he has to get a kill. Try to even it out. The target matters too. You hear Dizzy go over the top. Nothing found. And there's the first instance. Potentially of more. They invest both. EU uses his ult. Asuna does too. Mara Bezekin. Bhai Zekin crucial clicks mar rahe bhai. Full crucial. Bhai wo main kill ta jet ka. And he's going to kill him in the middle of the next round. GG. Hoi hoi hoi. GG. Dodge the soul ball. Arrow is better than 10. Good thing. The trophy will take the 10th. And that gecko has to be invested early on. Because of what Zekin did. Showing presence all the way pushed up on default. Sure. Had he not done that. This is a crucial guy. He had no reason to use the ult from so far away. And they could have used it. Perfect team Closer. game kill rena. Sen. Then pistol rounds ke wajah se jeeta hai hundred tips. Hundred tips ye jeet jata tha map. Dono pistol aare. Both galat hai unse. If lean pistol ke liye sen. It feels like they need to win here. Mm -hmm. And so as you think about the landscape of the rest of the series and the maps that are before us, split. And then you think Bye, about so the fact that Ryo has had. An outrageous Bhai, map. This feels like a really bad one to, to let get away. Yeah, and on gea, two, like, from what we saw last time gea. they played the split, Cryo was on controller and he looked great, but the stuff he's been doing on Jet so far has been like insane. So it's not gonna be a feels good going into honestly what is probably Sentinel's best map. What is life what is And Tyson is one orb away from KO all. So I'm curious to see if they decide to try to farm that up and use it. Uh so the answer is we're going to same in master. Must and get that alt on the plan. By Jaisa under the Dikana starting me mere ko laga. Seems like they like said try to explore mid a little bit. By perfect match देखने को मिला है लेकिन दोनों का जो गेम प्ले है भले जेट का चिंज दिख रहा है मार रहा है वो तो उसका टीम का सपोर्ट भी बहुत अच्छा है क्या लगता है जी का अफेयर मतलब डियर इट्स बहुत स्ट्रॉंग है ब्रो अपने रीजन का सबसे स्ट्रॉंगेस्ट डीआरएक्स से पीआरएक्स से डेंजी है ये सब बहुत स्ट्रॉंग है या दे जस्ट लेटिंग इट कुक राइट नाउ आर दिस हैव अ गुड आइडिया दो दे स्टिल हैव फोर हियर दे डोंट नीड टू वरी अबाउट इट प्रीटी मच अ रीटेक बी इंक्लूडिंग द आप स्टार्ट टू सी सम ऑफ द यूटिलिटी सोर क्रॉस द स्काई Again, they haven't done this. I think the one thing you got to be careful about is the is the turret that was in kitchen spotted, get cleared out. Now Busio is going to be on a late flank mid. The time on this is going to be massive. Meanwhile, uh, Kyo and Asuna up top holding things down. It seems like Sentinels have been stuffed. Cryo with the Oi, Mara, Sasuke, one more, one more, one more. Three on the round. He's getting the rest. A three v two, banging Busio left alone. Busio falls. Can bang do it on his own? A one v two. Bye, saucy. Bye, Mara, saucy. One place, standing, trying to kill him. How? 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 Individual prowess from Saucy of all of all players. I mean, he really just took over the game in yeah, the last really couple rounds. That felt like a, a win that they grinded through. Yeah. It never felt secure, really. It never felt like it was. Ah, nah. Acha gela. Dono teams acha gela. You know, not every win is cryo playing like. Bob game da witness karo. Not every win is pretty, and honestly, it doesn't have to be. Saucy ne Saucy o boy to bola yar. When you win against a specifically a player who's just popping off like that, and you still beat them. I mean, it kind of feels like 
they've thrown everything at you and you still win, you have even more confidence going into this next map, and it's your best map. Things looking good for Sandals. They survive Icebox split on the other side of the screen. Don't go away from me. I'm not going to be my favorite. Hundred Thieves, but it's very improved. Why? I saw a game Hundred Thieves. Come and see. Hey guys, it's Jimmy Lin. In this series, I'm gonna walk you through attack on Pearl. Watch out for the stairs. Clear the stairs. Yeah, then this map is gonna be the map. Bop map, right? Hundred Thieves. Crazy kill, Hundred Thieves. Like, Koro chat. I'll be back in a minute. Look what I've just made. The perfect pearl. Not too oh. bad, but check this out. <laughs> Whoa, a true Venus clown. Who is behind the wings? 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 Who is behind the अच्छा खेलाने तू मस्त खेल First trip cleared the dog. Went all the way around the pillar. Out. The wolves working against him in his face. Cryo. Smix heading here with Coach Kaplan after Sentinel's sake map number one. Kaplan, uh, I think this is the first time I get to personally congratulate you. Congratulations on winning Madrid. It is amazing to watch. And, and I'm curious because initially I'm sure that was your first Mount Everest was to not only win kickoffs but to do the more important thing which was to win Masters Madrid. 
But now that you've done that, I feel like your job almost gets a little bit harder. I, I, I mean, the goal starts becoming, okay, we've reached the top. Now we have to maintain the top. So what has the focus been for you and the team in practice after winning Madrid? Yeah, I mean, it's been tricky. We've only gotten scrims in a little bit with Curry because John uh, was in Morocco working out his visa. It's the most unique challenge I've dealt with so far as a coach. It's my first time dealing with it, coming back, making sure we're not complacent. So a lot of it today was picking up the energy. Hey, this game is really important, the way the format works. We need to win it. But then when we're losing, you know, we have a tough defense half. Hey, we didn't get to scrim it. All good guys go next. Like, you know, not our best map. We didn't get time to clean it up. Just being realistic with our standards is what we're doing right now. For what it's worth, Curry had utter faith even when you guys are down. So congratulations and best of luck on map number two. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Sentinels won the game, but 100 Thieves gave the, the reigning champs a run for their money, especially on their attacking half. And it came through strong set plans and also great macro timing. We're coming into this round with 100 Thieves ready to drop a Killjoy ult in B main. They're separated 4-1 right now with Bang in mid, but we'll get to him in just a little second. First things first is, is they drop down this ult, and it doesn't really leave much space, actually, for players to play back site, right? You've got to go all the way back into Snowman, or you're very deep into kitchen with a long pathway to actually re-clear space on to uh, the site. So uh, as 100 Thieves come in here, we've got a great Dizzy that comes popping up on the top. And a lot of teams would be happy enough to just simply allow the you know wingman to go down and plant the spike. But 100 Thieves have other ideas. They want to fight forward. So with that Dizzy coming through, Cryo dash updrafts onto the top of the site. If you missed that, look at the mini map right He's here. Back, Dizzy primes dash updraft top site. And that Dizzy timing allows ow, Cryo ow, to ow, keep pushing ow, ow. into kitchen. That's where he takes the fight. We've got three because it's just a one for one at the time being. It gets deeper than that though. See this crossfire that his teammates have continued scaling up with. Those two players are gonna freeze any hey, player trying to come Thank to you for the ten gifted yard. Love you. And Bang is now on the path gaya, gaya, so they lock him there, kis kis and Bang comes in for a great yeah, time to destroy the two the players on the site, and they get kill. But how does Bang even get there? Because he goes so quickly through this mid space, right? Well, look at the timing again of how he works with his teammates. Right now, he's inside of his own Viper Orb in mid, and he hears this Killjoy turret back on on Boiler. That means there's no turret this in the kitchen. Now, now the Killjoy Players can only be in kitchen, but he waits for his teammate to swing into that hallway before he pops out here. So everyone would be turned away. Then when they get stuck by those two players on site, he's popping up, shooting two players in the back of the head. It is a great plan, all about misdirection and allowing Bang to come in on a brilliant timing to win that round and go Bye, up to a 7-5 attacking half at the end. We'll hear what 100, Thieve, uh, 100 Thieves head coach Zix has to say after that map number one. And it's pretty nice calling. Smix standing here with Coach Zix after map number one. Coach, I'm curious, going up against Sentinels, they are one of the teams that have the most VODs you could possibly review, dating from kickoffs all the way to Madrid. Knowing that they were going to be the first team that you play, I'm curious, how much of the preparation was based around the VOD review you did of them versus focusing on your team and getting your team to its best shape? I would say, well, I mean, in preparation for the match, we thought we'd be playing against Curry, so, you know, that didn't help, but, I mean, we have a fair <laughs> bit of a... A pretty good balance, I'd say. Mostly, we're focused on ourselves, but we have the <laughs> here and there that uh, got us a few kills in map one, and we'll see how many we'll get in map two. Sounds good. <laughs> Best of luck on map two. And it's going to be the Sentinels who pick up a big win on their, uh, well, against 100 Thieves on their pick of uh, Icebox there, of course. A very, very hard-fought game. It felt like 100 Thieves were given, as you guys mentioned, a run for their money on the, on the Madrid champs. But, hey, you know what? Managed to pull through when it mattered most. And heroics from Saucy, everyone stepping up. This is the reason why Sentinel is such a scary team, Bala. It felt kind of weird to be in that game. Wow, 100 Thieves was kind of controlling everything. Uh, and Sentinels was not having that fire that Captain was kind of talking about, especially on that first foul. Uh, but you saw, I mean, you started seeing Zelsus pop up in, in individual moments. 
Zek can pop up in individual moments, and you kind of realize, you're like, this feels like they're gonna start getting into form. Practice or no practice, it feels like they're just gonna return back to what they did in Madrid. I mean, these are the situations they thrive in, right? You're down in the game, you have done much breath, you're having to turn it around last second. They're so good when they have those opportunities. I was most impressed with Tenz and Saucy, not only how they were using their util together to set up, their A-site hits in particular were looking great with the KO Gecko, but both those guys were electric in the late rounds. I mean, that final round from Saucy was, was not and it's ridiculous. Since <laughs> okay, I get it. Skin Sentinels skin. are good. Team, we can all agree on that, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, like I'm, I'm, I'm on board. I'm on board. I've also been hearing that for a long time, and I honestly was really pleased with how 100 Thieves played. Oh, yeah. Right? Okay. Like, they didn't walk away I mean, with the win, but... They were control with the up yeah. for, like, three quarters of the match. 100%. And I think, uh, again, what I was seeing was a lot of those set ideas looking very, very strong. So, uh, even moving into a map like Split, that you know Sentinels are going to be wanting to play, morning. I feel like they're going to have a lot of strong ideas heading into that, too. But I think they're going to get 2 out. I think they okay. needed to win Icebox. Okay, I didn't say they were. <laughs> <laughs> That's but, I mean, we did see Sentinels get a little dismantled. Imagine Alex in, in, in Madrid, was for saying uh, uh, Banda to stop that team on that match. They felt like it was a home match. Kaplan multiple times said, mm, maybe not so much anymore. So, curious, you know, could that maybe be the case but, here? But I really missed the giant switch. Who kind of dismantled them on Split. Like, heavy missing. I think that's a very different, like, tier and very different style of play. 100 Thieves play a lot more like Sentinels. They run this, this gecko paid comp that is different than some of the other gecko comps, but plays a lot more similar to the normal kind of double initiator ideas that we see played a ton in North America. The biggest downside of this 100 Thieves comp is you're giving up that sentinel. So I'm really looking to see how Jungkook works the map and to find these gaps because he's so damn good at it when he calls attacks like this. This comp index is far less into control like the, the comp you're seeing Sentinels run and way more to mid-range mid aggro, right? Between gecko, fade, astro stars, be able to set up. Mid re aggros, ideas like this, you can really dominate space with your utility in a very different way. Things I really like from that is kind of the confidence from players who are already seeing people like Cryo coming online in a massive way for 100 Thieves. I think that's going to be really important with a more aggressive style, like we'll see from them on this map. Well, these two teams are no strangers to go into distance when they play against one another. We'll see if it happens here again. Let's go ahead and send it over to your casters. You got Duck and Baby the EGB, Dre, I think the conversation was 100 Thieves tested the metal of Sentinels. They pushed yeah, them on Icebox, but this should be an entirely different split. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're playing against one of the best split teams in the game. But the cool thing is, is that you can prep anything you want going into this. Any game yeah. plan you want. And yeah. honestly, 100 Thieves historically has not been that bad on split in general. Sure. So it, it, I, I think it is a strong map for them. And Adi Yu on this fade, he's very comfortable playing it. He's played it in the past on, on M80 and etc. So I think this is a, it's it's going to be a lot closer than I than I think people think it could be. But I still think that it's going to be an uphill battle for them. I think we the other thing to keep in mind is we saw them struggle up, a little time. bit in Madrid on split. The, the proficiency that they had on it was exposed maybe oh, isn't the right buddy. word, but... They certainly lost yeah. more maps than I think people expected them to. So with 100 Thieves having the ability to prep whatever they want, right? To watch all of that film for the entire tournament. Mm -hmm. I can totally see a, a, a situation, a world where 100 Thieves feel really confident. They feel, they feel prepared heading into this map. Yeah, as, as they should. And, you know, even off the last map, you know, they played very well. And I think that, you know, that's a testament to how much work they have put in. I wonder, though, too, is Sentinels flirt with the middle of the map a little bit here they have contacted all the way from a main into the vent area yeah they have no idea it's not controllable and so control. unique he has a frenzy oh, first kill found Zelf is not able to find anything gotta clear your corners bang over the top helping him out and bailing him oh two dude th th this contact oh, approach that they had around the entire map just continues this time he used punish oh for it lucio not able they to land the shots crab. And now Zach and going hunting, Spike planted. daring to challenge. What a great Shot. nade. I mean, it was perfect. Hill's going to top him off. And now it's going to be on 100 Thieves to retake the space. Find a little bit of room to work. He does have satchels uh -oh. to get out of here. Oh, he's going to have oh, the tries to get uh -oh. up top. Busio plucks Last him out of the sky. Saucy down low, not able to do Bye. anything with it. 100 Thieves get the pistol. Bye. Wow. I'm I'm really really right. Right. I this. For 100 Thieves, when I saw Sentinels contact all the way up A main and yeah. go into vent. Yeah. Had anyone actually been there, they would have lost the round guaranteed. 
but their pistol was good. It was a, it was a heavy male setup and just pretty passive on the A, just, you know, playing towards that CT area of the map, giving all that heaven space. No, I think another conversation, as I, I want to call back to Icebox one more time, because one of the big parts of the success at 100 Leaves found was Cryo just went down. Right. He, yeah. he almost went double positive, if I'm not mistaken, on Jet. Yeah, it's hard to the deliver that same video. performance on an agent like Astra. Unless you're Demon 1, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, fair. <laughs> it's a very valid point. Asuna's is going to need to step up big as well on this race. But and Naked Teams are them. Must and we've seen him do it time and time again. Mm -hmm. Tunnel Z, thank you for the one pounds and the euros and the dollars. Is he ready for Sen? Yeah. 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 And again, this A contact from Sen. Conditioning that early on. Right there. Boosty dealing a little bit of damage. Should be bombed down here. I'm for out. free. Right there. And if that's really, if that's all that plays out, I think for Sentinels you get a, a decent situation. Any gun that you can pop oh. feels like a win. They didn't invest very much. 100 Thieves did into the round. Asuna pushing forward, dropping, dropping. I loading the rear. Ken's not able to find anything with it. So 100 Thieves will get their second. Abhi gun round. Abhi and honestly, down there. pretty clean. Yeah, all things considered. Pretty clean, and it's already a good sign for 100 Thieves. The fact that they're willing to give up and this is the site, was even on either round, hard, not like. push it, not rush it, use their utility, and they have so much like utility, it. by the way, for these retakes. You have Senses, fade prowlers, you have the eye, you have Bustio with the with the wingman to defuse the bomb or a molly to clear out hell. It's it's a lot of utility with this composition. Lots of tools at their disposal. Yeah, and that's why you're seeing Sen already do this game plan of why is Karin's been bop like the house no a lot of noise and presence but they could easily run into a like tether that. nade or yeah. or a yeah. gecko flash play you know it's it's tough when you play against all this utility but that's a really good point a good way to outplay it is by just walking what into about this space, not making it we have a Asuna race and the jet a 4 no star for Asuna Cryo. on the race one point away from showstopper this is aggressive from Hunter Thieves on a round one for one He's got his ult. Right, by impossible by. I mean, the fact that you have the ult round three suggests it. I mean, you want to invest it, right? Go ahead and use it. Yeah. Try to steal a cheeky round if you can. Well, we spoke about how important the bonus is in the last map for Sentinels. This would be everything. This would be a great start to the half for Hunter Thieves if they can win this round. Maybe get one more kill, invest the rocket. Austin are getting pressured. Fear of what might be behind the dog has to drop the nade. Yeah, and I don't think Sentinels want to hit this site where the raise is at. Yeah. If I was a Suna, I'd probably already be leaning once I made oh, presence B's on this A side and just go to B already because up. of this right here. Gonna get a lot of room Toxin to work mid. Down. Remember, it is yeah. just Cryo who's B. The A main clear was a little bit too late. Not gonna be here in time, but if Cryo can survive for long enough, the rotate with the rocket can bad. come in. God, oh, man. That was Cupid very, very uh, interesting. Ambitious. Ambitious yeah. Yeah. And he gets punished for the ambition. Sentinels with double side control with the spike planted. planted. With a gun advantage, huh? with a numbers advantage. That's huh? tough, you know, maybe he thought that someone was in B main. God. Yes. Enemy but Cock this is just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This is getting cleaned up. Austin is the only one left. Looks like he's going to carry the ult into the next. Maybe find another with the Guardian, but can't. Sentinels are on the board. They punch back. The one benefit here is, again, as we think about the, how the finances have played out at the beginning, 100 Thieves have plenty to work with here. Yeah, they do. I, I, I think they had a really good chance of winning this round. I think so too. Had Cryo not made that small mistake, and that's what you see when you yep. when you make tiny mistakes like that against a team of the caliber of, of Sentinels, who are like champions right now, the best team in the world right now. Yeah, they're gonna take advantage of that completely. So what ended up being a very winnable round Here. for Hunter Thieves that would have put them far ahead. It is a way was just steal it from them. Must match this A lot of. A main pressure from Sen in all of these rounds, but this time the lurk up B. Cryo dialed in. 
Someone else is trying to find a good time. Nassif said double pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There. Nassif. To peek after that first kill, maybe. Ah, nah. Just getting that one and getting out. Attends name, I don't know. Playing the 5v4 would have been nice. I, I also think, as much as we've talked about Sentinels and they're contacting through most of the map, I think we're starting to see some adjustments on how yeah. these are using their utility to sniff that stuff out. Right? Like, as soon as the cages go up, EU dogs to clear out A main, to yeah. confirm there may be somebody there. And I think because of that, they're able to rotate much earlier than they would otherwise. Oh my gosh. By carried by. Such a good call from John. I have but Honor D's might beat them there. Yeah, it's the a not quite there. Nay, it's walk a foot race, they're gonna win it. Yeah, they didn't do anything to actually keep the Honor D's players on that A site. Oh, but they're second guessing themselves again. Second, ult invested. No one on the left. site. How far does he push? You imagine as soon as you clear the site, he. Wow, I thought he'd be a little bit more aggressive with it. As soon as it fires, it's oh, oh, oh my god, timing. Don't look at me. Yeah, timing. Now the two remaining members of 100 Thieves have so much space they need to Bap take. Re. And nothing will be found. <laughs> and for a second there, it looked like Zekin was alone, but he wasn't. He yeah, had the support of Tyson there, pushing CT together at the perfect timing. A tandem that was so effective oh, on the me, stage, finding fine. success here on Split. And again, a little bit of an ambitious peek from Cryo, who actually supported Bustio perfectly there, got the one up. But then he decides to go for more off of that Gecko Flash. Must the timing tha be second ka. So, you know, crowd has been popping off, but I think he's overheating a little bit in some of these rounds and it's punishing them. Mm -hmm. I don't blame him, you know, you had such a great map. Yeah. You feel like you were aimbotting everybody. If the hand is hot, you keep shooting, but... Wow. It's a tough start for him. Bustio took a Deep pala. And Sentinels right now. This is our main blind. This is one of the first rounds that they defaulted three players here. Just trying to get info on where the stack could be from the defending side. Not trying to get eco like they did. On Icebox, but as I say that. Yeah, the problem is the stack is here. The stack is indeed here. My ultimate is ready. They brought it back and that allows... John to get all this free real estate on the A ramp. I wonder here if they fight for to control some of these like, weapons or they, they like just realize they've yeah. got the sight and they want to take the straight up. Yeah, John's got such a good spot here. Yeah, EU so pushed up. EU and Cryo both upgraded weapons, so they oh, have rifles to attempt this. And light armor on EU. He has to be the difference maker here. John QT, the first to greet. God. Not able to land the third. Cryo left alone. Cryo, who was a monster on the first map, succumbs to ten. Hey, they said. But a mean, reason. That was a great. Ego there been Yeah, I think that Sentinels was trying to fish out to see if it was a mid fight, and Hunter Thieves played it so well. They they tucked the entire time and then just took a timing peek with the flashes and everything. With this the bank pitches as a They lured them in until there was no was exit. There was no chance to get away. Yeah, it was really good. Really good timing there from Hunter Thieves. But heads up play from John to like understand like oh this is a heavy mid fight. I can take all the space. Zekin is the luckiest player alive. And with that he got two. Hey Trivedi, thank you for the seven you know, Canadian Australian dollars with Jan Ke Tote. Thank you so much. Like where, you know? That's why you saw the Dizzy go and try to clear out screen area. John just pushed all the way up there in A Heaven. Yeah, Biro, bhai. Early Hello? timeout from 100 views. Yeah, like, Biro. This Either to slip away from their grasp. I feel like when you when you see an early time, do like chanting this, or does it feel like, in, in your opinion, is that often when there's like something fundamentally and wrong in how they it, so it's like something I okay, we need to adjust this because I would think it's not as much I of a mental thing at this early in the stage of the map. I, I I think it's a double whammy. I think also you want to like ice the other team and they want to ice Sentinels. Sentinels have looked hot in the last yeah, round, sure. so it hasn't even really been it is that competitive. But yeah, let's see what Hunter Thieves cooked up going into this gun round. And yeah, this is the adaptation. They're putting Asuna and EU here with the nade tether combo. Trying to see if there's any early aggression here. This time, there's a lot of international fans out there. Asuna has been holding on to the salt for a little while. And yeah, he hasn't necessarily had the greatest opportunities to yeah. use it, but 
start to feel some of the diminishing returns of having a tour early. And you see all this utility being used from Hunter Thieves because of how Sentinels have walked in to yeah. A ramp yeah. for the last, I don't know how many rounds. Even last round, John walked all the way up, so they're trying to punish this. But Sen is one step ahead. And Bye, John's only job here is to keep him here. In. That's all he has to do. Oh, but this Roomba, that should be a cue for Hunter Thieves to understand that the majority is not towards A right now. That dog did not go up far enough. Yeah. So John may find a timing here late in the round. I've got Meanwhile, your the rest trail. of Sentinels are leaning over towards B. The Seekers invested the flash out top. Second Ooh, pushing forward. Oh Currently gosh, kept apart from Pillar. From his team by the Molly. God there it is, Asuna. It's Finally goal. pulling the trigger on that. EU joining in. You gotta keep an eye on the timing. That late play from John could be everything, but Spike by the time he shows up, the round is lost. And he should know. Timing at this point. Yeah. He may still be able to pull this off, though. He's healthy. And it's John QT. Oh, but Bing is dialed in on this angle. It's a, basically a crossfire. <laughs> it's a brutal thing to have to clear, yeah. <laughs> no real advantage, no way to pull <laughs> that off. Zekin go. Bang cleans him up, we're tied at three. And this time, Zekin getting a little too aggressive there in the CTA. Ah, nah. yeah. He did a great rap on Pillar. But he got punished by you. I just remaining. didn't buy enough time for John to get value with that flank. And now I'm wondering in the future, maybe, maybe they throw a fake on the other side and come back to John in the future. Yep. That's what I'm thinking. Can I get a drop? Sen is a team that likes to adapt on the fly very quickly. That's why they're so impressive to play against. I mean, they are very, very fast. They control. Yeah. They're We're not together, huh? giving up the space anymore. I'm space has been free real estate for yeah. Sentinels up until this point. I hear the protocols. The molly out from Bang with the, with the orb to delay the speed up and to be heaven. Just fundamentally correct right now. That forces Sentinels to have to reset. And it looks like they're going to re-clear this A space. And the question is, I think, do they, do they contact their way to clearing out this space that they've had for free the entire half? Or do they have to invest utility that they would be using otherwise to get onto A proper? Ek smoke do bande ko ruka kar rakha hai kya bhi pe. And it seems like that's what's going to be happening here. Oh, they didn't shoot. Asuna. I still don't think I saw him, but EU gets the one up. God, God, wow. was perfect. That was beautiful. EU and Asuna by. Really rip sandals to shreds there. I think we are really going to a map three, guys. Between the two young guns. It's very much possible. No utility even needed to be used there too. Just peeking off one another. Just a hundred thieves ka attack deka tha. Acha to tha. Last is on the other side of the map. Yeah, forced to just sit and watch. Couldn't do anything. He is one away from ult. We'll see if he gets a fight. There's still plenty of time for it to play out. Mirror level still in hundred thieves maybe. Yeah, but I think I think you know to think about how that round closed out again is this approach from Sentinels that's been heavy contact, heavy. You know, try to feel out the map without investing utility, without revealing position. Prove to be the difference maker there. Of As the fight happens, the banner goes up. He gets his ult though. Oh, survives. That was a, it. Was a really nice macro it? around from Hunter Bai Thieves. They took early night armor space, sare. pushed John all the way back into spawn, denied the speed up to be heaven, mm -hmm. and then Asuna and EU stayed, understanding that they're probably going to contact back in and reclear the A space. And then Asuna strong on about his raise. Look at him. He's 10 and 4 right now. Then strong sub me. Like and it's not like he's doing anything too crazy. He's not going for flash yeah. plays. In that round, he was just jump spotting to bait for EU to get a free kill. And then swinging. So he's playing it really Basically smart right say. now. Back to a 1-3-1 approach for Sentinels. No reason to yeah. stare at the green goo. That's obviously the review. The thing is, if they can find some space with the dog that's big, they're going to try to chase one of Bang. But the shorty yeah, greet second. Magbe. Yeah, You've got Asuna who's up really far into the pit too. Yeah, that support. Like I said, he's not trying to make any crazy plays. He's just there. Yeah. Just yeah. doing everything. Team play. I think the game come to him almost. Cage First cage goes up, and that's a cube. Lucio, that's his ult. 
and you've got Eevee who's helping over the top, oh. but they managed to get past oh. him anyway. Saucy with a dizzy in his face, lands a shot onto Bustio. Crabby one keeps him grounded, keep an eye on Tens. A really good position here. Meanwhile, the rest of the site is left up to the fight with the pit invested. That's a really big oh, try to counter it. But Tense's timing here could play spoiler. The only one close by is going to be Cryo. Bang falls. Tense oh, 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 my gosh. And he gets dropped by Cryo. Cryo's not only Kala. in the 1v2. He still has to deal with the pit. Baya, chuck on but, uh, now. This is a big ask out of the store. Man, Can he deliver in this moment? No. Baya, <laughs> send bundle. Three, we're tied again. Baya, send bundle. Karega. I got scared for a second. Four send when three players were going towards site. But one of the players from Sentinel is coming back to A-Ramp, supporting Tyson there. Radar is good, it's good, it's good, it's good. Retake was coming in. What is the Viper? The Viper's on. That made the biggest difference. And that's just like a split second timing. He was so close. Yeah, yeah. That's just so that's tough. That's a tough round to lose. A thousand percent. I mean, they had four ults. Ah, babe. And they used them all and they didn't win the round. Devastating loss into that Spike round, but a. another one for one here. The last number again. The one for one doesn't really add up when you're playing on defense. Yeah. It is good that they took out the initiator though. So no flashes will be in this round, at least for info. Of course you have the omen flash for Tyson. Oh! You see Aye. Like out of the another one for one. Great trade. Is he gonna stick this? Oh gosh, he suck it. Cryo in. played that beautifully. Oh, he pulled himself. Tucked behind the pillar to make sure he wasn't seen. The showstopper connects. Every single domino has fallen into one for one for this round. And it all falls down to twos now. Oi, oi. left alone, cannot convert. Um, Second with three, settles with the lead again. Uh, EU was in such a good spot right there. He could have he could have secured the win by killing John who had the bomb on the cross. Uh, that That's tough. Hey, again, the way Cryo played that on the tens was beautiful. But Bang has been left in a lot of these one vx situations and he's been steady for the team so far. But those big ones haven't gone as well. Like a killer, baby. Bang should. Now the economy in shambles for Hunter Thieves. Yeah, just a stinger for Bang. Wow, my eyes are down. And you know, honestly, as much as we've talked about it, the approach hasn't really changed a oh. ton. For Sentinels. Yeah, they continue to 1-3-1. They continue to launch onto the top those cages and then suggest that they're trying to take space A. John is so good at what he does on that A side of the map. Yeah. I think it's all part of the conditioning. Cryo trying to land the suck. To what a great nade. Second for dashing across, but the nade is good. Bang falls. Big for Cryo. That's two. You wouldn't expect four HP though. In a two v three, still just sheriffs. Cryo falls. Boost is left alone. To his own devices with the sheriff to try to win out a one v three with the cam in his face. Tries to tuck behind it. I, all three of them are all playing three. backside, bro. That's a bad. Exactly. <laughs> Forget <laughs> that. Mid. This would be. This would be insane. Oh. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Nah. Nah. Too much. Yeah. Too much of an ass. And I like the approach from Sun. You know, showing all that mid control like they did in the previous anti eco. So still, they get that in your look. Wary of there, there being a trap there. So so they go back and just hit B. I think yeah? hitting B on anti eco rounds is is pretty efficient. Yeah. You can clear out a lot of the close angles with utility and not have to worry about it. Exactly. Like the kill the guy. Do the one tap maras. A two round lead. They got the leader. They got the leader. They got the secrets from Saucy to work with here too. Here's the change of pace. But they're ready for it. This is fast, but you're absolutely right. Where's the nade? There was no follow up. Second was past it anyway. Dog confirming present. Oh, no oh, stopper, oh, but he dodges it. Oh, oh, taking the lick of damage. Literally nothing. Gotcha, Ultimately punished at the hands of Austin anyway. Saucy with the flash. Gotcha, he tries to double down, yeah, but Zelsis is there to help. Meanwhile, while all of that erupts, on A, we see a fight made go the way of Bang. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ten to je round zítna, da zítna zeken neke. The utility from Hunter Thieves, that's what I was talking about. Na YouTube great kill. The trap players that they have have different layers to them. So even if the first layer didn't work, the tether nade, right? They didn't commit to that. Now you have the rocket. Then you have Bustio throwing the molly behind on that ramp area. I mean, that must be a lineup. That was sick. I still don't know where that awareness to hold mid. I still don't know where that rocket went. <laughs> Zekin just jumped past it. Just vanished. <laughs> Last, second. Last round of the half. An ult for Cryo, but what that's it. What are you doing, Bird? Can And this is very different from the one through one we've seen a lot. Okay, GG, seven five. Today. No attempt to take heaven. They're just trying to go through main. Play behind all the walls. They have to play with ten the smokes. Ten five, ten five. And that's enough. Yeah, that was a great read from John. Understanding that the A trap was there the last round. Not many teams like to do a back-to-back -back trap in the same spot. Zekan ko kyun nahi diya yaar aur last round de do maar dete to alta jate ho. How do 100 teams approach this retake? The cosmic divide will tear them apart. Okay, do nahi maarne wale. Sasuke gets two big ones. Oh, threes as you see crosshairs fly. Ah, pre. John gets two. The ult invested. Zelsus gets the last. Kya khelte hai Vesen? Dude, these were some of these rounds have gone down to the wire. Switching sides. Kya khelte hai Vesen? That was a nice pose plant from Sentinels just playing in. They understood that that Astro wall was going to block off A ramp and A main. Anirudh is close like it's just a run like it. Nice shot. Yeah, Sasi had a massive round. Oh, Cairo was like a round. It was crazy. Yeah, but he got a big win. He got a big win. It was a great win. And on the other side, for Andrew Deeds, he actually spoke to Lucy earlier to get his thoughts about Sentinels and what he thought leading into this match. Take a listen. Yeah, the biggest threat is definitely if you just look at it, Zakin. Um, the kid is incredible. He's just dropping unreal numbers every match. Um, but I think if I couldn't choose Zekin just because he's the duelist, I'd say um, Tens. I think Tens is also back to like his like uh, X Factor. Like he's playing smokes, but you know some maps he's dropping like 260 ACS. He's getting a lot of first bloods. He's he's doing a lot for the team that might get um, like not shown as much just because he's on the smokes roll now. But if he was doing this on Duelist like he was in 2021, like everyone would be freaking out. So I think he's back in form, and I think he is their X Factor. So good, baby. if we can shut him down, it probably work out pretty good for us. Good. <laughs> I mean, it's been competitive One up until this point. One good understanding, other good. Right? Good it, of the goaters, valley into the time. To be able to listen and pick the brains of a guy like Bustio and get his thoughts Adidas, on original Zekin BC. and Tens and how valuable they are to their team. <laughs> the problem is, is like, yeah, you can shut down Tens, but then you have to deal with Zekin, then you have to deal with Zelsus, then Saucy's doing what he did in last map, yeah, right? Yeah. John, the IGL who has his moments getting 20 bombs in certain halves, specifically on this map as well. It seems like defense for John yeah. on this map, he has a field day against a lot of teams. We want <laughs> I mean, we gotta give the people what they want, right? <laughs> you gotta give them the turtle. Oh, turtle, my journal, which journal? We'll see how it plays out. I think the big takeaway so far, Dre, if I may, is not respect the the thieves yeah. continue to push Sentinels in ways that we may not necessarily expect. Yeah. I mean, coming off of a Masters win, and yeah, I, yeah, John just respect. getting Come in, I. kind of how that dynamic plays out. I think there are some people who may have expected Sentinels to just kind of run away with this, to really roll 100 Thieves, but Four they've shown a lot that's been aggressive. And it's been a lot of people. Yeah, they've had As really a good orc, ideas in both bomber. maps so far. It's yeah. just, it's just not enough in these halves. We'll see if it's enough to close this thing out. Now that they're on the attack side, a one through one very similar, very reminiscent to what we saw Sentinels do. And this time, if Hunter Thieves were to go B, you have the there. Omen Flash here. Yeah, the Viper Oscar, the tough thing is they're so concerned about the space that's been lost. They're going to hear the dog. <laughs> in a lot of ways, as you look at the main map, you see there's like concern and paranoia from both teams yeah. on what's happening in A main. Did yeah. you take it? No. Did you, did you <laughs> take it? Destroyed. I don't have it. 
<laughs> this flash should get the info that there is a lurk on it. Yeah. They don't know how many though. That nade missed. Sassy dancing around the utility, looking for the right time to strike. By fast the, 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 the classic weapon. Classic Sentinels. I mean this move Pistol there. defense, just playing a retake. It's gonna be coordinated. It's gonna be nice. What can Hunter Thieves do to disrupt this? There's the nade to clear health. The flash out. Ah, he jumped into the nade. Five pieces ah, of utility pre. used in an attempt to retake that. Oh, Five. I mean it's calculated. He's snappy with it. It's surgical. It's beautiful. Oh, and you saw it. it Hunter Thieves game plan there was to basically retake the retake, blind. but the timing yeah. was just off. Yeah. You see him jumping into hell into the, into the nade as soon as it was blooming. That's rough. And I, I think even just looking at the kill feed and seeing how many people get assists and how many assists take place when you see these kills from the retake is really indicative of how they play it out. Right? Everybody gets involved. It's, it's tough. I mean, you, you know what's coming. But you can't see you do it. But sometimes utility is just too good. Team ke saath khel ke jo baap and the pace ke dana, of how Sentinels go together on the retakes to get trades. It's just on point. A lot of mid presence here. <laughs> Zelsa spam not connecting, takes a step back though. Saucy got info on Bang on this lurk. So maybe just jiggling in this corner, trying to see if he can punish him if he walks up. Oh, I think Bustio saw Jordan here. May have. And if there was any doubts, it's confirmed now. Yeah. The one place that they haven't really gotten any info is B. And I think by what they've seen so far, they've been able to deduce. There's a whole lot of action. What a good cage. Coming mid. That cage is perfect. You're absolutely right. No charges left. With that mid control, Second understands he has to fall back here. Maybe he's going to try to get in his sight. And this is the perfect spot for a sky to be. I think one of the benefits is Sentinel's pace here is they've already gotten past some of the oh. Util. 30 seconds EU left. playing on site, dropping Sassy. They got the spike down. That's the timing. Big, but how much more can they find? Bang, sticks a barrel of the Sheriff into oh, the ear. John QT tries to survive the spam. Tuck around the corner, upgrade to weapon. One oh. he will not short be. As Sentinels will get to nine. Nice shot, Maros. And he almost made it happen. That was yeah, clean. I like how he took his time on that last kill. Ah. A lot of players would just sit there and spam, and the bullets would not connect. This add pad, add off trigger. Showing some poise. It's just but normal a YouTube ads. Five score line right now. Mera ads, mere normal shims paega. Yaapni. You take a look at that again. Ow, ow. I think this is this is really where where things start. Simara, this no? is where if you're hundred thieves. And you are going to attempt to come back. It really has to convert here. You can't afford to lose this round. They were trying to feel the defense Tenska out of the Sentinels. Office. And they got to understand how the players rotated and what the setup was on the actual gente. site once they took mid control. So I'm wondering if we see a punish here on Sentinels. They don't have much of a buy. My name is it's the only rifle really to speak of. Saucy dogging out A earlier in this, but mid control gathered from 100 Thieves. Yeah. You see the setup too is so Dead nice. As soon as the camp gets info, Zelsa has a better understanding of what's waiting on By the other round side. GG, a trip there man. to protect him too. This is really aggressive. Oh. That was way too much for Bang to deal with. Question is, what do they do without weapon? It seems like, yeah, Tense is gonna get the Phantom. The Guardian goes in the hands of Sasi. Meanwhile, the rest of the hit is B. He's just spraying and praying, trying to get any chip damage he can. Uh, and John's uh, just gonna give. Again, this bonus would be huge if they can pull this off. Bustio's weak. By Sky, ko deko, Saucy, ko deko, jaldi. They've gotten one step closer. Saucy, ko deko. Doesn't look like there's any challenge or any threat to Wingman, so he gets a spike down. Look at this right here on the minimap. Sashi on the flank. When does he take his timing? They've got him surrounded. They've got him corralled and controlled. EU playing anti. Zekin satcheling out. Ultimately falls. But confirming there's someone held. Meanwhile, again, the smoke keeping Sashi back. Oh, Boosty was looking though. He's so aware. 
He knows, but he will Dark. sneak. He falls. A 2v2 now. Cryo so weak. Asuna is too much. Oh Snap is clean. Yeah, Sassy left alone. Can he pull this off? He's gotten it down to one. I'm near. Switch his weapons. Time Good is short. Go. Does he have a smoke? Good go. Good go. Good go. Hunter Thieves gets a six. Woo. Costly and very, very close. Uh, was smoke zada time by kar liya shayad. Sassy may be taking a little bit too much time there Sassy on the plane. Do -thing but it's tough. You know, somebody could have been in B main that whole time. He was waiting for his team to make contact first. Yeah. And then proceeding to go forward. Right. And I think one of these did a really good job of... Again, not allowing the retake to fully come through with the utility and disrupting it. They pushed into CT that allowed Cryo to flank and secure the round win. But that was costly. Bro, stop being biased towards Sen, man. A I seen, for there are a lot of streams you can watch. Okay. By the way. Early mid default again. Oh. Trying to clear out that trip. I good think they heard good money. placed earlier. I think so too. In the round. And they finally break it with a satchel. That leaves Asuna with no utility and Bang gets caught out. Again? Again in oh, AVK. What's important here is the timing of what happened. The last few rounds, Saucy has been using that dog just to get the info. This time, Zekin peeking behind it. Punishing Bang. Poison's off. The only thing keeping Celsius away from There's the four remaining off. members of Hunter Thieves right now is that smoke. And Zekin pounces at just the right time. Aye. The rocket just a little short, not connecting. It's insane. And remember what I said that As As Asuna should have done on their defense. Zekin just did it. Out. Gets the kill in A main, rotates all the way back Cover into B heaven. Gets another one. Now playing down low. Looking to see if there's any head that he can oh, take. too good. Spike down B. One I, enemy it's too remaining. good. You wouldn't believe it. He just landed yesterday. Between right. John and Take it, Zekin. They're running away with this thing. Up, the uh, sube, sube. Fire mood mein rehte ho. The forbidden shot. 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 The this guy's been they throw the after smoke, the dog. Uh, so even if he doesn't break it, wall? just take the line and hold for him. Point and he gets the kill, instantly rotates to be having with the rocket for the speed up. Wala. And this time you see an adjustment in the call. The 1-3-1 one, one has been set aside. So made a like they to go a little bit weapons. faster B with the Nightfall. Whoa. And the Prowlers are trying to get some space. Oh, yeah. Sassy still gets a kill on Asuna. Tens is there to help. How much more can they do as Bang opens up the site? But Delsis is there. Oh, by send bundle karega ye. Yeah, by send bundle karega. Ah. What a hold. Midwala, midwala, mid push like nahi karega. Koi bhi util aega, dog aega, boom bot aega. Kuch nahi kar sakega. Mid smoke up karne ka split kar sakega. And even he's like, mid smoke down hoega, tabhi omen smoke aa jayega. It's just easy for him sometimes. So mid push karna difficult hoega. Wo log info le liya. Aur info le liya mid mein. So, in the mid, push okay. karna fir bhi difficult. I'll take what I can get. <laughs> and this is Sentinel's best map for a reason. Oh, I mean, and again, go. they're starting to pull away with it, man. Yeah. You might think you have the one up on them. You might have a good half against them, but they always seem to close God it out on this map. And yeah. Like we talked about how Why the wall, there was not some, directly some shakiness throw. in it, but if directly so if you throw, so many reps on it that they can make adaptations like that. Say, to mar sakta, no? to zyada open They're such a good team. That's why the champions, the team to beat. Hundred thieves, you know they they looked really decent on the on the defensive side, but I'm not seeing too much value out of this gecko pick in general. Besides from that one trap play with the Molly, I feel like a lot of the utility is broken by Sentinels. And when you have people play aim labs the way Tens does, sometimes that gecko flash doesn't really get much value at all. But it's a good hundred thieves. Just one round one this half. Hey, G2 is a good hundred thieves. And it's just so tough. And again, that was close too. It wasn't like it was like a... But it was a different way, right? You're absolutely right. And again, for 100 Thieves, that previous round was a different look. Right? They moved away from the 1-3-1 because that wasn't working. They tried to hard hit B with the Nightfall. That didn't work either. 
This is something new. Early mid aggression from Hunter Thieves into an A hit. But we have the trips here, and John's just ready for this. He's playing far back into screens. He's just going to spam off the trips. So if these are not broken, it's going to be disaster for Hunter Thieves. That's tough, too. Asuna doesn't have. And this is a one way cam. Yeah, they They're have going to see their feet before the cam is broken. There it is. Great trade, though, from Bang. Hey, let's just get it not wrong. Let's get it not wrong. Let's get it not and there's no need to so break so now, so it's going to be stinger. tough to walk into a main here. Lucio's got the utility ready. Sassy just respects it. He's so good. Wisely so. He's so good. They invested the Seekers here. That's a deep hit too. Wow. Sassy gets caught by Thrash. This is so good. It's planted for heaven and they didn't have to go through a main at all. Now the defense is kind of trapped. You can't really, really explore no. heaven. Oh, shit. There's a lot Who's of shot at this here. Cryo is a fan of two. No, oh, the timing no. from Tyson. That was really, I mean, that was their opportunity. Bang. I spoke about how this map is John's play. It looks like he got a ah, second win. Came in tired, came in through. And they're it, it the strong point, teams. 5 a.m. Yeah, yeah, and, and there's both other you know, strong guys. <laughs> <role, but laughs> you know, it still sucks flying like that. <laughs> and teams, bhai. Kya level of plays hai, bhai. Yeah, John looks good. He continues to look good. Yes. And just changes his setup. Now he's on the beast. 14 and 9. <sighs> Exactly second thing. Yeah, no? I, this, I'm this, literally about to say the exact same thing. Is this <laughs> morning, has has good morning. 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 Are they ready for this? Last day, last day, last day. He's still here. He still has the line. He should be dialed in on this. He's, he, he heard the footstep. Tyson. Tens. <laughs> With the up. Tenzin? You've destroyed me. Bye. Austin Miller on the counter. Oh my The cosmic divide is going to throw things apart. And this pace, the A ramp reclear, it's too fast. Tossing the door, my And that midship that wasn't broken should be the nail in the coffin. GG. A complete dismantling in the second half. Possibly spike like a plan. GG. By Sen. Sentinels destroyed. Oh man. Absolute cinema. Check it, let's say. And they still look good. Man, do they look good. I saw an interview with them all, you know, saying, oh, we we're won. Still by a map. How are we going to be now as a team? Nah, we're still hungry. We want to win the championship. Yeah. And they're not letting off the we by 7 0. Yeah, yeah, nah. oh, oh, 7 0. Close, right? But I think that yeah, was nah. because Hunter Thieves had a really great game, game plan going into it. Oh, oh, no, and Kyle was going crazy. Yeah, and Cur Curry mentioned it, right? When they chatted with him, when, when Svick chatted with him. Is the weakest map. So Which if you manage, if you manage to get through that, do yeah. your weakest, weakest map, it's still staying in his person. And I think the other thing that I love uh, that I'm seeing out of, out of Sentinels, and you imagine Kaplan has a lot to do with this, they understand that Madrid was just an appetizer. Yep. I mean, it was the, it was the time. But if they win this, they're not going to win. If they win this, they're not going to win. They don't look like they skipped the beat at all. No. In this series, in the Sen bundle, he lives on. Yeah, shout out bundle. All the homies love bundle. All the homies love bundle. Mr. Bundle. And you know, it, 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 it says something when you allow one of your worst maps to go through. It's almost like they're using this as practice, which is kind of scary for me. Yeah. And I, if I was a VCT team, VCT team that they have to play against, I'd be scared too, because if they're treating matches as practice, I mean, they're looking at the long run here. 
they are looking at champs. They, they want to make it all the way there. They want to hold the, the main no, I love up. you. Guys, just leave a like. Make a like. Don't forget to like. Madrid may have just been a flash in the pan, and you know yep. there were a lot of teams that. So no they really assist so that kid. There, and, you know, kind of how that plays out, but it just seems like they haven't slowed down. It's not hard on that, guys. It's not prep. They just haven't had a win yet this year, but. I think I saw a lot of promising things out there. Yeah, and they, they, they can be a team that maybe goes for that fifth or sixth spot, maybe potentially. You know? And potentially more. I think the upside yeah. is there. I think much like a couple of other rosters this year, it takes it's it's going to take time. It takes time no matter what. Right. I, I think Bustio had big moments. Bang continues to develop into this role. We've seen him grow over these last couple of years. Cryo returned to Cryo. The Cryo that he looked you know, really good today. To by the way. Yeah. He looked really good today. His icebox was spectacular. I think ultimately. You dance on a map that's yours, but then you step into the lion's den of split, and that that's a tough ass for really any team. I mean, dude, if you're, I mean, if you're any team right now and you're allowing split to go through, you better be absolutely ready and show us something crazy to pick it against, or to, to have it go through in the map pool against a team like Sen. Because they're just too good at the map. They've played it so many times, and you might think you can counter them, but they've gotten countered so many yeah, times. They they the counter, counter, yeah. To the counter. Yeah, it's and then not, the counter after that. Yeah, it's crazy. They're just too yeah, dumb to the map that. like that. Don't let that go through anymore. Then I mean, I, I'm, I'm begging. I'm begging. <laughs> I'm begging at this point. 13-6 on split. A 2-0 series win for Sentinels. We're going to throw it down to Smix down at the stage for the Verizon post match -in. Thank you very much, Doug. And Zelsis congratulations, Volte. Zelsis or Bundle, as you've re recently been renamed. <laughs> Our Masters Madrid champion standing here after a 2-0 victory over 100 yeah, Thieves. Bandai, bandai. There's no question that being a champion is amazing, but that definitely means you immediately just have back. a target on okay, your back and go. the world of expectations of everyone just immediately expecting you to win every single game after that. So how good does it feel to kick off stage one with a win like this, 2-0? I mean, it feels good, but we don't really care what everyone else thinks. We only care what we think. And I mean, we had a really huge team meeting after Madrid about like just staying composed, not getting complacent, not getting like an ego and just like working hard because that's how we got there. Um, obviously, this is like a first time for a lot of us being at the top. So, I mean, there's a saying like it's easier to get to the top than it is to stay there. So I hope we can stay there. But yeah, it's nice to get a win, but we're just treating it like every other match. Indeed, w earlier when we spoke w to Coach Kaplan, he said the same thing, that this is the first time he's been in this position, and it's great to hear that you had yeah, a team yeah, meeting yeah. about it. Personally, for yourself as a player who's also going through this, having reached the top and now having a very different challenge and trying to maintain that, how has that been for you with this new difficulty you're facing? Uh, I mean, I expected to like kind of be a little butthead more after the win, but I mean, I'm kind of not like, I, I don't really feel a difference. I just, I mean, I just want to play. I just want to compete and play and. Like, obviously like, this is like what it's about, right? Like the fans, the competing, everything, and also selling the Sentinels bundle. That is the main thing. I was wondering when you were going to work that in. Yeah, yeah, I was going to work that in. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Yeah, but Amazing, then, then. and obviously we still have so many more games to look forward to from Sentinels, but also seeing as how you just took down 100 Thieves 2-0, I know Poison, Icebox man. was the one that got a little bit difficult, uh, especially okay. towards the end, but did pull out the win. At how does 100 they Thieves get this time around feel facing the them, especially winner. seeing Cryo pop off the way that he did? Um, I mean, obviously our last series against them was a lot closer, it was 2-1. But then this series being 2 0, I mean, but you could tell they put in a lot of work, they put in a lot of time. Um, I think no, the first map for us was like a lot of because of I think we were, I mean, the first, first, first map, back, uh, back, uh, obviously, I think John is jet lagged map, uh, and like we weren't practicing with him. Um, so we were kind of just adjusting, but shout out 100 Thieves, like this, like they, you could tell they put in a lot of work, like just playing against them. So um, I'm glad like we got the early win and like it kind of sucks. We're always playing each other our first match. So maybe, you know, Riot can change that for us and them. But yeah. We'll see. But for now, congratulations again, Zelsis, as Thank always. You. And for now, we are going to head to the desk with Golden Boy for the post show breakdown. <laughs> Thank you so much. Chalo. 
अरे टेंस आ गया भाई शुरू from bundle but i am joined now by a person who has an actual name tens uh wait well uh, no no that is necessarily <laughs> trash so <laughs> gamer name but you know Close. we'll just roll with it anyway i'm a grown man calls himself golden boy so i guess i just got to deal with this in any case so guys uh tens congratulations man on a big win good uh, thing you know i i know that uh, zelsa said coming into this you guys Bura just looking at this every other win but it has to feel good to be able to pick up this win here today Achha opening matchup against 100 thieves yeah, certainly. Um, we're just making sure that we're not complacent from the Madrid wins. Yeah. So uh, we went to the matches just trying to give our best efforts. Obviously, uh, practice wasn't optimal since uh, John QT was kind of stuck in Morocco for a little bit. But yeah. luckily, he was able to arrive just in time for the match. But overall, I think um, obviously not playing to our usual self, but I still think we're a really strong team. Yeah. Yeah, and you've, you're one of the few players who's been there before, won a trophy, then kind of gone back with the hard task of having to stay on top. It didn't work out for that Sentinel Sun. But I want to ask, what did you learn from the previous edition of the roster, from being on top to then falling down and having to do it all over again? And maybe have you given any of that advice to your teammates now that you have a trophy and you're coming back into that same situation? Yeah, I think overall <laughs> it's <laughs> mainly, um, you have to stay up to date with the meta. You have to make sure you adapt. I think that's one thing that we didn't do um, previously on Sentinels before, and we kind of fell behind because of that. So I think adapting, making sure we're up to date, and obviously not getting complacent, like making sure we're grinding the same amount that we did before the event even, and just keeping up the hard work. So does it feel like you guys are being successful at not being complacent and all that right now? I, I would say so, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I want to ask about um, you specifically, how, like, I think in the offseason there's a lot of criticism loving your way. Um, I want to know exactly what you feel like you've been working on the most and how, like, how that improvement path is right now in terms of your form. Because right now I think a lot of people are returning back to tens goat status sort of thing. Uh, I want to see from your perspective. Um, I think the, the play that I'm trying to bring a lot more now or uh, part of me that I was trying to focus on a lot more um, coming up to the season was my supportive uh, play style. And um, I do think it's very important to be able to support your team for their success. And I've always like kept it in my mind that good players uh, play well themselves, but great players will always make people around them play well too. Yeah, no, I mean, it, it, I think that uh, it that's goes to show. Yeah, that's actually quite a deep answer. I <laughs> will give you your flowers on that one. Uh, by the way, I want to let everyone know, make sure you send your questions for tens. Uh, we'll go ahead and hopefully get one or two of those out there uh, before we close things off for the day. Um, so now, uh, you, you know, you guys having one Madrid. Hey, tens, when are we going to do that all? high, that moment. Um, that? Is there really a, I guess, a, a cap? Do you feel like there's As even for the more DBM. that this team for can the accomplish? DBM, because it feels like even when the, the cards are stacked against you, which has happened a fair amount, you guys still find another gear, another, like another opportunity. It's insane. I've never seen it before. Yeah, I think um, definitely what we've shown so far this year is definitely a good stepping stone but i do think that we can further keep improving um, keep developing our map pool i already think we have some really good insane maps that we have in our back pocket that we like to rely on a lot so i think uh, just overall like the more we play the more we get better and i'm really excited just to see the future of what this are you having fun yeah. i am having fun yeah, yeah I am. that's good that's good <laughs> How, how does it differ playing in uh, kind of a format like kickoff like Madrid with 41 out of 45 maps? You possibly could. Back to back to back, no time to sleep. Almost double the second most played. Yeah, in America. How, how does that differ from now, week by week, one match, week off, you play again? How does the preparation, how does the approach of the team change now that you're in, honestly, a very different style for this Sentinels? Yeah, I think um, the kickoff format was actually pretty good for us because it was the start off of the season, uh, sort of a brand new team for us, and just being able to play so many matches made sure that we but were able to kind of uh, find a form and continue it onward. Do you think that your it's team would have been able to win Masters if you didn't have to play all those games? Um, it's kind of hard to say. I do think that losing is a very important part of like learning and improving Just so, uh, uh, I do think that like big. taking some L's and like being able to be in the lower bracket playing more matches and sure. experiencing more map losses from, kind of made us improve uh, yes, more as a team. Love you, yeah, um, I wanted to know because obviously you guys have played the most um, just a, a assessment of how the level was at Madrid without Fnatic without some of the other top hitters DRX those sort of teams and obviously in the future we're gonna have a lot more teams at these international events what was the level like do you think it was actually at the top of the top was it is it gonna have to be a lot better for you guys going into next masters champions that sort of things if you can make it there yeah or? 
I, I definitely think the, the best teams qualify for the international tournaments. And I do think the, the path to the Madrid win was not easy for us playing EMEA number two, number one seed, then having to play Loud again, playing Gen.G twice, uh, Apex number one seed, and then playing Paper X number two seed of yeah. Apex. So it was definitely, um, definitely not an easy uh, road to success. Yeah, I, I can feel that because that was a that was a journey that you guys went through. But you got to do something pretty cool today. We got a Twitch chat question from a kitty catty Yumi. Sorry if I butchered your name. I apologize profusely. <laughs> How does it feel to walk on stage with the trophy in hand? That was pretty That's cool. That's a good question. Yeah, um, it's kind of heavy. So, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we got to work on those arms, yeah, buddy. You I know? think I need to hit the gym. So now we're Twitch questions. Hello. मिलते गाइस बाय 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 आदियोस चड्डी में पादियोस मिलते हैं दोपहर को पैसिफिक करेंगे मस्त वॉच पार्टी ठीक है तो अगर मेरे को अगर अच्छा नींद मिला आज और तो वॉच पार्टी के बाद थोड़े गेमिंग सीन्स होएंगे वरना तो फिर ये शेड्यूल रहेगा तो लेट्स सी और और मेरे हिसाब से हो सकता है कि वॉच पार्टी के बाद मैं गेमिंग सीन्स करूँ लेकिन रूटर पर क्योंकि मेरे को वो भी कम्प्लीट करना है ठीक है काम पहला एज लॉन्ग एज आई लव यूट्यूब बट स्टिल आई गॉट वर्क टू डू तो मेक श्योर यू फॉलो बाय बाय गाइस गुड नाइट टेक केयर आदियोस प्रिया लव यू बाय दिवर्सिटीज बाय एवरीबॉडी मिलते हैं दोपहर को